What up, Ben? I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna grab my yerba. I'm fucking tired right now.
Holy fuck! I need to wake up, man. I feel like shit right now. Drinking the Yerba. Sipping. Sipping on that yak. Man, what the fuck is up with my TikTok this week? The TikTok views are like, they went from getting like 200 at least a video to like nothing. Am I getting shadow banned or some shit? Bro, what is this garbage? What happened to my what happened to my TikTok? Oh yeah, Cree, how's your recovery going? Psycho in the chat, let's go. We got Psycho, we got Crew, we got Ramen, we got Bent. Me and Bent gotta figure something out about this cream pie situation in a minute. I told I'm I'm so dumb. We'll, we'll talk about it, man. Oh shit, it's time to go. I didn't even realize. Let's go. It's a new day in Band Incorporated. Brian, why'd you turn the fucking camera on? For 
For years, hedge funders have been driving our company to the ground with shorted stocks. But what's that on the horizon? What's that washing up on the shoreline that's gonna save the day? NFTs. An NFT cryptocurrency shitcoin you can believe in. Elon Musk and Logan Paul both say so. They recently tweeted NFTs to the moon. Now in accordance with SEC guidelines, I'm not here to tell you who or what you should invest in. But man oh man are NFTs looking good today. Sprucing up that portfolio. Get in on the ground floor. NFTs will replace the paper fiat currency in no time and be worth more than your own weight in gold. Subscribe for free right now at Dirt Twitch Prime and get access to your first NFT immediately. And when is your life changed forever? But not just your life, the life of some poor child out there. Yeah, that's right. NFTs are crypto for the kids, face clan style. Definitely not a pump and dump. And don't you dare think that you can screenshot this shit and make your fucking profile picture. That's not how it works in the fucking blockchain, idiots. Right click save should be made illegal. Don't regulate anything else about crypto, NFTs, or anything else in general. Regulations are all bad. NFTs have yet to be valued, but keep on investing, gamers. You know what? I'm tired. Okay, I need to wake up a little bit. I need to wake up a little bit, guys. We're going to listen to some, some music, a song that we listened to last night. It's going to wake me up a little bit. Fucking heavy band that I found the other day. I want to listen to this song one time. And then we'll get into normal shit. I'm just fucking... I am, like, dead right now. I need, I need this to give me some life real quick. And then we'll talk about the... The cream pie thing, everything. I forgot to make a post about it. I just need to wake up a little bit, guys. Give me a second. Evie come okay, well you know what? The, the, you know what? This is how we'll wake up then. This is how we'll wake up. Evie coming in with that raid. Everybody click on that link right now and go hit, hit Evie with the follow. Evie coming in with that raid. Thank you so much. Click on that link. Go hit her with the follow. How was your stream? What were you playing? I go up. I go up. Oh, here I am. Kiss. Wow. Kiss. Whoa. I go up. I go up. Oh, here I am. I need a dick. And it's so cute. A hundred miles. Fall Guys and all Gang Beasts. Oh, yo, we gotta play some Gang Beasts. That's like my favorite game. Me and my homies were playing that for a few weeks. That was so much fun. Fall Guys, I'm never installing that game again. I'm just kidding. 
Oh yeah, play the game. with me. We're just now starting stream. Woo! Brian, Brian, actually wait, why am I sitting down? Brian, play another song. Play another song. Don't, don't, uh, don't, don't, I make, don't, don't, don't play a commercial. That'd be scummy as fuck. You ever wonder what it's like to take a walk on the wild side? To be able to grab a bull by the horns, <clears throat> take control of your life. Feeling like a wolf among sheep who wants no more bullshit. You just want to be that cowboy or cowgirl you were always meant to be. Riding off into those vast distant sunsets. Yeah, that's just the salt of the earth, baby. That's why you're here looking to buy your new 2021 Jeep Tundra Ford F-150 John Deere Ranger. But honestly, probably can't afford one of those. What you can afford is a Twitch Prime named Band Incorporated, which in turn will help him afford his new 2021 Jeep Tundra Ford F-150 John Deere Ranger. Be the change you want to see. It ain't that uncommon around these parts just want to have straight up sex with your tractor. It's just how we live out here. That's just the law of the land. That's the salt of the earth. That's the salt of the earth, baby. Okay, I'm up now. I'm awake. I'm good. Brian, get some get some tunes going. Brian, to get the fucking tunes going. New radio. There you go. New Thank radio. you. Hey, like, what is up with this lag lately? Like, why is it like when I tell you to put on a song, or we do like a little intro, like a little transition, it takes you like an extra like five seconds to get shit going. Okay. So I saw what you said, Ben, about the cream pie stuff. That's not exactly what I was talking about. I know how I'm going to go about it. I just feel conflicted. One, I forgot to post about it, which that doesn't really matter that much. I just said I was going to make the post in the Discord to promote it. But, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but, like, like literally, like, five minutes after we hit it, we, like, dropped right down to 287. So I was just like, fuck. I like missed the clip, you know? The clip of it being like, 300 subs, cream pie. And now it's like, that's gone. Fuck. I, I should have just done it right then. I'm so dumb. So I was thinking maybe just wait a little bit. Because yesterday I wasn't like promoting that. I didn't, I felt weird. Like putting that in my title and promoting it and doing like silly shit while we were talking about it. All the serious stuff yesterday. Shit, fuck, shot, fuck, smarty, party, weenie, doodle, poop, pee, pee, squirt. Zoop, what a great addition to the conversation we're having right now. Thank you so much for that bit and the, the words of wisdom that you just spread right now to add to our conversation. But uh, what I was saying is I was thinking maybe we just wait a little bit, maybe see if we get back to 300 subs. 
tonight and then I'll instantly do it or if I should just do the cream pie shit right now fucking do it but I was hoping to get the clip of hit 300 subs cream pie but now that clip is like done but like I said I wasn't trying to promote that yesterday specifically I like took it out of my title and everything just because I didn't want to like be thinking about that I didn't want to be doing it but then bet just came in at the end of the at the end of the at the end of the 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 stream and it was just like there's there's subs securing it and I was like oh fuck oh no scam okay I'll play an ad right now no but for real if that if that really is like you think that's a scam that's fine I'll, I'll do it right now but I just wanted the fucking the clip you know I'm gonna post that clip 300 subs cream pie in the face and then it's just like the clips can be like 300 subs and then people are gonna see it's 287 and it's like fuck but uh but I should have I wish I would have just done it last night for the clip like I know I said I was like I, there were like some homies that were asleep and that would probably want to see it live which is like super important to me but I wish I would have just done it last night hi I'm June your AI music selection companion no, I know you said wait for more viewers for sure, but then you, I, but that you also like you said the waiting for subs. But I just, I don't like, I, I don't want anybody to feel like I'm like scamming in any way. We, we hit that 300 subs again for like a few minutes, so we will do it. I just wasn't like trying to promote that yesterday because I just wanted to be like serious yesterday. I didn't want to. Like, oh yeah, we're talking about how women's rights were taken away, and I'm in a cream pie myself in the face at 300 subs. Like, I just didn't feel, I felt that would be weird. So I just took it out of the title and everything. Back in there tonight. If we were to somehow get up to 300 again right now, or something, I don't know. we'll see what happens. See what happens. If not, I'll just do it in the next little bit. We'll just do it. But, um... What was I gonna say? Uh... Yeah, I don't really have any personal news. I just woke up literally at, like, 9.45. Didn't go to bed till, like, 5 p.m. today. I was working on some stuff. Working on some music, really. Not Nothing for the stream. I'm sorry. Well, working on music is for the stream because I'm gonna start playing on stream, but... I was just sitting there having fun playing guitar all day. That band that we just started, we just started listening to. Here, let's just listen to it. Let's just listen to it again. These guys, I want to. Oh my god, they're so crazy at guitar. Their guitar riffs are just insane. They're so crazy. Their guitar riffs are just every riff, just a banger. It's like every riff could be its own song, and they just kept it all. They put it all in one song. What up, right? Hippie, we got Apollo, we got Cree, Ramen, Bent, Soup, all the homies. Evie, coming with that raid once again. Thank you, Psycho, in the chat. Anybody else I'm missing? Bass player, singer dude, so good. Yay, the 
gangs all here. Every once in a while you find a band like being a musician that like goes beyond like oh I just love listening to this to where it's like damn I wish I had been in this band like I wish I created this music you know it's just like and their guitar playing like, really reminds me of my old band 1819 just the constant riffage but uh, not, they're on a different level that's oh my god he's that little bend right there would have made me smile just like that. Drummer is going off the whole fucking time. Ugh, dude, I just, oh, this band, I'm in love. Fucking in love with that band right now. Just started listening to them the other day. Like I was saying, I we used to like tour and we'd be touring at the same time. And like we would like play a venue and they had just played there like the day before or something. And we'd see their flyer and I just always saw the name and I just never really gave them a, a, a good listen. And man, am I glad I li watched that video the other day. Well, what's up, guys? How's everyone doing today? Any uh, Anything going on with you guys? Any personal news to share? Like I said, I don't have anything from yesterday. We went over all the heavy stuff yesterday. Spent like six and a half hours talking about how rights were taken away from women. Um, and uh, now we'll we'll shift from that. There's not not any like real new updates on that. Still the same. So we won't we won't really get into that at all. I got some stuff to watch. We got a. Uh, let me see. Oh, there's a a beat battle. Gotta watch the beat battle. A new cave video. The new Mark Weens video is one I'm actually very excited for. It's uh him in Thailand. And sometimes recently, like there's been some food that like I I'll watch him eat that I'm just definitely not that interested in. Kind of might gross me out a little bit just because of how sensitive of a stomach that I have. But I am excited for this Thailand one. I cannot wait to see what kind of food he eats. Oh, and we got another one of Mike Chen. Maybe we'll watch this. I don't know. Maybe we'll save this for another day. But him in London again. UK, bro. Eating in the food capital of the world, mate. All right. Um. Oh, there's a new donkey video. All right, let's see. What are we going to get into here? Cree, don't be sorry. You don't have to be sorry. Do We are here whenever you got time to come hang out, whenever you're feeling like hanging out. No obligation, but of course we always miss you. Anybody that's not hanging out as much, we of course we miss. But we're never like sitting there like, this person needs to apologize for not being. Don't worry about that. 
Um, like I said, all this last week I was promoting the the cream pie at 300 subs. Last night, I took that out of the title. I didn't want to promote that while we were talking about such heavy stuff. I didn't feel like getting all silly. But then Bent was like, oh, anyway, we're getting you up to 300 subs. And said, securing the cream pie. Then, like, literally, like, five, not even five minutes later, we, like, instantly dropped, like, 13 subs. And it was like, fuck. And we had talked about, we were going to, like, I was like, I could do this right now. We're at 300 subs. But I was like, I know that there's like a bunch of people that were like asleep. We had a bunch of people hanging out, but I know that there was like a bunch of like the homies that were asleep that might want to see it. So I was like, hey, let's put it off till tomorrow. We'll do it at the at the beginning of stream. And uh, we had then we had dropped, and I was just like, there goes the clip. It's fucking ruined. So I was hoping maybe now that I'm actually promoting it today, maybe we could get back up there. If not. I'll just do it in a little bit. Do it at the end of stream or something. Right, we'll see. Um, don't feel bad, Cree. You, you're feeling bad enough from your recovery. Don't don't let this weigh on you in any capacity. We're glad you're here. GTA roleplay is a uh, a whole world, a whole universe. It's uh, you get sucked into it. Should we just get into the beat battle? Should we just get right into it? Doesn't seem like there's much personal news going on. I wanna, oh, uh, let's do live stream fail stuff first. Let's do that first. Let's get that out of the way. Let's see what's going on. Train gift to Summit 1G. Uh oh. What's up, guys? Streamer TV. And first up in the news, we have Trainwreck TV and Summit 1G. Now, Summit has been getting back into CSGO lately and getting his skills back to what it used to be like back when he played a semi professional. Although his inventory already has a number of expensive items, like a case hardened AK 47 and a variety of knives, he has never been a big skin collector or a case opener. But Trainwreck TV, oh, however, is okay. I was just about to say, like, hey, didn't he used to play professional? Like, why is he, like, is he, did he not have these before? Expensive CSGO skins, priding himself in his very own impressive inventory, which is 100% unboxed items. Seeing some at playing without many top tier skins give him an idea to give him some. After confirming that the green was his favorite color, Trainwreck sent him an emerald butterfly knife worth around $22,000 to $24,000, as well as a I've like yet to see that much money in my life. And there's people that are getting that from like a little in-game knife. Okay. The emerald web gloves. Meritocracy's totally real, guys. 100%. Worth around $2,000. What are your guys' thoughts on Trainwreck's special gift to Summit 1 June? Let me know in the comments. Now, another quick news. Is work we have hard. Justin, a former Overwatch guys. streamer and coach that went missing and shared all over social media This guy media got found. Yesterday. We found that out last but today, night. That's he good. has been found safe. So, guys, share your thoughts in the comment section below. And let's jump into That's the highlights. That's insane, bro. It's fucking crazy. All right, I'm, I'm a little drunk. But it's a good drunk. Yeah. Summit! 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 I love you, dude! <laughs> and I watch you on Twitch! That does look like Summit! <laughs> hey, hey, Summit! That's fucking Summit! That was a Korean <laughs> Whoa, what up, girl? Oh. Alright. Is this Fallout 76? Okay, 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 as long as you guys, like, tell me who you are. Time to download that game again? No. Okay, I'll what? tell you the truth. You're gonna leave? All right, oh, no, I'll tell you the truth. All right. I, my friends call me cutie. Kill a Cat. My oh. stream is twitch.tv KK Katamina. Kill a Cat. KKK. Hey, I swear. No, what? Katamina. Katamina. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, chat. 
Do you guys see how much Smite community f hates me? Dude, they hate me. Like, they hate why? me. Why? And it's crazy. Isn't that like his Anyone game? With logic Isn't he reason, like one of the reasons why the game is popular? Why Smite is, is, is giving me skins and, and shit. It's such an obvious logical reasoning. Because I bring new people to the game. It's uh. so easy to understand. And these guys f hate it. They're like, why the f aren't you giving it to this guy? Why aren't you giving it to this guy who's been playing Smite for days? Because it's a, they're a company. You know, it makes perfect logical sense. And they're so jealous. It's crazy. Like, hasn't he been playing... Like, funny. isn't he, like, a long-time Smite player? Like, hasn't he been playing for years? Like, I don't understand. That's just people getting upset because their friend didn't get picked. You know, that's just kind of cringe. Uh, I, I, they're really stupid. Uh, but it's, it is what it is. All right, let's go through live shit fails, and, uh, do we want to go through live shit fails? Yeah, Clint's here. Who am I kidding? Man, you know what? Get, you get, be get, get out of, get out of my head. Get out of my head. Don't talk while I'm being, I'm being railed. Like, oh. You should be glad that I'm choosing to get in divinity and not at the gym. All right? So now I'm, oh, now I'm oh shit. Well, okay. Yeah, I mean. That you gotta, you gotta look at the positive things in your f life, right? I could be f out there someday, but I'm this not. I'm staying in. Oh! This is 40 logic. degree weather. This is. I'm playing divinity. Your woman is showing. Yeah, I'm getting tired I of this. Oh my god, my soda. Woman, my woman is showing. I'll put oh it, my I'll god, put it soda's away. getting banned again. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm Thank sorry for you. Here we go. See you in a month, soda. Go ahead. All right, go ahead and talk to Gil Thunders. I'm seeing you in a month. <laughs> I'm gonna appeal to my lizard lover. I'm not uh, for help. He gives you a pity pop. <laughs> He's not gonna I'm help sorry, you. Darling, but I don't care. His business. lizard human is inside of me. Perfect. I'm playing like Okay, that clip went on just way too long. It just oh, did not no. need to be there that no. long. Is he? Was it me? Like they could have cut it at her talking about like cheating on him at the gym and it would have been a great clip. <laughs> oh, we saw this yesterday. This was crazy though. This is the strat. If you don't know how to beat this level, do this. Exactly what uh, Jesse, Jesse, Jesse's about to do. Jesse. Okay, fine, I will. Jesse, you finish. Oh! 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 You were playing Fall Guys? Wait, wait, wait. You Google no, wait, you Google. Just... See, we used Here's to play this. we used to play that game. But uh I uninstalled it and I vowed to never fucking install it again. Aren't even US citizens. Yeah, we saw this yesterday too. Uh, we'll, we'll skip past this one. For the 666 build. Fiona! Walk straight. Oh, no. Ow. Can you walk straight? Yeah. And uh, the dead rats. Whoa, the dead why would rat he be? was a problem. What the hell? Why is he, like, yelling at her? What the fuck? That was a little weird. But rip. Okay, let's see this again. Oh, no. Fiona! Fiona! Oh. Walk straight. Can you walk straight? Yeah, yeah. What, what the and hell? The dead rats. What is wrong the with that guy? Hopefully that's not her boyfriend. That was a problem. Uh, I will be honest. After she hits herself in the face with like, a pole. So I had a dead, oh, I've had many dead rats You wouldn't be house. like, are you okay, babe? But there was a dead rat in the house, and... I actually, I said this, right? You guys know, you guys know what, what, what's coming here, right? Oh, is this I the, used, is this the dead rat as an alarm clock? The dead rat as an alarm clock. Yeah, okay, we've heard because this. Because basically, I live in Texas. It gets really hot in Texas. Yep. And whenever it would get really hot, it would like, the, the house would get hotter, and it would like cook the corpse of the rat, and it would make it smell worse. So like, I would wake up every morning at like 7.30 or 8 a.m. Like, I was ready to f go because the first thing that happened is I'd smell that goddamn rat. You know what the fuck? Yeah, this is a, it, it, that's what it's a natural alarm. Yeah, free alarm clock. This is the. So, okay, I guess I'm fucking installing this stupid game again. Fuck, dude, I'm gonna install it and then it's nobody's gonna be playing it after two days. Um, okay, we're playing this tomorrow. Uh, but to what Asmongold just said. Whatever it was, months ago when I first heard that story, I couldn't in any capacity personally relate to that.
Now, after living a little bit more, I can. I've told some of you guys this story, but my backyard, there's a little bit of a like a patio with like an awning. Some some wood and like some like two by fours sectioning the top of it so like sunlight could come through the, the two by fours. But eventually, like after a while, like there was like too many leaves and stuff like that coming through it, getting on the patio. We covered the top with these like little like plastic panel things that we had. And uh just uh normal. Just go out in the backyard, walk out there, chill. One day a couple weeks ago, I open up my back door and I just notice what looks like a twig coming out of one of the two by fours in between two of them. And we have twigs that look like this. It lo- literally looks like, like a pine needle like twig. Like a like from a not like the pine needle, but like a from a pine needle tree, like a branch. Kind of had that like interesting texture to it. And I was like, oh, okay. That. Then I look, I do a double take. And it's a tail of a big fucking rat. And I'm telling you, dude, this thing was like this. The the tail alone was like this long. And I looked there and this rat had just gotten like stuck or something in between these two two by fours underneath the. Like it could have just like fallen down. I don't understand. I really don't understand how it got stuck there. Makes me think, what if somebody, like, put it there or something like that? That's, like, weird. That Okay, that's kind of weird. But the fact that it was, like, stuck there, like, hanging to where it, like, should have, like, just, like, fallen down. Didn't make any sense. But it was stuck there, and it had, like, decomposed, and it was all gross. I, I, I didn't use it as my alarm clock, though. I didn't even know it was there. We got rid of it when we found it. But it had to have been there for a while. Okay, so I, I honestly, I can, I can, like, look back and remember my peripheral, like, constantly seeing this twig every single time. You know what? They might have, Bright. They might have because we have, like, well, actually, they may, probably not because they were fed. We have, like, bird feeders all around there. Like, little bird feeders and stuff. And we, so there's, like, a lot of birds that come around here. So they might have been. Who knows? Okay, we saw this clip already. Okay, you have, just, you have a minute, you have a whole minute, very good. <laughs> what game is this? Hello, I'm the Mr. Spider-Man. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> what game is this? I've never seen Spider-Man. this before. You saw him! <laughs> Yo! Is that Counter-Strike? Because oh! terrorists win? <laughs> That's so good. Must be Counter Strike, an old one. Whoa! That was a plane crash. Welcome to America's hottest talk line. Guys, hot ladies are waiting to talk to you. Press one now. He actually tried to call the number and that's what he got? Okay, cool. <laughs> cool. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to drop. Hello, Kirsch. Villages? Moon Moon? And I'll see you guys in the next one. You can re-roll other villages? Too late. Re-roll Hello, other Kirsch. villages? What does that mean? Uh-oh. <sighs> What the f- Why did I go so high, dude? Rip. Yeah. My house! Rest in My peace. house! Rip. Um. Alright, let's go to actual live stream fails. See what's going on there. There was that boxing event that Ebi did from Spain. He broke records today. He had like 3.3 million concurrent viewers. Yo te digo una cosa. Rubius challenges XQC to a fight? Oh shit. Oh my god. He, is this the the XQC from Spain? Yo te digo una cosa. 
Si quiere venir, XQC me apunto. Wow. XQC. This is for you. Es un le estás le estás challengeando. Es un reto. Pero la norma es que ninguno de los dos entrenamos. Nos metemos aquí sin haber entrenado. Ah, vale, vale. Ahí de cabeza. Vale, vale. Okay. I I honestly think just looking at this guy. Yo te digo una. He would probably annihilate XQC. XQC, I think, is Cosa. shorter than this guy and does not have like this guy looks like he's built a little bit. He worked. He trained for this. I don't see XQC putting any uh, work. If he were to actually do this, which I don't think he will, I don't think XQC is trying to fight anybody. He doesn't need to, really. But I honestly, I don't think he. I don't know. This guy looks like he's got some arms, you know, underneath these sleeves. My fuck up XQC. Post and Spencer play 2B. Okay, no. Yeah, yeah, I e buy new world record now number one Twitch peak viewership at 2.5 million and rising. Yeah, I got up to like 3.3 or something. Yeah, I just hit 3 million on Twitch. So, con anterioridad, porque se han metido, además desde el primer taño de la campana, teniendo en cuenta lo que decíamos que son dos minutos y vais dos minutos, eh, no, eh, hay, hay que meter un poquito de presión para decantar el combate a tu favor. Correcto, tienes que ir más rápido, Eso con es. más ritmo. Por cierto, ahora mismo, más de 3 millones de personas dices? en Twitch. Qué barbaridad. Más de 3 millones de personas nos están comentando uh, por aquí, por vía interna. Qué, uh. qué locura, qué absoluto. Oh, they were, okay, they were wearing some headgear, all right. Um, Clint shows Mango around Smite. Okay, you know, I don't know who Mango is, but I want to see what I Smite looks like. Might, like Neath. Neath? Yeah. I heard that Neath was really fun to play. There's a couple characters that... Oh, shit! Yeah. Hell yeah, like Neath. What, because she's like naked? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What, what was funny about it? Um, I heard that you... Neef. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hell yeah, like Neef. Oh yeah, she's great. <laughs> great. Great character, okay. Um... Josh Strive Hayes reacts to Asmongold plus Zeppla reacting to Josh Strive Hayes reacting to... I don't care. Poke testing his new PC. I heard that he he, he was like struggling going live because he said his new computer kept blue screening, but he was like, oh, I'll just go live anyway. It'll be funny. <laughs> Hello? Oh my Dude. god! Oh Ow. my god! Jesus! What in the fuck? It said warning loud. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh my god, these motherfuckers. What the hell? That hurt my ears so bad right now. Oh my god, dude. What the <laughs> Here, we're gonna watch that again, just very quiet. It's so crazy. Bro, that's crazy. It's so crazy that even in a computer, you can create a feedback loop like that. He did something where he had, I think he had his microphone on too loud, like uh, turned his microphone gain was turned up too loud and he had it too close to his headphones maybe or something. I don't know. I had that happen once. When I had my microphone turned up, like somehow I didn't do it myself. My gain knob got turned all the way up, and I got like close to the mic, and it went eh, and started feedbacking like crazy. I think it just created that loop or something. But oh man, okay, I I went to audio engineering 
school. That's what I studied in college. Waste of time. Don't do that. If you're going to go to college, go to college for something that's, like, useful. Um, like, if you want to do audio engineering, just go work in a studio. But, uh, we had this one class where it was, like, it was a live sound class. And we had, like, a very big sound system hooked up in our very small studio. It wasn't a small studio, but... Like this, we had like a, a setup that you would have at like a small stage setup, a PA system and everything like that. And they were just having us go like hook up a mic, turn it on, get the mic coming through the speakers and all that, do some stuff. This one girl went up there and she did something and the loudest feedback came through the speakers it literally knocked her on the ground because she was like right in front of the fucking speaker it was so loud she went woof she like flew back and fell on her back onto the floor and we were all like oh my god the people that were in this the like the control room of the studio working on like another class there was like a whole big like bulletproof glass soundproof glass huge doors closed in between our rooms because we were in the actual recording studio area. They were in, like, the control room area. They all, like, looked out over at the, 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 the soundproof glass. They were like, what? what? It was crazy. So, yeah, feedback can literally damage you. It literally will damage your ears. That, what we heard, it had if it was loud enough, could damage ears. That shit should be TOS. You shouldn't be allowed to put that... It should be banned, okay? You're gonna break people's speakers in their ears. Um, rabbits doing rabbit things? Okay, an Emery clip, all right. Sniffing Jane's ass. Okay, very classy. Yep, that's yep, that's what, what rabbits. Oh <laughs> god. Oh no, you can't do that on Twitch. Definitely can't do the sex we on brought, Twitch. We you in here to be a suitor for for D. Okay, next. Um, level of production went through the roof. <laughs> Bro, I, it's crazy. The Spanish streamers are on a whole nother level, man. I remember back in the day when they were like crushing numbers on GTA roleplay compared to the like the no pixel streamers. A lot of people were saying that they were view botting. But I don't I have no I there was never any evidence to that in any capacity. So I don't I never like really believed it. I just was always like maybe they were just jealous. Like I don't know. Maybe it was true, maybe it wasn't, I don't know. Never looked into it, don't care. But all you gotta do is look at this uh look at this and say, okay, maybe maybe they were pulling that kind of viewership, you know? Real. What is this clip? This was uh, Ebay, his uh, his boxing event in Spain. Twitch had the most, uh, broke record for most viewers today. Good. For them. Oh, are you talking about the next one? Ari at home, spider twerking. So, <laughs> are they just hanging out more now? Like, cause they they we saw like they hung out like last week. Or just okay, okay. Now? Oh, let's go, Ari. Let's go. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> all right, all right. I guess it's my turn. Woo! Here we go. Here we You're go. gonna I fuck me up right now. I do. Gonna... I hope I don't get fucking banned today. Wait, do, are you gonna get me? I uh. I don't know if we can watch this clip. It's only five hours old. 
Here, let me. Cause like you can't, literally, it's. I mean, like, I don't even know how to twerk normally, so. Getting on LSF real quick. Wait, stop! Stop! Hold on, let me stop the you. stream! Stop the stream! I can't watch this. Yeah. I wasn't here for this. Yeah. Wait, do we? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't see that. I don't, I don't know. I think that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But I, I just know that Twitch has taken a stance I, against I actual. I think like, you just twerking. made me famous. What? I think you just made me famous. Me? Oh, yeah. I think that think clip gonna is gonna, gonna be gonna, more. We're gonna skip that clip, bro. I got baited hard. Oh no! Wait. You, oh shit! How uh? How allergic to mosquitoes are you? Like so allergic that you need to go get like an EpiPen or you need to go like to a, a quick care? Or is it just like you get itchy, hive, stuff like that? Sorry you didn't get to see your fireworks TTV. That's a bummer. Um, but yeah, we're not going to watch that clip. It's only five hours old. You know, the other day, I, and I do this often, and I don't, it's not because I actually think there's something wrong with any of these clips. It's just because I know Twitch TOS. I've read it a lot. I... I understand it. I know what I can and can't do. Sometimes there's some things that are ambiguous and you're just like, ah, maybe. But Twitch is like taking a hard stance against twerking in the past. They're not about it. And um, like little joke twerking is like whatever. But like if you're actually going to twerk, like they're just not about it. Um, And the other day, Rafflegator had a clip that I read the title of. And I don't even remember what the title was, but I was like, uh. And I looked at the time, and it was three hours ago. I was like, we're not watching this. He got banned for that clip. So like, I just, I, I try my hardest to skip the ones that I think are going to be problematic in any capacity. Cook sucks, steal someone's girl. Oh, my God. Cook. No, no. Wait, oh, is that is that Jake's girl water? I thought it was Jake's girlfriend like just they were just doing a little bit Yeah, I I the tweet I saw said it got up to 3.3 million views but yeah, maybe to, I don't know exactly what it was, but yeah, crazy. That is doing great things for Twitch. Like, damn. I mean, bro, if you got a boyfriend or a significant other, and you're out there like grinding up on other people, like I don't know. You might want to find yourself another significant other, you know? Um, lyric meets friend. Like, unless it's, like, they're, they're friends. Like, you know, like, dancing with each other. But, like, if you're just, like, some random guy at the club just up grinding, yeah, you might want to find yourself a new partner. You know? And it might not be worth it going over there and being like, hey, come back to me. You know? It just might not be worth it. Lyric meets friendly player in DayZ. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lyrics like I'm done with this nice shit. <laughs> Killing people. Done with it. Good. Jake and Bake's fine. Okay, no, we saw that. We saw that. We saw the Moon Moon tries the trident. Soda's wild brain. Soda Poppin was playing. F okay, I guess it's time. Damn it! I wish I would have known. I would have installed it today. We would have played right now. I bet I could install this game right now without anything happening to my computer uh, while I'm streaming. I don't think I have access still. What, what the fuck are you talking Wait, about? Wait, what? I'm serious. We could do Raft. I've never played Raft. The beta? Is, isn't it full release now? Uh, I don't think I have access still. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm serious. What, babe, it, it, the game is out. Wait, really? I don't see it. 
They released Wrath of the Lich King already? Is that real? No way they did. Did they? There's no way. Wrapped? Are you? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. That was a dumb clip. Fuck this clip. Talking about a totally different oh, you're game. Talking about okay. Um. Okay, yeah, I think we're done. Because now I'm seeing stuff from yesterday. Yep. You ins Oh! You know what, Ben? I think I'm going to install that too. So maybe we'll, we'll get some rounds in. How are we doing? Why? We all know. Well, I know we saw this clip, but for anybody that didn't see it, Milena is like still injured. You want to leave? We haven't even started skating yet. Looking at your stream. Every single oh. kids. Yeah, they should follow though. For real, we've been down bad with followers. Oh! Sorry! Well, kid, dude, and I said this yesterday, and I'm glad I'm replaying it. I didn't realize it at first what was really going on. I thought it was just like an innocent kid at his summer camp, just going a little too fast. He saw that beautiful OTK hoodie, and he just lost control. He lost his vision, and he, he blanked, you know? But then I realized, it seemed targeted. It seemed premeditated. It seemed like that kid was trying to murder Elena. And then I realized, why would anybody want to murder Milena? Why? You start to think about it. You think, oh yeah, that's right. Bright is in love with NMP. So much so that Bright will take screenshots of NMP from this stream and post it on his Instagram, tagging him saying, cutie. Bright's thirsty out here. He's, he's wanting NMP. I think Bright paid this kid to try to assassinate Milena. I think that's what happened. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them know. I'm gonna tell them. And they're gonna come for you, Bright. All right, moving on. I don't, I don't even think Bright's listening. <laughs> um. Bright's got an agenda. Yep, take out Melania. Um, Pokemon Internet. Okay, we're just gonna watch this clip and then this is then we're done. We're gonna move on to watch another stuff. Make the best experience for you all as well. I know it can be kind of uh, what's up, Shaggington? Kind of on the edge of your seat, edge of your seat. Oh, yep. What's up with this Pokemon? Is this the Pokemon community game you thing? What is that? Does anybody know and can explain to me what it is? It seems to me like, I don't know. What is it? What's up with that? Is that like a gotcha game? I see a lot of people playing that and I see it in people's chats where people will be playing it. It's like a, a bot. What do you know? I switched to my phone. Sorry, go. Oh, okay, so bright. You... You're caught, okay? We know exactly, exactly what you did. You know exactly what you did. But, yeah, the Pokemon community game, does anybody know? Wait, what's VGC mean? What does that mean? Yeah, I don't know what that means. But yeah, anyway, I've seen a lot of people have that like bot in their chat and it's like a whole category as well that you can go into and play. And I've seen some people like literally like playing totally other games, but still in the Pokemon community game section. And I'm just like, what is going on? Yeah, so I don't I don't know. Like on Pokemon Showdown. Okay, yeah, I never played Pokemon Showdown. The rule 
full set. Oh, the VG. Okay. For competitive Pokemon battles. Okay. I was just wondering, is that Pokemon community games thing, is there like a huge like pay to play element where you're like putting a bunch of money in to get your Pokemon or something? I just, I don't know. It just seemed interesting to me. I'm going to look into it. Um, I'm not going to play it. I just wanted to know about it. All right, let's watch, uh, let's watch a beat battle. Let's see what's going on over there. Flicko! As some of you know, we frequent the Kenny Beats beat battles every week. Sometimes not every week, but he, uh, he puts out a random sample, gives it to his chat, and then they have an hour and a half to make a beat out of it. Sometimes we get some really good beats. Sometimes we get some real shit beats. The, the whole video so we'll see but regardless kenny beats is always great and i just i love watching his stuff hello 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 hello, hello. today is the day okay I showdown's figured, a free one I'll okay give you a classic we don't normally do classics okay we normally do just weird it's not super videos important. okay that psycho find, that people send me or that Eris finds but today this is your sample yeah boy Doom, 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 doom. Give me some 808s, please. Give me some heavy 808s. He's really giving him the whole thing. That's your sample for today, folks. That's your sample for today. All right. This is our top 10 for today. Oh, he doesn't even go over the gifts. Okay, cool. Sasbo, Duck, Jay, Weege, Vild, but Sober, Salty, Univoc, Carpo, Mania, Anomal, Lotus. Let's start with number 10 for today. Sasbo, let's get it. Yeah, boy! No. No! Dude, these kids are just all like literal like people that are just in jazz school. I swear to you, these people are just kids in jazz school. College. Yeah, boy. When I was in jazz school, I met a lot of people, a majority of them, who were like Killer jazz players, like oh my god, you could just throw a piece of jazz music in front of them, a, a chorus, and they could play through that chorus, and then they could solo over it. But then, like when you actually put them into like a contemporary situation, it would always end up like this, and it would always bum me out because I was like, man, these people are like so young, like they're so young, and they're like holding on to this style that like literally is only like i love jazz i love freeform jazz but it's like it's only alive right now because of college like the universities are what keep that shit alive and like the the some of the like jazz festivals that are still around and it's just like you just see these kids that were like 18 19 20 years old just playing stuff that like 50 60 year old people are playing and it's like yo like that's tight and all but like we're in a contemporary time and then eventually, I, I used to like have those criticisms, and then eventually they changed the jazz program to call the uh, commercial music. And they like literally shifted the whole program over to like more, like they have jazz, they still do jazz, but then they have all these other classes of like contemporary music styles and things like that. And it, they need it, dude. They fucking need it, man. You can't like you're not gonna like survive just like playing jazz unless you're just like okay, I'm gonna go back to into the university and be a, a teacher. Or like if you're very lucky, like in the in the cases where there's like Family Guy, Seth MacFarlane, where he literally like has like a jazz orchestra that he hires and, and stuff like that to do all of his music. And my teacher back then was like the piano player for. Uh, for that Family Guy show, the head, the head, he was like the band leader. 
So like, it still exists. But, like, it would just always really bummed me out when there would be these kids that could just shred so hard, but you put them in a contemporary music setting and they just had, it was just like, stuff like this would come out. And just be like, they could fucking shred through a, a jazz chorus that was 50 years old, you know? 60 years old. Okay. Um, they could do the like bebop. The, whatever that pad thing is, it was a, a sample, and you were just kind of pitching it up and down. That's how you got to that, like, modulation. When it, bah, 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 you just changed the beat around, like, that chord in a different key. Okay, next. Let's go to the next one. Submitting. Next up, we have Duck. Let's go. Yeah, boy! Could have picked such better notes. Oh, I just saw Hellberg in the chat. Hellberg, he was one of the people from the season one beat battle that made one of the best beats we've ever fucking heard. went from like actual like really good producers submitting stuff to like just everyday chatters that have a DAW putting their music in here. Ooh, that part's kind of cool though. That little... I like that. It could have been used in a different like song though and it would have been cooler. I kind of fuck with this part right here a little bit. I fuck with this part, the end part of it. When that little oh, some wrong thing came in. Um, I feel like you have really good ideas. <laughs> I'm not sure about some of the execution of the ideas. A John Petrucci said you had it in the first half. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's, yep. I like that you're experimenting and you're taking risks, and I like the, I like kind of that it's gritty and it's kind of distorted. Like the sound quality is but yeah. Gnarly. The like my, my my one of my I think my main point is like you throw one of these jazz kids that's in jazz school into a, a contemporary music setting to make some hip hop, they're gonna give you a funk beat. <laughs> it can be cool if you pull it off, but some of it just leaves me with a with three question marks on my forehead. Yeah, like, that's that beat that did that it. to me too. The second the like uh, the last part of it was good, but the rest of it was weird. <laughs> I like the definite idea. wrong I like notes, and I don't like to. I, I try not to ever say there's wrong notes because you know me. I love dissonance. I, I I love that stuff. But sometimes you just, if you're not making dissonant music and you start throwing in some chromaticism in there, it's not going to sound good. If you're making very like harmonic music, it's not it doesn't always work unless you're like, oh, let's hit that harmonic minor note. Like let's play the melodic minor. Like, but other than that. Come in there with some chromaticism, it's gonna sound whack. It's gonna sound like you literally just don't know what sounds good. Come over here, I got you screaming, hey yo. Remember that shit? Technology. But like I said, that when that like little arpeggiated thing came in, that was cool. That shit, Fifty Cent, Just Timberlake, had a little bit of AO technology energy. I think the ideas were really good. The execution wasn't all the way there. Some of it was just too fucked up note wise. Some of it was a little too gritty sound quality wise but i think you're on your way to being a great ideas are what matter more than anything else that beat was a little little fucked up let's keep going though jay weed weeds weeds up next let's go yeah, boy. <laughs> no Science, I, you, you know, me and you have the same exact opinion on that. Okay, this beat was made like this guy has been working on this beat for like a year. Okay, obviously, you can just hear it the way he just threw the sample in the beginning is like a little intro. This is a beat he's been working on for a while. This is his like masterpiece, and he want really wanted Kenny to hear it. Let's hear it again. Up next, let's go. Yeah, boy. No. 
get that guitar out of there. Ugh, that guitar line. Ugh. gotten to a hip-hop beat though so far but no i i don't the sample wasn't used at all um and i don't think he made this in the last hour and a half i'm gonna use working on this oh do you fuck with this one ben like this is like i said this is a good hip-hop beat for sure best one so far but i don't think he made this in an hour and a half quick question about that beat what month did you make it in yeah <laughs> Because I feel like you just put a Yeah Boy sample on the front of a beat. Bam! But if you did make that today, good job. Um, I like... I if like you did make change. that today... I'm not sure I love the synth. Pretty sound. obvious. Like it's very obvious when somebody's got a beat that but they've like polished I like, I like the feel over, like over the time. You're supposed to make these beats in an hour and a half. Beat of like, today so far. Or maybe even less than that. Sometimes he gives you like an hour. So it um, that, to me, just instantly I could hear. Yeah, when, when did you make that beat? Was it like three weeks ago or some kind of metal DMB mix with the symbol? Nice. Like it. Like Science. It, Sounds cool. I need somebody to grab my attention though. I need someone to grab the damn attention. Vild but sober. Yeah, Let's nobody's see. grabbed attention yet. I feel like I'm like gra I'm like I'm uh I'm beating a level in in Ocarina of Time right now. That little moment when you like beat a level or you like get like a new weapon, you like grab that new weapon, it's like -na 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 -na. Oh. Winner. Okay, yeah, I was just about to say, wait a minute. Winner. Yeah, so far this is the best one, but not really for me, but winner. Okay, yeah, I fuck with this. Winner. It's a little smooth jazzy right there. Okay, now let's get into the smooth jazz. All right. What? That was 34 seconds? Yeah, what? Ugh. 34 seconds. <laughs> it's enough to get me to the boiling point. Did I say we were making like podcast intros today? We were looking oh. for a beat. It's enough to get me to the boiling point. What do you want me to use this for? Like a, a McDonald's radio ad? That was fucking 30 seconds long. I don't know what I'm so... It's enough to get me to the boiling point. Yeah, that sounded okay, off to you. Twice, okay, bitch. for sure. Go watch the VOD twice. I don't got time to play it twice. That's the best beat of the day, but it's half of a length of the... You know what? You win either way. But next time... Longer beat. Just fucking loop it, maybe? Can you just put the loop on? Yeah, literally. All you gotta, gotta do is loop it. It's half of a W. Let's loop just it one time. In the chat. Everybody, let me get a V in the chat. A V? <laughs> half a, a W? Full w. Can I get a V? Let me just get a V in the chat. Everyone just throw V's in the chat. V's, 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 V's. Don't put multiple V's, because then it's a W, stupid. <laughs> put a V in the chat. V's in the chat. It's a w, a w, stupid. <laughs> Half a W, very <laughs> nice. Okay, let's keep going. Salty up next. Yeah. Salty, if your beat's longer than fucking 34 seconds, you might have it. Yeah, boy. Oh. Oh, oh it's starting off good. Ooh. It makes you feel like I'm about to go grab a can of spray paint and tag some walls, baby. Bombing some walls, Salty. bombing some walls. This one's got a little seasoning on it. Walking down the common halls, ready to bomb some walls, baby. University, gonna tag it up. Fuck that shit. Fuck that private property. It's mine now. I miss the graffiti days. Oh, yeah. This is the best one so far. Yeah, nice baseline, everything about it. Oh, my God. The real talking Ben is in chat. Oh, fuck. Maybe. Maybe I can. We'll have to see about that. What the question is. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is the best beat. Best one. This is number one of the day. Super, super hard. I mean, I think... Bill yeah, the, sober the real talking Ben, it definitely is. There's always going to be somebody out there that cares that, about that you, and if you're slight... actually struggling with stuff like that, you should hit up like professionals that can like help talk you through that. You should reach out to some of your family, your friends, whoever it is. But if you're just like here to joke around and troll about that, it's not. It's not funny. It's not funny. So, um, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure you're just here to troll and make light of people that actually are going through those kinds of issues. I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of you right now, but um, if you are actually going through that, hit up the right channels, uh, talk to some people that care about you, but going around and like trolling about actual issues that people deal with like that in a Twitch chat is just degenerate, and you should really question yourself and like what you're doing with your life. Like variations from the start, there's an addition of like two things, but. It worked. I mean, that's a placement beat. That's a beat that a lot of people would. I meant to hit permanent. Many, I don't many, know why many, I only did many it for people. An hour. Which, at the end of the day, kind of more important than winning a, a beat battle. Even though we're giving away a lot of gifts today, someone can take your song and make, or take your beat and make a great song out of it. That's really kind of what we do this for. Yeah, so. that was the best beat for sure. I love that, Salty. Yeah, Salty, I don't know who you are. We're gonna Number need a beat one. breakdown for that. We're gonna need a breakdown, Salty. Oh, he wants a beat if you are breakdown so generous, for that. As to make us a video showing us how you made that, I will play it on stream. I'll try to get you as many followers as I possibly can. That is our agreement here. If you make a beat breakdown for me, I'll play it on stream, and I'll tell everybody to sub to you over and over and over and over, and I will sub as well. That's what we do here. We've gotten people up from 10 to 1,000. I'm sure a lot of people would love to learn from you, Salty. That is a very impressive beat. Very and next. Going. Guitar lines like that, like, you know how many guitar lines have been recorded that sound just like that? It's like a typical, like, here's this style. It's just, ah, I get so bored of music sometimes, man, when it's just like the literal, like, same exact shit you've heard in other, like, songs. I'll say thank you to Boogie T for the subs. I think recorded and processed the right way that beat could have been a clear winner there's some there's some shit with just how that is hitting and i don't mean like in the sense like in a in like a that shit don't hit twitter sense i mean like how it hits in the speakers how loud the bass is how loud the drums are how loud the guitar is how they're eq'd how they're processed whatever it is that you're doing to record them it, people could hear this through my like room microphone basically that my speakers are playing in front of and they can hear that it feels thin that's what i'm hearing here too true that's like actually that what i felt too but of... like kenny i know kenny you know kenny's just giving us some like, good advice right there mixing advice because like you're not going to get your beat to sound that crazy in an hour and a half like engineering wise but a lot of these people will have like presets that they put on their master channel that like literally are like mastering the song for them like without actually going in and mastering it it's just like a couple like a plug-in chain that you use it's like all right i'm just gonna throw this on here at the end just so it can sound like professional like for when you know, like kenny listens to it but then like a like if you were actually gonna go and release that song you would send it to like an actual mastering engineer who would go through and try to like basically like emulate what those plugins did just in actually like editing it the actual waveforms and stuff filter phone filter thing on it it's cool to do that but there's something about how loud that bass is 
versus how little low end is in that kick and how little mid range is kind of in the drums and the guitar. Um, anyway, Damn, yeah, he's really, he's I like, that, he must have liked the beat though, because that's why he's giving him this advice, I you think. You get the right guitar tone and you get the right drum sound and you get the right bass and you get the right everything going. Your beats with this kind of playing will hit in a whole new way. I don't think playing is the issue for you. I don't think um, the melodies and the little additional lead stuff you're doing on top of it. I don't think you have problems coming up with those kinds of things. It doesn't sound like it at all. It sounds like it's more in the recording production shit. Um, you're a great musician, though. Carpo, number four. Let's keep going. Yeah, boy. Yeah. wrong in that section i could literally go the rest of my life without hearing a funk bass line like that and i would be so happy slap bass is lame slap bass is not cool just say it right now. If you're picking up a bass and you're not cool. Flame. There's a reason why Thundercat does not slap the bass. Oh yeah, we saw that one movie where they were like slapping the bass. Like, okay. I hate that, bro. That chromatic bass. Oh! That one sounded like they were from Finland. I hate that shit. Uh, it makes me so pissed. That was the thing about the other producers from Finland who were who have won in our beat battles. Could never it's, tell. It was the worst, man. You're right. You know what I mean? They, their shit sounded amazing. Could never have pinpointed it. This sound. Love right, you, you too, Cree. Who produces me? Where do you think they came from? I would have said Finland. Oh, I, I love you, man. Oh. <laughs> I said, don't do the fins like hey i thought you were like the, i love you man i was the like the battles have been great. dominated by people from finland recently shout out all the nordic members of the community that beat was uh oh man the beat was not quite in the pocket rhythm i didn't even remember what the movie was called i thought it was like knocked up or so i don't even remember but yeah thank you i was like for me oh great the like, mix oh. of some of the synths in there. But I mean, you say so that all the time, and so it's like it's not out of the ordinary. The I was just like, I was the, uh, oh, Cree. The rest of the again. Beat. I feel like you you mixed it on like a old flip phone. It just didn't. Yeah, someone said crazy frog vibes. Exactly. Big crazy frog energy. Same mix engineer. Okay, so, next. But appreciate the disco, the disco energy. Yeah, shape. right. You know what I mean? Someone doing a nostalgic thing in here, but no, I know. Yeah, exactly. I know. I know. That's why it wasn't out of the ordinary, and that's why it made sense for me to just yeah. instantly think that's what you were just saying, like, up, like usual. Like, I thought you enjoyed what I had just said. And you're like, ten. man, I love you. <laughs> but you're just saying the movie name. <laughs> I thought you were like, I hate funk bass lines too. And I agree with everything you're saying. I'm, get a man, I love you, man. And I literally thought this like like what the vibe was. <laughs> I hate them. There we go. That's right. This is not a good beat either. How did this get so many votes? It's because these people that make this beat, like this, what does that say? I can't read it. I think it says 25 votes maybe. This guy made 22 different uh, alt accounts to vote for himself. a question you use the uh you use the yeah boy for the lead right oh 
that's what it was. Did not sound good. Did not sound good. <laughs> Did not. That beat sounded like the producers of Funky Town started doing interlude music for the BET Awards. You remember? Bam, 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 bam. Bum, 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 bum. It's like that. It's the sound reminds me of that song for some reason. Remember that? Remember in South Park? That was like the code for Tally. Mr. Fucking, it was Tally when Tally had to let in the building. Beep, it was beep, always, beep, the code beep, was beep. Funky Town. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Two beats left. A normal. Let's go. Two beats, man. Wow. <laughs> Especially that part, that was cool. I like you tried to take every Drake song that has a time and a place for a title and make them all into like one interlude. You know, <laughs> you know 7 a.m. Cal Bass is like 4 p.m. in Houston. It sounds like you tried to do all of them at once. But then you put, <laughs> yeah, boy, on top of it. Rip. You did like new house Drake at the end. You did like old Drake in the middle. That one don't give me as much of the feeling as like the club gonna close. You know Drake's Drake's new album. Every song, every song, the club is closing. The we he literally that was the last week, the last beat battle where he said that. About this last battle, this feels like the Seven Eleven about to close. And you asking if you could have the like the donuts nobody ate. You know what I mean? This feels like they about to like the gas station. Yeah, I kind of fucked with that beat. I'm not gonna lie. Like, bro, I fucked with it. Went bad. Can I just get him for like? I I, I think like, everything he's saying about it is pretty funny the, too. They're already past the due date. You can't even sell these, bro. Just give me these for a buck. Normal. Shout out to you. There were some ups in that beat. There were some downs. Damn, he's putting him way down there. There was other beats that were way uh, Lotus, that sucked way more than that. <laughs> Let's get the most beat the votes. You sound like Law and Order Atlanta. <laughs> Wait, yeah. All it needs is a dun dun. Yeah, where's the sample actually? Oh, I think the sample is that like synth thing in the back. I haven't heard, yeah, boy. There it is. I just heard a yeah, boy right there. I heard it. There's a lot of really good, like, there's a lot of musicality in that. There's a lot of great playing in that. Someone said, all new menu at Subway. <laughs> <laughs> Lotus, you're a great producer. I don't know. I don't know if that was the one for today, comparatively. Um, Salty with Yo, the Yo, I almost fell one. back yeah, in this boy. chair. <laughs> Holy shit, that Too was scary. Woo! The gifts for today are first place. Salty, you are winning Isotope RX9 Advance. That's $1,200 worth of plugins. Second place today, Vild But Sober. You're winning the H9 Plugin Series Bundle from Eventide. That's $1,100 worth of plugins. Third place today, Univoc. You are winning Autotune Unlimited for one year. That's every single Antares plugin for a year, including Harmony Engine and Autotune. Number four, 
Okay, Lotus, wait, you won the Prince okay. from Frank I don't care Dukes. who won first. Like, I want to hear the wild card. There's one thing that we need to do. There's one tradition that we need to follow, and that is we need to play the person who got the absolute least amount of votes. Yep, wild card. Today, that would be Fraga. Sometimes this the best. the wild card. New Death Grip song. Yes! This is the best one! Okay, the yeah boy thing is getting a little annoying, but... They could have done this... They literally could have... They could have done it better, the sample. But yeah, no, the beat, I think that's my favorite beat. I swear. Literally, that's my favorite beat. They should have just done something different with the sample. To God, that could have been on Donda. <laughs> the right, if you got the right 808. If Kanye started snapping on that, no one is questioning it. No one. If Kanye had a one bar about Kim on that, it'd be viral. Yep. That might be the best beat of the day. I really think it was. I th I think it was. Ramen, we're in we're in agreement with Kenny right there. That was the best beat of the day. Um, I have I do have to go to the bathroom. Uh, I'm feeling that IBS pretty heavy today. And like I said, I w I literally woke up at like 9:40, 9:45, and just like rushed out here. I didn't even do my normal stuff. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna put this on. But then we're, when I come back, we're for sure watching this new Mark Weens. Because it's him in Thailand, and I think it's going to be really good. But, uh, or actually, no, you know what? Instead of a K video, let's put on something a little more high energy. Let's put on some Liver King. Liver King mukbang. Primals, Liver King here. We got a new addition to the film crew. He let's showed up early go! to get some right, I'll be back. to go for a walk. And he's looking pretty local. He's looking pretty in season. He's looking pretty organic and wild. Primals, primals, primals. This is what Lever King is having for dinner today, and you're gonna love this. I had my video crew for social over here today, and we had five of them filming. And now, after doing my successful hunt, there's only four. <laughs> and so this is what Lever King is having for dinner today. We got three ounces of liver with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, of course, because liver is king. We got some bone marrow right here some human marrow right here. We got a liver king bar already chopped up and with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, because we don't get enough protein, we have protein on top of protein. I call this protein. So this is a whole beast protein shake. We got a tongue. <laughs> we got some head cheese. We got some cheek. We got some testicles, because why would you eat vegetables when you can have testicles? We got some lungs. We got a heart. We got more heart on top of heart, and we got a plate of carbs. And this is what I'm getting down on right now. Let's dig in. No meal would be complete without going after the liver first. So this is where we start. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. This is some good liver. I'm not so sure I've ever had human. I mean, I'm <laughs> I might have to edit that out. I'm not so sure I've had this kind of liver before. But very, very tasty. Get a shot of the bone marrow. Look at how great that bone marrow is. And um, normally, I gotta leave the bone marrow out of the fridge for a little while. But here's one of the nice things about today's hunt, is none of these items went into the fridge or freezer. So you can see that this femur bone, look at that, all that marrow just pops right out, all of it. All right, 
So we'll be getting down on that. Here in a second, that's dessert. But I'm gonna have some of it right now. Okay. That's incredible. I do wanna have some whole beast, but I'm gonna ask somebody to blend that up for me. Striker! I need my whole beast blended up. So now we're gonna get down on the testicles. So why would you eat vegetables when you can have testicles? Well, I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again. There's no vegetable that has any of the raw ingredients to produce a healthy set of testicles, but testicle has all of the raw ingredients, all of the raw materials to strengthen and support one's own testicles down the hatch. Done. Let's get down on some tongue. Mmm, wow. Liver King Chef Lionel murdered, I mean, <coughs> Liver King Chef Lionel did a great job on Craig's tongue. Let's check out the ribs. Mmm. Can you also bring me a proper knife? Oh, Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, I'm back. Oh wait, hold on. We are going to consume the whole beast in front of me. But also the whole beast protein shake because it is delicious. And it has virtually everything in front of me, and it's shaking. It's delicious. Thank you, Striker. Yep. Mm. My food is good. Good eating. My proper knife, so I don't have to be ashamed of using whatever that other utensil is that somebody put okay, in no, front of me. Sorry. I guess they believed in me too much because they know. It, oh my God, you guys. Little King. Okay. Normally, I know we joke around. We're like, oh, it, it, Brad will be like, oh, look, in his smelly, smelly, in a band, he smells, blah, blah. I was laying down some farts in here while we were sitting here watching that beat battle. Like, usually you fart. And if it smells, it's there for like five, maybe ten seconds, you know, it's just quick. This shit was like lingering for like a minute and longer. It was crazy. It, it was crazy. I had to go take care of that right now. I, it probably doesn't. Woo! And like I was saying while I was in there, I feel like I've been drinking a little too much protein and not enough fiber. Mm. Also, like I said while I was in there, I usually love the way meat looks. This looks fucking gross. When your food is prepared with such deliciousness and tenderness. What up, bro? Me? How you doing? I really don't need a knife. Let me get down on some head cheese. Mmm. Oh, that's good. There's colostrum and even bone. In here, it's head cheese. If you want to know how to make this delicious head cheese, go to wait. Lim like my 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 specialty Prima Jack cheese, what, head cheese. What is he talking about? Chef, and you'll see what Lionel does. Is he eating Prima Jack cheese right now? Is he getting his cheese from the in a, in a band Prima Jack Farms. Okay. Oh, this poor guy. <laughs> this poor guy. He had heart. This poor guy, this poor deer. I was, I was watching it. It was a little doe. It was hanging out with its mom and dad, and I just fucking shot it, killed it, and I'm eating its heart right now. <laughs> if he had a good heart, good liver, good bone marrow, good ribs, good lungs. Yeah, just eating the lungs. Perhaps he was a good person. Animal. Animal.
What? Uh oh, Liver King's Liver King's taking the carnivore diet a whole nother level. He's going from carnivore to cannibal. Person. Perhaps he was a good person. Oh god, what is going on at Liver King Ranch? Feds need to investigate this man immediately. I think he is eating human meat. That's why this meat looks so weird. This literally looks like a pile of shit. Looks like a pile of shit right here. What is this? Animal. <laughs> Animal. Music just had me going for a second. I try to demand with every meal. To have something with a bone. Ice cream man's going through Liver King's neighborhood right now. Because attached to the bones, we have all this connective tissue, all this, all these cartilaginous parts. Yeah, but Liver King's maybe, maybe, maybe that's just like what he listens to. Maybe he's listening to that. You know, it makes sense. This is the kind of guy that like pours maple syrup onto his meat to eat it and he'll like pour maple syrup on his like pork rinds and stuff i love me some maple syrup when it's on some pancakes or some waffles not on some meat but this guy he 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 loves his sweets he's like a little kid still you know he's listening to the ice cream man while he eats you're not gonna get unless you eat the bone <laughs> or what's right next to the bone or something bone in Literally, he's like Ooh. listening to that shit. He had, he thought he masked it with the masculine music in the background. Like, okay, make sure that's turned up louder so they don't hear what I'm listening to while I'm chowing. So, you ask, then you will receive. I could see that, though, actually. Maybe, like, for the way, like, for some indoctrination techniques. Like, maybe he just has that playing at his house over some loudspeakers, like, all the time. Make sure his kid, like, he, like, trains his kids to eat that meat or something. I don't know. Eat the testicles. Animal okay. testes. So. Okay, a lot. Ice cream, man. It's gone now. Nurse, man. Off the bone. We're about to come back to that. But next. This is a long... Mmm. Let's get down some lung. And here's the thing about lung. I've had lung a few dozen times. And not once have I ever really, really liked it. Oh. But I know how incredibly nourishing it is. And I know that like supports like. And I know Just the early the ancestors out here, and modern-day primitive cultures, they devour it. So eat it for that reason. Okay, I'm done with this. I'm done with this fucking video. I can't anymore. What are those? Tasty cheat. Good things in the world when you are nourished from this animal. Oh, look, he's barely even eating the heart. <laughs> he's like a little nibble. This nibble. animal nourishes you. It leaves the that legacy the testicle? That's through you. So you must not waste this animal. Um, You'll feel better. You'll look the Liver King bar. Damn, dude, he literally did just eat all that. Mm. That's pretty crazy. That's a I lot have of food. An incredible tribe around me. I don't know if he's enjoying it though. Is he really enjoying it? Of Is that the whole point of eating to me? Yeah, like it's for sustaining survival, but like we're at a point where we can eat for comfort and for enjoyment. You know. And it's like, I'm going to force myself to eat all this right now to prove this is how you live like me. Get all your liver from my, my website. 
Get all your supplements from my website. All right, let's watch uh, Mark Ween's real af oh, oh, let's watch this first. We got a new uh, Carbon Animations video about uh, the Lucario Academy. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> yep, I remember that. Yep, I know exactly what the part is. Yep. 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 This guy, yep, I remember this guy. He wasn't that hard, though. Bro, I did the same thing! I, like, went up there first, and I had to, like, figure out how to get back down there, uh, to, to go fight him. I didn't want to teleport all the way back, because it was far. Yep. Oh, the, yep. <laughs> yep. This part. Yep. Yep. Ouch. Yep. These. Oh my god. So annoying. Yep. That's how it went. Yeah, and then the parkour part. Yep. Yep, you can, yep. Then that happens, yep. This guy wasn't that hard. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. You can do that. That was it? There was more to that. What? Man! I wanted to see the whole thing. There's like more to the the academy, but okay. I'm pretty sure there's an elevator right there. Yeah, or there's a grace point at least or something right there behind him. Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing- Alright, let's watch Mark Weens. Like I said, there's been some episodes recently where he's eaten some really good food and some stuff to me that makes me feel sick to my stomach. This is Thailand. I love Thai food. I'm very excited about this. Amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Chiang Mai, which is one of the most delicious cities for food lovers in Thailand. Wow. Amazing Thailand. Amazing Thailand. <laughs> Today I'm taking you on an ultimate Thai food tour to eat 11 of the best northern Thai foods. And I'll show you exactly where to eat them when you're in Chiang Mai. Right off the grill. This is a good enough reason to come to Chiang Mai. From spicy bowls of khao soy to herbal sausage that will blow the taste buds herbal off your tongue. Herbal sausage? Get ready for oh. the ultimate food lover's guide to Chiang Mai. I need, so I'm, I'm actually getting a little hungry right now. I'm usually not super hungry right now, at the beginning of stream. I don't get hungry until like near the end of stream. It's getting me a little hungry right now. Chiang Mai is the largest city in northern Thailand, a cultural capital of the Lana Kingdom that was founded in the year 1296. It's home okay. to impressive monuments and temples, friendly markets, and of course, an abundance of delicious local food. Before we get started with this video, I just want to say mm. a big thank you to TAT, the Tourism Authority of Thailand, for sponsoring this video. You're going to want to sit back and relax and keep watching this entire video all the way to the end because there is some seriously mouthwatering Chiang Mai Thai food. Oh, wow. In this video right now. I'm oh, starting wow. you off with one of the most famous and loved Thai foods in all of northern Thailand, Khao Soi. Freshly boiled egg noodles, a thick coconut milk, spice heavy curry sauce, and fall apart cubes of beef or chicken. There's no one. Yeah, I would so love delicious. to go to Thailand. Khao Soi right? is a fantastic place to get started on a delicious bowl of Khao Soi. My grandma's been there multiple times and has always told me it's so cool. That beef. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure, okay. I'm going to take a bite of beef. Melted. And some of those noodles. And yeah, you can see the noodles are more. They're she might have only went once, actually. They look more handmade than, than the other versions of noodles that Can't we've remember. had. 
Yeah, those noodle, right? I was all oh, creep. Me and you are exactly so the same. Located in the cool mountains of Doipui. I would right tear city, that bowl apart. You'll find Lung Surin. I'd be like licking the guaranteed bowl. Guaranteed worth the effort to get there. Oh, man. Oh, it's cold. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that meaty oil on top. Oh, oh man. That smells unbelievable. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Mark, so, please, Mark, just take me on this trip with and you. And they are so incredibly friendly, so, so much nice. More served hot and fresh. There's absolutely nothing your wife I'd could not. This probably more not right true. now in my life. Doing one giant overflowing spoon. Oh, a little chili goes in. It's Maybe giving me allergies, making my nose run. Just to top it off for good measure. Let's then go, Cree. Mix that around. Just Let's run. fucking go. Oh, immediately you can see the color of that broth. Changing that deep red, mix it with the noodles. Okay, that goes into your bowl. Some of these giant sliced onions. Okay, all right. Now we are really ready to complete. Oh, bright! Down if you didn't hear, so maybe I should just do it now. Soon here, go all uh, the way in and the noodles next. We were. I was yeah, promoting so that all week. So hard. The to the cream pie. Wow. At. 300 subs <laughs> but then that. last really night like i decided stuff. not to promote it just because of the the serious shit we were talking about mm. but then bent got us the 300 subs anyway but i wanted to tasty. wait One until like today to do it when some of the of homies that i knew were like mm -hmm. asleep or like They're weren't there like could see it meet to the max Live, but After then we drop like literally like five outside. minutes later Spend we drop like thirteen subs and it's like within the Hmong community. It's a great place to walk around. There are so, some nice shops, beautiful gardens, and cool weather. I'm just like I don't At know. I feel two, like I should just do it though. Lay, anyway, a hugely loved pork. But I was hoping maybe we could get origins. back up to three hundred. Melt in your mouth pork belly. Four, but I think I'm just gonna do it and masala. Make this sour and sweet curry so tasty. I should have just done it last night, right when we hit it three. Well, with like the energy How's of like doing it right then, I should have just done it. What but I just didn't want to be doing like food smells like super silly shit Gangnam last Lay, night. Which is one of uh, the champions of Northern Thai cuisine. Also, one of the components is ginger, fresh ginger, and then yeah, MVP garlic. Ben doing MVP so really things. Oh, you like did here. Okay, so I just explained that for nothing. My bad. Oh wow. Yeah, that is stunning. The, I think the part I really love about it is the tartness of it. The immediately blast of sweet and sour ginger and almost a pickly taste to it. Yeah. Next up, yeah, me too, Tiki Kree. Panit, a classic yet modern Thai restaurant with an outstanding version of Geng Hong Lei. Definitely what stands out about Kiti Panit is that it's not only a restaurant, but it's actually a museum housed in a, an old teakwood mansion that dates back to 1888. And some of the unique history here is that it used to be uh, Chiang Mai's first general store. Oh, it's just like melting pork. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the fattiness of it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was just going to say, oh, my, wow. My sticky rice into there. He didn't even take a bite. Oh, wow. He did, he's like not even, of... yo, he's not even taking bites of it. He's feeling the food and he's saying, oh, wow. A <laughs> layer of juicy porkiness. Wow. That is a game. Oh, Bright, no, you can't, you, you wouldn't fuck with that though, right? You probably thought that was beef, huh? Mm. That's haram. Can't eat that. That is so porky, but it's got an amazing, like, sweet and sourness to it. When many Chiang Mai locals are away from home, the food they dream about is nam niao, a porky tomato stew eaten over rice noodles that's easily the number one local comfort food. Tucked into a back of a market. You can, oh, you, oh so it looked, so it looked, so, okay, I, I was under the yet. assumption that, yeah, you didn't do it because it was haram, but I thought you didn't like pork anyway, but, like, do you, does it look good to you? No. Five or so different menu options. Oh, my but fucking one of allergies. Kind of G Nam Miao, which is a northern Thai favorite uh, stew of pork. Oh, sorry, guys. And uh, especially oh, tomato y broth. My nose. Go to like itch my nose, and it's like, ugh. It's so hard to breathe out of this nose right now. I can, I can only breathe out of this nostril. This is one of the dishes of Northern Thailand. Oh, you hear that? Oh, God. It, oh, it just made my ear feel all weird. For the people of Northern Thailand. 
I can't wait to go to this e ear, nose, and throat doctor and get this shit figured out. Oh, wow. That is fantastic. Oh, that's like rich. It's porky, kind of earthy tasting. It smells good too. Okay. God, close your ears. Next up, we are in the old town within the old Aww, square. Doggo. We're going to a place that's called Nam Oh, you might not have seen that because my camera is in the way. Yeah. Lung Pong. Lung Pong, So friendly. Oh, and here it is. The pot. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Pot. The pot. Nam Hey, Nam Okay. Yeah. Wait, what's that black gray stuff? <laughs> Is that like fish? Okay, I'm. Ooh, I, that meat doesn't look that great to me. I'm not gonna lie. I appreciate so. No. What is the gray? I don't. Well, oh, I, yeah, I don't know if I don't know about this part. So man, this is the friendliest street food <laughs> stall. Uncle is so friendly. Oh man, I like how the noodles just kind of melt into the. Yeah, whatever that, that like gelatinous looking gray thing. It is. looks yeah like I don't know. That's not for me. Mm. Just by the way it looks. Maybe it tastes oh, great, man. but... Oh, that's rich. That's nice and tart. And very porky. As you can see from that layer of oil on top. But the flavor... The, the broth looks amazing. And... Oh, wait. I didn't even porky. notice that, Bright. Really is he good. like... Wait, what? The noodles, the rice noodles just kind Does of he have like... Is mouth. he... It must be multiple oh, shot days. Shot on multiple days. He must have shaved. Mm. I didn't even notice. Oh, actually, now that I'm, After you mentioned that, I do. I just, yeah, I see it. He had the beard. Exploring the yeah. historic center. Well, this, of Shema, not really a beard, uh, like a little small mustache and the goatee. Which is a stupa, a royal stupa that dates back to the 14th century. And although part of the, the top of the stupa has been destroyed by an earthquake, it remains one of the most important sites within central, within the old historical part of Chiang Mai, and a must visit when you are here. Oh yeah, I don't like bean sprouts either. Garlic, yeah, I didn't even hear him say that. I'm not a fan of bean sprouts. Ingredients that make up Namprik Noom, a delicious dip or relish for vegetables, sticky rice, or crispy pork skin. You'll find Namprik Noom at pretty much all northern Thai restaurants, but the best place to eat it is within local markets. I'm walking oh. through Talat Ton Payom. This is one of the great local markets of Chiang Mai, a place where you can get Namprik Noom, that where you can get so Saigua, good. where it's just full oh. of snacks. It's a great place to just walk around. That to sausage see what's in my mouth, oh, please. Oh, and they also specialize in Kab Mu, fried pork skin. Ow, 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 Namprik Noom. Mm. Actually, the chilies are called yeah, the chilies. chilies which it, are that chilies that literally looks like sugar. like the kind of chilies you get from like New Mexico. Pounded into a paste, which you can eat with rice, you can eat with vegetables, but probably Ooh, some spicy the mango. Most common and Ramen just sent me a TikTok about the spicy mango stuff recently. Pork skin. Okay, here we go. Crispy so pork good. Skin. Namprik Noom, one of the great combinations of Northern Thailand. I'm a big fan of like oh. when it's uh, <laughs> when it's like dried mango too. Dried mango, dried fruit with the, the spices on it. Get a nice curly, got the extra spicy version. So actually you can see some red chilies in there too. Normally it's just pure green, the regular one. Yeah, so those look like hatch chilies. Spicy, but this one is extra spicy. Mm. Oh, we'll take it. You go to New Mexico. And you tour, you tour in New Mexico or whatever. You mm. stay with people there, locals, and they mm. make you breakfast. Like, if they make you some kind of like breakfast, there's gonna be I love the Noom. best I hatch chilies, like local my... fresh hatch chilies I mean, on the plate. Roasted, it's like a chilies. tradition. They 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 they, they can't make food without it. In there. The shallots in there. Oh, it's just awesome. But Nampik Noom is one of those things that you'll find at every single market that you go to. I would recommend two markets: Don Payo Market as well as Mejia Market, which is a little bit I south. love this stuff so much, I'll buy like cans of it, the Hatch Chili, open one up and just straight up eat the Hatch Chilies. It's so good. Mm. Oh man, so good. I'm pretty happy with a bag of Damn. pork skin. Mark's got a fit going on, dude. The, the, the kicks, the... Tight black pants, I, that's me, that's me, you know, like, I wear my gray sweatpants, but 
usually if I'm wearing anything else, like if I'm wearing jeans or something like that, I never wear blue jeans. I don't own a pair. I wear black, white jeans. Nice, nice guy. He's cool. He's, you know, he's repping himself. He's kind of self promoing right now, kind of cringe mark, but whatever. And chili dip. Oh, that crunch. Oh, that sounds so good, Cree. Peso is, is the, the best. Greatest markets in Chiang Mai. Ah. The extra spicy version. Grab a bitter melon, which is the perfect scooper. A bitter melon. Interesting. Oh, and so yours were dried right? Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm I'm cool with them either way, like a fresh mango the or. But I think I would prefer I prefer when it's the there. dried. The shallots and garlic, so much flavor. This is something I can eat every day when I'm in northern Thailand. Lab, a minced meat mixture, is a heavyweight of northern Thai food. A proud dish that's so beloved that there's an entire lab eating culture that surrounds it. Beef really? or buffalo is most common, preferably served. Ew! Raw. What the hell is that? Ew! Ew! What the fuck was that? Is it beef? What the fuck was buffalo. that? What the hell is that? That looks gross. This this meat, this red meat looks fucking amazing, but what is this gray thing? Is most common. Preferably oh, your, your mom's raw. nice. But is she are you, cooked oh, is you, like recovering over there or something? Yes, this is the spot right here. There's almost like a bar counter seating at the front, and then you walk skin, back yeah, into I don't the, know that. their yard. What animal has skin like that? Into the house here. Just from the way he moves the bowl, he is such a master. He's focused on the lob. That's all raw minced buffalo, so it's really dark. Oh, dark, like nice, Cree. Red. Oh, hot and drooling. Oh, oh, look at that. It's so, like, oh. fine. Oh, and cool. Dude, that's like the texture of jam. It, it literally looks like strawberry jam. Yeah, I just, I don't know, that the red part looked good. I don't know what the fuck that other thing was. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, no. Yeah, I'm just speechless. Maybe. I just want to lick my fingers. <laughs> it literally... Yeah, it literally that looks like fucking jam. amazing. Yeah. Is this an eye off? Yeah, which one? <laughs> Wait, was I wasn't really looking at the other guy's eyes at all. Is a bit more of a sit down really? family dining. Well, you know what? That's also that guy's probably a fan of Mark and is just copying his style. Let's be real. Fantastic. Please explain to me what this weird shit most is. Most of the dishes have just arrived. The two centerpieces, these are the two lobs that we got. This is a cooked plate of lob made with pig, with pork. And you can see the toasted garlic in there, the cilantro and the green onions, and the fried garlic on top. Yes. Garlicky goodness, oh my. Yeah, cooked is so good. Soulmates. Yeah, cooked is so good as well. It's all the same spices as in the raw version. Just it's more of like a, a warm feel as opposed to the refreshing coolness of raw meat. A personal favorite Thai food for me, something I wouldn't leave Chiang Mai without eating, is Gai Nung. Chicken, typically yeah. free range, dressed in copious amounts of herbs and aromatics, and steamed. Kong Kao Muang probably does the best version yeah, the I've love. ever had. You feel now, it normally between if you them. go to a northern Thai restaurant, they would serve you just a single piece of chicken, maybe a leg, maybe a chicken breast. Here, they serve you the entire chicken. Ooh, it's like a rotis. Literally a handful. That rotis chicken? Coriander on top. This smells incredible. This is one the, of my yes, please. Yeah, it does look really good. Yeah. So handy. Ooh. And pick up a bowl with a handle. Oh. We'll just go, oh, yeah, just get, get it in the, the juice. It was, get it nice it and attached. wet. <laughs> get it nice and wet, Mark. That's right. You know how to work and this it. This is a local. You know how to work Free range it. chicken, the size of it. You can tell it's going to be insanely flavorful, especially with all of those herbs. Okay, mate, go for the bite. Yes. Oh, Mark. Eat it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yes. 
Yes! The best Northern Thai steamed chicken ever. Man, all of those herbs, the lemongrass is just- Every time he says, oh wow, it gives me life. with flavor. Oh man, this is a, this is a prized dish right here. Oh, just the <laughs> bone the just bone comes right flavor. off. <laughs> Hun Jai Yong why? is another why? place. <laughs> why is he trying to hold on to the bone still? Like he could literally set the bone down and just grab the meat. He's like trying to like keep it intact. Like you don't need the bone that at that tender? point. It like literally came up. He's like. <gasps> Hun Jai Yong is another place that won't let you down. <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> Final dish we ordered is Gai Nung Samun Prai, which is one of my favorites. <laughs> the bone. Look at all those. Final you gotta see that again. <laughs> dish right here. It just fell off the bone. It's that tender. <laughs> I think Mark wins, Bright. I think Mark wins the, the eye off always. Hun Jai Yong is another place that won't let you down. Final dish we ordered is Gai Nung Samun Prai, which is one of my favorites. The bone. Look at all those herbs and spices. <laughs> now he's wearing his own hat. All the herbs in there and the lemongrass and that chicken just falls why did apart. he have to change oh, why did he have to dish. put a hat one on for changing the characteristics scenes. of northern thai food in chiang mai is the smoky charcoal grill what happened a in that like minute parts from intestines like, I need to, to put a hat on. are slow grilled and smoked until crispy on the edges and juicy in the center Kum Seng he's Dao just changing things up every scene today to bright with the, the their facial hair the hat what's going on something to behold the ears the intestines chopping bits i'm good on the i don't need to eat an ear i don't want to hear i don't want to like that. hear any so good we got some of their specialties especially the young room which is all that mix of grilled meat go through my ears the, after the sauce get a look at that that looks delicious as well that looks bomb though whatever that piece of meat that looked really oh, good dude. but if it's an ear yeah i'm good on that oh the meat is so tender and so smoky. and intestine and no my thanks favorite piece from the young room of northern thailand the group mixed grill is the intestines Here's a, here's a little guy. Give this a good soaking. Good on that. Intestines are the best. They have like a... Okay, liver you know king. Taste in that sauce is a little bit of galangal. Oh man, but the intestines, yeah. It looked good though, I'm not gonna lie. That whole punch. plate looked good. That the piece chewy, of meat, the ear, crunchy, looked good. Crispy. I would probably try it. If it looked like, like that, the ear, I would try it. in your mouth. As you do keep on chewing, the flavor is released. But my instinct says no. I think right here, this one is the, the snout. Look at that, it's just pure. <laughs> yes. I think this one is the pig nose, the snout. See, yeah, like I'm, I don't mm. know. Lab Yong also has a great selection it's to not slice up enough. for your mixed grill plate. And you can smell the sweet tamarind in that sauce. See, that looks so. That looks like a really good piece of meat. Mm. Yeah, Nobody so told me it was the nose or the After ear or whatever. Rock, I would, I would eat it, and Wat I might, I probably like Chiang it. Chiang Mai's most revered temple. And once I eat it, something like oh, that. I mean, that if it looks like that, I, I, and I even if I hear that it's like an ear Mai. or something, I'll still be like, okay, no worries. Like I, I liked it. But there's some food, even if I like it, I don't know. Like I just can't. The way it looks, I don't know. Sometimes while many northern Thai foods are known to be quite meaty, there are some fantastic vegetable stews such as gang. Wait, it came back. I didn't notice. It. Oh, fuck, dude, he's vegetables. all over the place with this video. Gang Pakwan, made from malinta suavis leaves, or gang Namai, a stew with bamboo shoots. Krua Pet Doingam is you one know of the what I've been eating a lot lately for a variety of these that delicious Italian, dishes. Italian like caprese salad. Some cut up tomatoes, some mozzarella, and some basil. I love bamboo shoots. I love Put a the little texture. rice wine vinegar on I love it. that flavor. Mm. And you could do the even balsamic glaze dried also. Fish in there. Dried fish is really powerfully mm, flavorful. It's, been, it's, my, it's like my like favorite this, snack lately. You can taste the smokiness and the dried fish throughout that entire. Not yours, are like all gris. Okay, so you've the had them before. I have them. It looked like and I said that the piece of meat looked good. Shoots. Kong Kao Mung is another But yeah, if it's all gristled, choice. then yeah, I hate that. Like chicken. There might be some bamboo like my least here. favorite part of eating a and steak a or anything like that. Leaves, Go to Chipotle, get the fucking gristled herbs, steak burrito. Sometimes dill. And I think that there's some, um, some kao kua or some, just some right? rice in here to thicken it a little bit. Well, I mean, you got, you got some kind of powers. I don't know if they were for good. You definitely got some evil powers. Oh, no, a lot of nah, northern Thai Maybe you got cursed or something. Meaty, very heavy meaty. But Ew, that that doesn't sound good. I love pickled dishes. stuff. Uh, pickles, just 
stuff that's like fermented like that. But or pounded jackfruit is something you have to try when you're in Chiang Mai. Not a pig ear. Young I'm jackfruits good. Or pig's are cooked feet. and pounded with garlic, this galangal, looks gross. and chilies until starchy Might have and packed right. <laughs> full of flavor. Krua Long Kao serves a fantastic version of pounded jackfruit, Northern Thai style. One of my favorite dishes in Northern Thailand. I love it. I can eat it every day. It's a baby, a young jackfruit that's boiled, that's then pounded up with galangal and garlic and chilies. Yo, I know how to do, make some pretty There's cool stuff with on top. There's jackfruit. There's fried on top. Like vegan for meat replacements. You make a really uh, good rice, pulled pork sandwich with some jackfruit. In your bite. Oh, I'm so excited. I need a Take the jackfruit. If, first if you can especially get it canned, already cut up, you just like mash it, break it up even more, where mm. it literally will look mm. just like that. It looks like a bowl of pork almost right there. Oh, I love jackfruit pounded jackfruit. And you just put it in your oh, slow cooker with a bunch of barbecue sauce, style. whatever you do normally do. Done. You really vibrantly taste the galangal. Same thing. You could make some really good like chicken tacos, oh, like some like lemon chicken tacos, Can something like that. Fruit? They use all of the, I mean, the pieces of the fruit and then also the seeds are all pounded up in there. It's so actually meaty. Additionally, I just love to eat dum kanun within the stalls at Mejia Market. Oh man, so much garlic in here. I love the fried chilies. I cannot wait to try yeah, it. Yeah, grilled jackfruit. Right here in the market. Great meat oh, substitute. Fried yeah, chili yeah, yeah. On top. Like, oh, it does chunky. have a little bit of a sweet taste, but if you Shrinky. marinate it right, it goes away. You smell like garlic and the smokiness of it. Mmm. Mm. Like you just get that chicken, oh, wow. some onions, and some cilantro in like a flour or a corn tortilla. That's extraordinary. You like Ab make it a little crispy. A you fry the tortilla a little bit. Neatly so good. packaged into a banana leaf and typically roasted. You over got. Fire. You really have to marinate it though. Is you got to like marinate delicious. it in the lemon juice and now a again, couple other things. Ab is a dish that you'll typically find at local markets. But and it like pulls the sweetness out of it. Kiti Panit serves an entire fish. Here at Kiti Panit, they serve. Yeah, like see, that's like I know that this is. Which I believe in the back of, they, of a lot of people eat fish like this. I don't. Spices, the paste. I don't eat fish wrapped that banana, very often. Grilled, I like salmon, red they, snapper. They uh, Not a big fan of other fish, fish but man, you give me fish, any fish with an eyeball like that, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I don't even want to be there. Loaded with herbs and spices, makrut and lime leaves. Uh, okay, chilies, I'm sorry, Cree. Turmeric, lemongrass. I'm getting hungry too. Like I was saying earlier, I usually don't eat until like after stream. Sometimes I'll have snacks in the middle of stream. All of that held together with the smokiness. Looking and good. You can chase with herbs, some sawtooth. Coriander. Yeah, red snapper, and that's the some thing. Coriander. Like things with like red snapper and and salmon, they don't really have that Mejia fishy market, taste. You can also try a like, few local like variations, like trout, such as like that. ab ong ah, pig brains, which is uh, it's a little packet. The red it can snapper, be, it can oh, be herbs, so it can be vegetables, which are packed into banana leaf wrapper and then roasted, grilled over fire over charcoal. Uh, but the the, the supreme version, the most gourmet, greatest, richest version is called Ab Ong Ah, which is pig brains mixed with spices and herbs that no. need to be eaten with sticky rice. No! Not trying to, not trying to eat anybody's memories. No thanks. All the creaminess. Mm. Finally, we've reached number 11, and this list would be incomplete without Sai Ua. One of the world's great yeah, like chicken sausages. Makes, oh, a ratio wait, of pork bread blended snapper tacos. Oh, with lemongrass, shit. galangal, and chilies grilled until smoky and eaten with sticky rice. It's an entire culinary experience wrapped in a tube. Mejia Market serves one of the best. That in Chiang is, Mai. looks amazing. Heavy on lemongrass and aromatics. Ooh, oh, lemongrass. Lemongrass is, is the best. Loaded with curls of sausage. Oh, I literally feel like that's what it would be like. I'd be oh, eating just their, flew all through their that thoughts. curl of sausage, slicing it up. That was impressive. That he has some sausage cutting skills. The aroma of the lemongrass and the herbs just bursts out of that sausage. Yeah, wow, that. Oh man, now, and it's just steaming hot. It's right off the grill. Oh, give me. Oh, oh fuck you, cheers. Mark. Cheers. Let's get. Oh wow. Mm. Careful, Mark so heavy on the lemongrass. And to me, it actually doesn't taste as fatty as some other versions. Okay, so not, not an oh wow. Juices, but not like that fatty, fatty juiciness that you sometimes get. It's more heavy on the herbs, which I, I love. Oh, okay, I thought we were getting a version where he didn't really like it that much. Like that video we watched the other day, where it was like instances of him not liking the food. I thought that's what he was 
kind of going for, but no, he likes it. Yeah, it's dangerously tasty. But without a doubt, my favorite Sai Ua in Chiang Mai is Sai Ua Kampeng, where the spices are strong, you can feel the chili, and yet it's balanced to perfection. And we got here in the morning, they're grilling up a fresh batch. The beautiful coils of sausage are fresh. They're gonna be hot. We're about to taste it right off the grill. Oh man, one of the greatest Northern Thai food experiences you can eat. Yo, I don't mean to ruin anyone's appetite, because this food looks all good, but man. Oh man. I think Fresh I could squirrel crawled up my right ass or something cause, there is and, and died because no it's fucking on my Earth. farts right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Wow. It's intense right now. It's like burning my eyebrows off. Jesus uh, okay. Christ. Woo! Hold on. I usually don't mind my own farts, but this is something else. I think this is from the protein. I've been oh, pounding wow. like 60, uh, 60 gram the protein Saigua. shakes that after stream. Right there, that is worth making a trip to Chiang Mai just to eat that. Oh wow. Been going hard, baby. The way that intestine skin just snaps, the way it just crumbles with chili, galangal, the garlic, the lemongrass in there. It is a perfect ratio of meat to herbs. This is a perfect site. Ua. Unbelievable. Chase that with some of that fresh sticky rice. Maybe just grab another piece of site Ua while we're at it. Oh, huge. Sorry, Bright. Oh, oh are you hot. full right now, Ben? Mm. Is that, okay, that's interesting. That's just like we, I, you know, we watch these all the time. Flavor. So incredibly tasty. Look at her phone. Unbelievable. Oh, Pone, <laughs> what's up? My little brother coming in chat saying, look at your phone. Okay, so Pone, I will. The end of this ultimate Northern Thai food tour of Chiang Mai. Why? I'll have There's all nothing, the I, you, that we I have nothing on my phone. All the dishes that we tried listed in the description box below. And I hope that you have an amazing time eating your way through Chiang Mai. Thanks again Yeah, for we watch these all the time when I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not hungry. And I will agree, they definitely hit different when you are hungry. And, but I still enjoy them when I'm not, but no, like when you're, when you're actually hungry, these videos do hit way different. This one made me hungry though. Pone, thank you for the video. Oh, made me look. Wow, Pone, thanks. Um, okay, let's see. All right, let's watch this cave video. Uh, this might not be a good one. We might skip it. Oh, that's fresh this year. Because this is on his second channel. The second channel I ones are usually not as... Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're boring. Yeah, I'm down here. Yeah, you'll have to try to slide in here if you want to see the, the cool stuff. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I know, it's a hard life. I don't know, Bright. Lately, I can... <laughs> Me and well, Mike can hang wet. out just one after the other. Go butt first. King Pong. Yeah, that's fine. That's why they didn't know this was here. They just keep going over to that big section of cave up there because it looks pretty cool. Just everywhere. Laying all over. Would have been pushed up by other volcano floors. Yeah. Every once in a while, you get a tree cast that's dead da straight down. Yeah. You can turn around. You got lots, of, lots more space than you feel like. Turn your big light on. I can turn mine off. Okay. And you can look at these nodules over here. Put my gloves on too. Oh, look at this. Yeah, we'll come back here. Okay. Like just this wall. Move your light oh, to the wall. Man. Get that. Okay, this one. 
Oh, that actually These looks pretty cool, ribs, though. Huh? And look, look how ribs? detailed they baby are. Baby back ribs? They're unreal. Yeah. Some baby back ribs? I'm hungry now. After the Mark Wiens video. <laughs> DNI cheese my words carefully? <laughs> yeah. You what was, what was not careful about what I said, Brad? I chose my words deliberately. Just for your picture. And you could do like a backlit one, too, like this. Me and Mike be hanging out all the fucking time, okay? It's so many, I don't even, I lose count, okay? I lose track at this point. Just like that. I was checking my phone. I have two voice messages from Shilakon. Stop! <laughs> yeah, we need to let you know about your car's extended insurance. You've been reading too many comments. This is unbelievable. Look at the, uh, just the, the yeah, th this, the this area is. here is, is really crazy. How deep Sir, we're is. in a cave. I don't know the wow. patterns it's on this cave. Not. The textures are making me feel a certain of way. The wood of the tree. I'm sorry. So there's another section back there. I'm kind of curious to get into. Um, it's fine. I'm just going to try to stick my body up far enough to take a look. That's all I'm trying to do. And I just oh, God. Now I really got to go take a bathroom break. I'm just kidding. And I gotta uh, sort of stand up and then lean over. Cause so so it it curves downward and I have to get up. Yeah. Oh oh god. Downward curve. That's all I'm trying to do. That felt terrific. Got a couple of rocks here I can knock off. Bump my head. But that's the way it is. Why is it steaming? The hell? What's the smoke? Is that just dust? It must be. D I don't know. That look. That was interesting. I don't know if that's dust. What is that? Probably just dust. But the way it was moving, it seemed like it was more like smoke. Well, like, where's the dust coming from, though? There's no, like, dirt. That's all solid. But there's no need. And it would be bad for your health. Okay. Did he say never mind? We can get out of here. He said never mind on that one. This is such a great looking cave. It's way better yeah, show you that. when he has Jake with him and Caleb or uh, Joel. Because just like the sense of danger you get of him bringing the kids in there too, it just makes it a little when I'm bit done better. With my 3D modeling here, it's. Then I swam it. When it's these old guys, it's just kind of like, eh. And, and whatever. It's all cracked up and broken. And that's when I told him. I when said, the kids are in there, it's like, damn, bro. But I'm willing to pack <laughs> in concrete. Jake go head first? So they started sending me maps to that area. Oh, you're telling Jake and to go in there with the chisel? I was converting back and forth <laughs> Start with him chiseling away at the cave? Smart. Months before, uh, but it's like Gramps here. Like, one of us was finally like, let me just join the grotto. and. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I'll go actually, in a cave like that, for, even for though it I could want. collapse, but still, I'll go in that. Why not? I've been in caves like that. I've told you guys before, I've gone in caves like that that eventually get really small, where you're like crawling. I don't care if you go ahead. Prone style, prone bone style, you know what I'm saying? But in those moments, I could always like turn around. Like, the, like you could stretch your arms out and it would be like just that wide. It was just like very short. And so that was always cool to me. Like, as long as I could turn around. But still, nowadays, I do worry about, like, shit collapsing. And you go so far, and then your your flashlight runs out. We didn't even... I don't think we were bringing backups with us either when we were doing that. It's these special caves. They're called Mammoth Caves in Utah by uh, the cabin that the, the Mormon side of my family owns. kind of brisk. So that when I speed it up, when we'd go up there, we'd always go to speed. Mammoth Caves and go exploring. And like you'd go into it, start off as a cave like this, and then it would get really small to where you're oh, crawling, no and then it would open up a little bit more, and then you'd start seeing all these lights coming in from the ceiling, and it was just like holes in the ground where you could eventually there'd be one big enough where you could crawl out. You warm? But this is where the bats were. Whenever they get into the caves, you know, that are just too tight to move in. You got to squeeze through. It looks painful. 
Looks like you could start getting some claustrophobic anxiety real quick. If you if you're that type of a person. Which I'm usually not, but the moment I'd be in a cave and I'd like start to feel like I was stuck, I would start yeah, to freak here. the fuck out. Right! It's okay. Started yeah. at the bottom, now you're here, and now you're at yeah. the bottom again. You can get back you can get back up there. That's the other way. I unfortunately well, don't have any points to spare right now. Um Times are tough. We came out here. Okay. We, we left here when there Ramen was Ramen is the leader. I think Claus is we, in second place. No cave, but you gotta crawl. Well, kind of. It's right. Insanity. There, you can come up. Oh this my god, really Cree doesn't know. When you're not looking. There was a reckoning. This is us. There was a reckoning. The point war was over. All right. It was done. I've never, I haven't, there was no content anymore. I have not been here. A nuclear bomb hit the points, Cree. They all got reset. Okay. A new day has dawned. This will serve my purpose as a wicked The people walls. had nothing to fight for anymore. It's a little low right here, but it comes up. People had nothing to fight for. The war was over. It was done. We found where all this breakdown comes from. And the nuclear bomb the came and hit really and it was reset. Not safe. It was actually a really fun day. Wow, that is nasty. Oh, Cree's like, nah, nah, nah! Uh oh. <laughs> you need help with anything? Okay. No, I asked. But yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. In reality, the whole point war thing was done. The, like you were so far ahead of everybody that it was just like everybody gave up and it, there was like no more point war so I had to bring it back I had to bring it back people need something yeah. that it's just they can fight weird. for you, you know commit to your rear, I, think. I need to reef where's Gup I haven't heard from Gup in a while I hope he's doing good I like I like literally sleep like at the exact times he streams. I never see him for. live, because I'm like I think I sleep like literally through his streams. Like whenever I'm awake and I'm like scrolling through Twitch, I never see him live. And then I think he goes live like when I'm asleep, and then by the time I'm awake, I don't see him anymore. Or maybe he is streaming when I'm awake, and I just like I I never like look who's live right when I'm awake. Yeah, we left here. Oh, I never changed it though. I was gonna change it after that first day. The points are still it's still a hundred thousand points for a, a sub. Yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah. I gotta change that. That was just for that first day. That's the other way. Yeah, I know. Well. But yeah, Ramen took over. Claus was in the lead actually, and he was on my side, and then he betrayed me and sided with Ramen and gave gave like half his points to her and. Then I went and gambled a million, and I, cause I was in second or something, and or third, and I gambled a million, and then this just was bad. It was bad. But honestly, I know. Oh, you know what? I, I was just about to say, Ramen and them haven't really been making a fuss about the the point war at all. But like, why would they? They're in the lead. I'm the one that needs to really be fighting. Fuck. way out. I guess. How you gonna go out? Back no, I can just jump across here. That was his set. Like, yeah, he I had multiple there. roles in the yeah. Inaban Incorporated uh, Table of Power. That was just one of them, was the treasurer, because he was number one. No, I, he was I in the lead. He had the most points. So I was like, this. you're the treasurer. You're holding the money. And he was also, like, co-leader so with me. Not really. I'm the only leader. Um, better man than me. But, yeah, he, he had multiple roles, and he just, his ego got the best of him is what it was. From. His ego got the best of him. Crazy. Okay. okay. I think we're done with videos after this. This is fucking boring now. This is fun. We got a cool. I'm just walking through the woods. Um. Oh, let's watch this Stavi clip. Guy has a bad threesome with dorm mates. Uh, anybody here threesome? I'm not asking. I'm not offering. I'm wondering if you've had one. <laughs> I mean, I guess if the, you know, I'm not, I won't rule it out, but who would over yeah, there? Yeah, Jake aged in that video. Gotta go. Or 
<laughs> no, those are different Horrible. people. Yeah, nice. Like I was saying, the videos are always better when Jake and like the kid uh, Joel are there because it's like there's this extra sense of like like unneeded dangers. Like you're just bringing these kids in there and you're like having them like chisel away and like dig in there to make bigger holes. It's just like, what is going on, bro? These but no, that that oh, time uh, it was just the old guys. So like, who cares? Dorm you lived with them? No, no, they oh. were in the dorm. Oh, that would be awesome if you were like, ah, we're bored. <laughs> <laughs> what do you fellas want to get up to? I can't, I cannot do another round of Halo. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> <laughs> the third guy just spins his chair around. Well, boys, I might have a solution. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what was the like? What was the um, configuration of the threesome? Uh, it was uh, me, male, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, don't, I didn't. Okay. What? That's all. That's all me. <laughs> This motherfucker, <laughs> this guy's fucking drawing out the blueprints. <laughs> what? I was more just in general terms talking about like three guys, two guys and a girl, guy and two girls. What are we talking? Two girls, me. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, nice. This guy sounds like he's lying. Because uh, you kind of made it sound like it was another guy involved, but. <laughs> Which is fine. I don't give a fuck. I'm just confused. Yeah, we just want to know. You gotta work on your fucking uh, oral, you know what I mean? Like your, your oral clarity, communication. But, um, okay, and so how did it pop off? Who's who kind of initiated? They they both initiated. Wow. So you this, you you won a lottery that you blew basically. Yeah, literally, that's winning the lottery. <laughs> that's Are better you, than winning the lottery. I'm hot. I can't see. Were you hot? Are you hot? I'm not hot. You're not. Yeah. <laughs> Respect. Big respect for knowing your limitations. Hey, you can admit it. Nothing wrong with that. That's a. <laughs> you gotta, you only, it's, awesome you gotta be ready for like it, right? A room full you know, of people. There's a saying. You gotta be ready for when the moment arises. You gotta be ready for it, you know? Outing the fact that he's ugly. <laughs> Better know how to multitask, right? <laughs> Shit's fucked up. <laughs> nice. Were they hot? Now here's the important question. <laughs> were they hot? They were, they were wonderful. They were gorgeous. Okay, you don't have. Okay. To. Why? <laughs> you start lying now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, why would now be the time that you're like, come on? They weren't. <laughs> There's no. What, what am I missing? If they were hot, you're fucked up looking. <laughs> Do you have a huge dick that you would just let kind of slide out of your shorts and at the dorm? Not much, but I'm really funny. You're really funny? I think so. It's this guy's drunk. You can hear it. He's like slurring. He's like, average, but I'm really funny. <laughs> I don't know about this. You know what I mean? <laughs> at least your timing's off. You know what I mean? But... You know what so I want to do? I want to look okay, at some so TikToks we after this. You, and they're like, you know what? This is some I'm in the mood for some like, TikToks. We'll play a game. <laughs> Which, hey, it has happened to me, you know what I mean? I can't lie. Wait, 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 what? Off, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Funny. You're really funny? I think so. It's, I don't know about this, you know what I mean? <laughs> At least your timing's off, you know what I mean? But... So you were, okay, so, but you were killing it, you, and they were like, you know what, this is some good jokes. Like, we gotta double suck this guy off. <laughs> Which, hey, it has happened to me, you know what I mean? I can't lie. You know, so I guess I would be a hypocrite up here to be like being no. a comedian, being a musician, these things. When you're an entertainer, that oh, that's impossible. As now, whether you choose to do that form of entertainment for that reason or because you just really enjoy the feeling you get from being doing that art, whatever it is, that's the difference. But <laughs> all right, nice. And then how? And how you're going to get significant then? others that are interested uh, I, in you. I couldn't make either of them come. Okay, nice. But you busted? Uh, yeah. Okay. Of course he did. <laughs> Damn. How did, oh, that sucks. Okay, hell yeah, dude. Hey, at least they were honest with him. At least they were honest and didn't tell him, oh, yeah, you made me come. No, oh, it was amazing. How did, <laughs> how did they walk away feeling about it, do you think? I mean, I 
game. You okay. <laughs> No, we we established that. Yeah, we know. For sure. <laughs> what was it like in the dorm after that? Were you guys chill or? No, they stopped talking. <laughs> How about a nice hand for our friend over there? That's... Rip, dude. That is bad threesome experience. <laughs> not a fun, not All a right, fun that's one. That's a great story, pal. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> not a good one. Okay, man. I Bent, are you still here? Did you ever answer me? I know I asked you this like twice. I, and I know you said you watched his special. Was there anything in the special that's like, there's nothing that's TOS that... that like even if he is making some edgy jokes, it's not going to be anything that's like we we know where Stavi's mind and morals are coming from. He's not going to be out here fucking being crazy. But I kind of want to watch his special these days. I know Hassan didn't watch it. Everyone was asking him to, and Hassan was like, "I literally was there." He's like, "I was there when they filmed it. Why would I watch it?" So that's how right. You've never been drunk. Wait a minute. You've never been drunk before, Bright? I know you've never smoked weed. Actually, I did just save a video the other day. Hold on. You just reminded me. Marijuana just got legal in Thailand. Bright, time to go back to Thailand. That's what I remembered this. I meant to say that when we were watching the the Mark Wien's video. But you can go to Thailand and get high as fuck, Bright. What's up guys, this is Pat, and today is a liberation day. Yo, I want to watch him get high. Hold on, let's just skip to him getting high. Ooh, let's see the Thailand dispensary. You know you've got really scientific names here. The thing is, is like people back in the day would go to Thailand to like smoke hash. What's it called? Nowadays, like you don't need to go to like uh, these uh, like places around the world to get good hash and stuff like that. But like there used to be like Thai sticks and like all this stuff that like you wanted to go there to get it. Ghost oh. candy? Cheetos? You guys oh, have to smoke it. Ghost candy? Yeah. yeah. Ghost candy? Yeah. Ghost candy? Suck em weed. Yeah, that's, oh it's shit. Like your name, right? Yeah, yeah. Suck em these on. nuts. Oh. Smells really intense. IPA stuff almost. IPA? It smells like an IPA? That's not right. If your weed oh. smells like an IPA, a beer, that's that's bad. Those IPAs don't smell good. It smells like skunky. Saku, so cool, right? <laughs> yeah, that's real bad. How do you even know, like the weed? <laughs> you have to be trained, highly trained, highly stoned mind to understand the intricacies of one bud from the other. But no, it's just if it smells good, if it looks good, like you can, if you look at some weed and it looks fucking gross. You, you know. The, the shit that used to come in bricks. It was wrapped in bricks. Plastic bricks. It was just full of seeds and stems. And, but man, sometimes one of those hits would get you so fucking hot. But it would look so bad and taste so bad. <laughs> Nowadays, you open up a jar, it should smell amazing. <laughs> <laughs> right, this isn't doing bath salts. This is uh, smell this is marijuana. Long line here. Yo, everybody's coming <laughs> for it. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Yeah, that's oh, exactly. Yeah. Cree knows the bath salts. Uh -huh. Let's drop some more. All right. Like, yeah. there's like most like even like drugs out there like cocaine and and stuff like that aren't gonna make you do that kind of stuff. Like, but bath salts might, and that shit was legal for a while. But uh, there are some like PCP shit like that could fucking make you do some of that stuff though for so, sure. Yeah. All right, let's go. But a lot of like the main like heavy drugs that people do are not gonna make you go around doing stuff like that. 
Most right, of them are just going to make Thailand. you nod off Thailand is the in place your chair. For Thai cannabis culture. The couple who's running this place, they've been working on. Yeah, I've yeah, I've Thailand literally forever. done that with my friends so before. I'm really happy for them. Finally, the laws been literally changed, smoked that much. What they always wanted to do. Yeah. All right, let's go check it out. I've had like I've had like I think 600 is the, the max. I'm outside. 600 max milligram. Pwn, cut your mouth. <laughs> That's a long line here. <laughs> How long you guys been waiting here? Okay, I don't need to How see. I, I just want to see him get high. Menu, and this is totally legal. So everyone's just lining up here. Indica's gonna give you good meditation. Medi I have no idea, you know? <laughs> Apparently. Look at the light out there, man. Must be a hundred people at least. Tai China, man. With his love. Are you guys visiting here? Yeah. Visiting Thailand? Yeah, these guys. Pone's not. He, he, Pone's lying, lying to you guys right now. Pone is lying to you guys. He's at work, I bet. And this guy never smokes weed. Or maybe he's off work now. Six times. Five for real? I'm gonna go. Alright, you too. Honey, what do you think? I'm, I can't think of it. So, man, yeah, well, this is really good. Look, he looks high as fuck now. For Thailand, huh? Yes. I still do okay, it. anyway, Bright, go to Thailand. I mean, let's pull up some TikToks. Oh, wait, let's make sure that. Actually, uh, lately, TikTok hasn't been that crazy. I, I couldn't have kids? Yeah, dude, due to circumstances of life uh, and illness, I was unable to have children. Uh, I, I couldn't have kids? Yeah, dude, due, due to circumstances of life uh, and illness, I was on. Hold on. This guy right here, I kind of liked him at first, but I don't know. I unfollowed him. He's weird. We're not going to watch this stuff. Yeah, what are you cooking? Um... Stop, okay, let's see. Going on. I got my on you, Food boss. This guy's cool. I like this guy. Filet mignon, baked potato, the fried onions, and a little bit of cream sauce, baby. Wow, it's sick. Dad, what are you doing now? Frank, I'm burning my hands off filling the mashed potatoes. Very hot, Junior. Oh, woo! And the famous dogs, right, Junior? Get a look at that. And I'm on the penny bomb the station. I'm not done, Junior. Let's go. Dad, what are you cooking? Junior, look at this stuffed eggplant going on. I got my fried onions ready. I know you're hungry as usual. Filet mignon, baked potato, the fried onions, and a little bit of cream sauce, baby. Wow, it's sick. Dad, what are you doing now? Frank, I'm burning my hands. Okay, next. My name is Lana Rhodes, and... Lana Rhodes? You can just... I'm not waiting for it. We're not waiting for it. I don't know what was about to happen. Am I logged in? What am I seeing right now? Why am I not seeing like good shit? This is like ho these are like horrible TikToks. Let's see what my following. My pet seagull babies babies are about to flap. I I'm telling you guys right now. I'm telling you guys right now that I have uh um. Hold. Pone's fucking around right now. I know he is, but give me a second. Let me, uh. I know Pone's fucking around. There's no way he's just gonna, like, show up. There's no way that Pone would do that. But hold on. Give me a second. Let me go make sure Pone's not outside. Um, let me put on a video real quick. Hold up. Girl, we'll just put this on. Hey guys, Mike Chen here in Greece, about to head out for another amazingly delicious seafood filled day. Before heading off to that and before this video, I'm gonna start off breakfast with something light and the sponsor of this video, Magic Spoon. I always carry boxes of these whenever I travel just in case I want something light for breakfast or dinner. I actually got back to the hotel around five or six and just had this for dinner last night. 
peanut butter. One of my favorite flavors. This and a glass of orange juice. Good way to start a very food-filled day. And I've been recommending Magic Spoon for, I think, over a year now. It's still something I eat when I'm traveling. It's something I eat when I'm at home. I'll have it for breakfast at home. I'll eat this a lot for dinner. I try to get as much protein as I can in my body every day. And this is a really delicious way to do that. I think I mentioned this even before partnering with Magic Spoon. I was looking for some sort of a healthier cereal. I'm obsessed with cereal. Every time I'm at a hotel breakfast buffet, no matter how much I ate it, if there is cereal available, I'm eating it. Unfortunately, cereal usually not that great for you, especially when I'm getting older. Thanks, Pone, for healthier. making me get up. Magic spoon. Every serving. Thanks for that. Of sugar. Thanks. I don't know why you feel like doing this right now, Pone. I don't know why. What the fuck was that for? Are you high as shit right now or oh something, Pone? What are you doing? Did you see that, Steven? I've been giving them lessons. What are your training methods? We've been watching Top Gun. You just watch it for that Tom Cruise. Oh, come on. How can you not? Um. He wasn't such a weirdo. You'd be weird too if you were. You know, okay, like I was saying before, we were interrupted. Because I am six foot nine. Um. Get inside me. Absorb it well. What was I gonna say? Uh. Oh my. Um. That. I think my pet seagull baby. Oh, I I swear my for you page is different on my phone and my my desktop. It's just one hundred percent different. Zoom, zoom, baby. I have not been able to get out of my bed the past day, but religion. I think my pet seagull babies are about to flap for the first time. Zoom, zoom, baby. We. Oh, my Adam Sandler. Did you see that, Stephen? I've been giving them lessons. What are your training methods? We've been watching Top Gun. You just watch it for that Tom Cruise. Oh, come on. How can you not? Okay. Not yeah, my for you. Okay. Oh, not watching Thank that. Thank you so much for this comment. I was looking for this exact opportunity to explain something. I don't actually do any work at all. I spend most of the time rolling around in dirt, so I just get extra dirty for the specific purpose. This guy, I've TikTok. talked about him a lot. Thing that would like this sense. guy. And when I'm here by myself, Nate, I make he's a homesteader. Chores for me. I love homesteading stuff. So it's great. But then he'll get to the point where he's like, taxation is the same thing as slavery. And it's like, okay, bro. <laughs> you don't so know. You don't. Extra dirty for the specific purpose of filming TikToks. It's the only thing but, that makes sense. And yeah, I'm I like this guy. Other than I'm some of his dumb chud I'm takes. I'm wondering why I'm talking weird and why I seem so fucking unironically off. These days, it's because I'm high as fuck. I'm literally high as shit, high off the wazoo every day because there are two giant wounds in my throat where my tonsils used to be. Oh, poor Doja. They got in there with a goddamn chainsaw. Just kidding, they didn't do that. Just that nobody tries anything weird. But they got in there with some doctor things and they took them out and so now they're just open fucking wounds so now they're becoming a stab i'm on day 10 so i'm very close to here. rib okay anyway oh bright This guy too, I like him. This guy's a trucker. What did he save you from? The trucker, he's got some good stories. Eat some very well, interesting food out on the road. Mostly. But then you'll like see sleep. him like go to the back of his truck and he'll have like a, a the don't step on snake in the Blue Lives Matter flag. And it's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> No, you're fucking smoke. It's like what did what did Jamie say? You look uh, like a cake, like a bunt cake. <laughs> What'd she say? <laughs> okay, next. I need every bag. My homie Chloe. Knows. Oh my God. Have you ever seen anybody look like this in your life? Me neither. Done with TikTok for the day. Done with TikTok for the day. She was in a. There was a hot tub like literally right next to her. Okay, uh, anybody want to play a couple rounds of DVD? And homie Chloe always going wild on the TikToks, bro. Let's open up DVD.
Alright, let's play a couple rounds of this, and I'm gonna play some Battlefield. I don't know. I don't know what I feel like doing tonight. Kelly hit me up and said possibly Valheim, so if Kelly comes around, we're gonna hop in Valheim, but I don't know. Who knows if he's probably asleep. But he did hit me up before stream and asked if I wanted to play. And I'm thinking Monday. Monday is when we'll start trying to log into uh, DayZ. I'm trying to get whitelisted on that server, get a golden ticket. But Kree, once you get home, you know, you're more than welcome to join any game. I'm gonna go take a quick smoke break real quick while, while anybody who's joining loads up. But I'll be right back. Thanks to at Bent Unders Corny for my sub gift. Right when I got up? What the fuck? LaMile! Is anybody joining up DBD? Or is it just me right now? LaMile coming in with that resub thanks to Ben, of course. That's so nice of you, LaMile, to constantly be thanking Ben for that. What a good dude. Ooh, let's go, LaMile! You know what? Since it's a, 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 it was a bent sub. Since bent gifted him that multiple month sub. Play bent song. Me and, my ladies wanna turn and it's not like it's bent so song, but I, I know bent likes this one. And bent might not even be here. No bent might be busy. Oh no, it's his weekend, but he's not no at work. He's probably busy with the, doing that. Can boss shit. From the drum, but the fact that you would even thank him anyway. You're the best, Lamar. Boy, rough! All we need is a girl's trip. A girl's trip. Girl's trip, trip with the ladies. Lay back 
while we hit a tan. Okay. Photo wide for the Instagram. Fun 42 primes, one minute in. Girls, drill, drill with the ladies. Doing hot girl shit. Make them a mimosa, slurp quick. Now put a body in the dirt. Yeah, lit. Go dumb. dumb. Girls just wanna have fun. No, I'm chilling on disco. I'm not gonna get in voice chat right now for DVD. Adam is blood. Go stupid. Go wild. By the time we're done, have an FBI file. Go to court. Stand trial. I think we're gonna go to jail for a while. Let it go now. Girls, trip. Trip with the ladies. Trip with the ladies. CCV gonna hit 100 KDs. Monkey ass brands begging me to let him pay me. Girls, trip. Trip with the ladies. Trip with the ladies. IRL stream, let it go crazy. Fuck it with Andy. This is Switch Amy. This is Twitch Amy. Girls trip, trip with the ladies. Got fucked up on my vomit, missing the toilet. Try to count shots, but lost track from enjoyment. And so hard that even E avoided. Girls trip, trip with the ladies. Is it pop if I get so lit, I go to prison? With 10 of the women and other five missing. Just one made at home, man, that girl wasn't driven. Whine about it, I'm sipping. Whine right now is my only nutrition. Two weak bands of skinny dipping. Drop kick the motherfucker LSF clipping. Touch, touch, grass, grass. Got a few bumps, I'm fucked up fast. Just gonna put the 50 feet shit off the rack. Girls, trip, trip with the ladies. Trip with the ladies. CCV, gonna hit 100 KDs. Monkey ass brands, begging me to let him pay me. Girls, trip, trip with the ladies. Trip with the ladies. IRL stream, let it go crazy. Fuck it with Andy. This is with Amy. Girls, trip, trip with the ladies. Trip with the ladies. CCV, gonna hit 100 KDs. Monkey ass brands, begging me to let him pay me. Girls, trip, trip with the ladies. With the ladies, our real stream made it go crazy. Fuck it with Andy, this is Twitch Amy. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. So, Mom, thanks for coming with that resub, Bent. The homie. Um. Fuck. I feel. I feel very conflicted about this cream pie thing. I feel like I should just do it. Oh my god, we got Bright Fourth and Lamal Ramen. Were you trying to join up? If you were, we'll get in. We'll get you in a round or two. Will somebody will swap out? I don't know if Ramen was like loading up her game or not. I did not. Uh, I didn't know. That it was gonna fill up like this. Oh shit! Well, no, no Lamal, you could do, do. Let's do some rounds. Let's do some rounds. But uh, if if Ramen wants to get in, yeah, just after like a round or two, some be swapped with Ramen. Make sure Ramen gets some rounds in. Uh, do I have everything I want? Oh, fourth is right. Do we want to do a custom round? That could be fun. Ramen? Like we could do this round right now that we're queuing up for. I don't, is ramen? Yeah, ramen doesn't even have the game open. So yeah, let's do this round. Ramen, if you want to do a custom game next. I'm into it. Oh my god. Yes, that's what you should do for it. Don't listen to what Bright's telling you to do. Leave let us let us run. I promise to not teabag you if you let me go. If I I will like do whatever I can to body block Bright in any capacity, whatever I have to do to make sure you get that fucking kill. As long as we have like an agreement at the end, I won't teabag you, you let me go. Yeah, and, and it's like Bright's just bringing Lamile into this out of the out of the oh please do and and i get to teabag you too 
Okay. Okay. Oh, him? Oh, okay. All right. Get ready, Bright. Get ready. But that's not this game. That'll be next game. Or were you talking about this game? Oh, Fort's probably talking about this game, actually. Sabotaging him right now. Okay, no. This game, we have to fucking have our heads in the game, guys. Heads in the game right now. Killer yet? King, you know, oh my god, you're the best. I just fucking fucked up so hard, bro. I literally dead hard. I'm so dumb. I like dead hearted into the fucking wall. In what way? In what way is the killer sus? Think they're hacking? Cheating? Okay, what is this game right now? What is this? What is this? We haven't had a game like this in a while. It's okay, Lamal. We all are right now. We're all doing pretty bad right now. Ramen, did you say... Did you, uh... You never said anything about the custom game. God. No, what the fuck? We're fucked. Okay, we're fucked. The 
This round's over. I mean, maybe not. We'll probably fuck them. Wait, what? I was just coming to save Lamile. What the hell? Lamile well, wasn't hooked that long. You know, I'm cool with leaving this game. This is not winning. Every time I hear Legion's dumb music, I just am like completely taken out of this game and don't want to play. I hate Legion's music so much. Oh shit. I just pressed the wrong fucking button. Oops. What is this? Where's the terror? <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I got my wish. I didn't have to hear the fucking dumbass song, actually. You know what? Thankfully. I'm into oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I meant to spectate that. I'm so fucking stupid. God damn it. Okay, here let me fix this. Fuck, I'm so dumb. I'm so stupid. Ramen! What's the, what's the word? And oh, you were pressing the wrong button, Lamal. Is that why you died so quick? You are missing all the skill checks? That's what it was. Okay. It's all good. I was fucking up right there. Uh, that, was a, that was a crazy round. That was weird. Like Fort said, a little sus, but I mean, like, I don't know. I'm, I've never, I don't think I've ever gone up against somebody that was cheating. Or at least I don't think I'm smart enough to ever notice it if somebody's cheating, so. Fourth would know, though. Fourth has spent a lot of time in this game. And uh, so have I. But I don't care about this game enough to really, like, learn the deep intricacies of it and understand all the perks and be able to call them out I'm this game is more fun to me when I'm like aloof once I start I don't this isn't the kind of game for me to like min Mac but I'm so dumb I just I literally we could be watching fourth and bright go right now but we're not because I literally just hit continue 
Can't tell when the killer has septic tut. No, yeah, see, I can't. There are some people, though, that, like, really take this game seriously, and it's super competitive to them, and that's dope. That's awesome. But, uh... But I'm just... For me, it's more fun when I'm just, like... I don't know anything about the game, and I'm just, like, yelling because it scares me. I get a jump scare. You just remember me? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, that's a definitely a thing. I haven't played Killer enough to know the perks. When I first started playing the game, I played Killer a lot, but I only really played the Wraith. But uh, I did have a plan. I, I leveled up a bunch of the Killers and got a bunch of the perks that I wanted. Just spent all my, my blood points I would get on Survivor on Killer for a while. And I was going to play some Killer, but I just, I don't know. I have more fun with this game when I'm just playing a couple rounds with the friends and then I move on, you know? Oh, okay, no worries, Ramen. No worries. Just wanted to make sure. It worked out then, because, like, when I came back into the game screen and I saw everybody was in here and it wasn't you, I was like, oh, fuck. Gotta make sure Ramen gets in if she's trying to play. What up, doggo? Dredge, yeah. Dredge is a killer that's like just like naturally scary. Just the killer itself is scary. Because like when Sadako came out, I had like a little bit of like nostalgic fear for her because the movie actually scared me when I was a kid and her chasing me in the game gave me like, it like brought back that kind of anxiety I got after watching that movie. But the Dredge, the music, when it's chasing you, when you're like running from it and then it just pops out in front of you out of a, a locker, it actually has scared, like I've like yelled a, a bunch. I do think it gets a little too dark though. I think it gets a little too dark. The darkness, I mean, the, when they when it'll pop out at me, yeah. It scares me, but the darkness itself doesn't scare me. I just think it gets a little too dark just because it's hard to see. Right, why you leave? Okay, no worries. Oh, you actually you got out fourth? Nice. I wish I could have seen it. I'm so dumb. I did not mean to do that. What loadout? I've got borrowed time, unbreakable, windows of opportunity, and dead hard. Oh, let's see. oh, I don't even have a loadout going for this. Oh, oh I don't have the good health pack. Ah. All right, let's spend some points. Sweaty build, bro. Hashtag survivor sighted. Hashtag gen rushing. DVD Twitter is so funny. Ooh, fourth. I feel you. I understand that, man. I stomach pain can for me can be crippling. So I, I totally feel you, man. If you're backing out, no worries. Oh, you did. Okay, yeah, I, I totally get it. Me and Lamile, let's go. Really? It's even... Oh, that's funny. What did I just click? I think I clicked on nothing right there.
Okay, do I have enough stuff? Oh, I should have readied up. What am I doing? Eh. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that they were changing. Uh, people have brought it up. Zoop sent me the the whole the whole list of everything, but I just I'm not gonna read it. Let's figure it all out. I know they said dead hard's gonna be different now. That's what I wanted. But I want something to help with the healing. That one might do. Let's get this. Oh, Lamile, are you ready up, homie? Let's go. Let's do this. Fucking go. Are you done too, Lamile? Is Lamile still here? There we go. I thought they were nerfing dead hard. I thought they were like getting rid of uh forget. Isn't it now towards you I forget, yeah. I don't I don't know. Didn't they say they were getting rid of the sprint burst with it and it's just gonna be an extra hit now? Yeah, I remember it. I I heard everybody describe it as a nerf. I this is the first time I heard it as uh as making it buffing it. But yeah, let let me know. Oh yeah, you still get that hit the sprint burst if you get hit. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Interesting. Put on some, some tunes. Wait, can't jump over holes anymore? Like, you mean like when there's like a hole, like you're at the second floor of a building, and there's the hole in the ground where you try to get the killer to fall through? What do you... I just had to go berserk. What do you mean? Wait, they're nerfing the vault speed? Bro, there's so many times where I get hit. Where I literally get hit. The, the, they need to fix their hitboxes, okay? Because I'll be planted on the fucking ground after I vaulted over something and still get hit. Okay? They, they need to fix their fucking hitboxes before they do anything with that. Oh my god. Corrupt intervention with a cringe lord. Ooh, vault speed. That's how Bright's, that's how Fort's looping the killer the whole game, probably. What up, MK? How you doing? Dude, I don't want to play this game anymore. I'm done. I'm done. We're going to switch to a different game. I hate this killer so fucking much. It's just the music. It's like, what is this? This is not scary. Feels like I'm in cyberpunk right now. 
so annoying. I hate that music. Get fucking stunned. <laughs> no! Uh, Fuck! Oh, I thought she was going the other way. Before hitting anyone, there is no scratch marks. You can be a ninja. Oh, okay. Go, go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is what we're dealing with right now. Oh she, oh, she wanted to heal me. No, it's fine. I have a health pack. Ah. Fuck me, bro. Ah. Me mend. See if I can go save Lamile. Just healing themselves, okay. This is literally like, a, like you should always have somebody else heal you. Makes no sense what we're doing right now. I, I, you know, I don't think I want to play DVD right now. We might switch to something else. These two rounds, I'm already just kind of like, eh, I'm over it tonight. You know how I am with DVD. I play three rounds. Even if we win, I'm just like, after the three rounds, I'm like, yeah, I'm bored now. Men. Oh, I still can heal myself. Yeah, this game's over. We only have we have four gens left. This game's done. I'm pretty sure it's the same killer as last game too. Yeah, I have nothing, no problem really against like the Killer Legion. I just, I, the music is just so annoying to me. I hate it. Ooh, 
almost fucking missed that one for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, killer's all the way over there. Maybe I'll finish this gen. I think I see the killer still running over there. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's definitely Legion. Okay, we'll finish the gen. Cool. Are we gonna get out? No. We're not gonna get to teabag this killer. Bummer. It happens. Oh, maybe we will. Now we got two gens left. Let's heal. I saw them over here. Let's heal each other. Dude, this killer stream sniping. 100%. No doubt about it. They are watching the stream. Cringe. Fucking dodged. It's one of those. Oh, okay. They're just they're just fucking around. Good. I'd be able to finish this one. Maybe somebody else has got a gen they're working on. Maybe we'll get out of here. Fuck out of here, Lamal. Oh, there is the killer. Oh, killer gave up, maybe?
We did, Ramen. Ramen, I know you said you're busy right now. If you were trying to play around, let me know. I'm down. If not, I think that was my last game. I think I'm going to play something else for a little bit. But you know what we got to do. You know what we got to do for that one. What about channel five? What about channel five? Channel five what? These nuts. Ha. Got him. Are you? That is the sole purpose for me playing this game. It's to teabag a killer. That's like the, the one bit of joy I get out of this game. It's so great. I watched Lemmy, a 46 year old man do it. And that's what literally made me want to play the game. did that shit Lamal and I were at the gates teabagging Round. Even if I Ramen says she's busy, let's try and let's do one more. Maybe we w if we get Legion, I'm alt f fouring. If we get Legion, I'm gonna alt f four. Okay, Lamal is still with me. All right, Lamal. If we if it's Legion again, I'm alt f fouring out of the game. Heads up. And we're gonna switch to something else. I'm down for one more. Ooh, and Bright's back. Okay. Yeah, fourth left uh, the same game you did. He's he said his stomach's really hurting right now. I I understand that. Well, you got kicked. Really? Oh yeah. Fuck. Leave this party, Lamal. What the hell? Lamal, leave! Leave! There we go. Wait, Lamal left now? Did Lamal leave the party on? Okay, that's okay. There we go. Ooh, 
let's go, Lamile. Okay, so Lamile. You're so you're smoking? You're bad because I know that you had that condition where it, that it like made it bad. Like it were when you would smoke, it was good. So like are you still feeling effects from that or are you just is, is it kind of just chill now? Hypercannabinoid whatever it was, I forget. Hypercannapenesis. Hypercannapenis. You have a hypercannapenis or something? Your penis is enlarged because of the cannabis or something? I forget. It was something like that. Why am I not readied up? I literally readied up. Oh, because Lamar left and rejoined. That's why. Yeah, hyper canopiness, exactly. Ooh, nice, Sella. I got some rosin in my room. I keep going and taking little rips of every now and then. All right, I'm ready. Nice name, Hex Anal Bleach. Oh my god. Elodie. Elodie, this one's he hitting right now. Your name, everything about you, Elodie, is just. We should hang out sometime. I knew a lady who worked at a salon. Where they did nails and all that kind of stuff and they also did anal bleaching they got a lot they had a lot of sex workers coming in interesting stuff Fuck, I just forgot I was streaming for a second. I was like thinking about shit. Wait, you wonder, wait, if what hurts? The hyper can of penis we were talking about? Sorry, I was just deep in thought for a moment. Oh my God, Elliot. Oh, the anal bleaching. Oh yeah, I bet it does. Yeah, I th he meant pretty. I was, I'm, I'm pretty sure Cree. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I know the anal bleaching thing. I went deep in thought for a moment thinking about anal bleaching. But ramen, are, is that what you're busy doing? Are you bleaching some t-shirts right now? Or are you making fun of me when I accidentally bleached my t-shirts? My white t-shirts. And they got bleach stains. Wow, dude. I can't believe the doctor was right next to me and I was not like instantly revealed. Dude, me and Elodie. Me and Elodie just killing it right now. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Elodie, let's go. Me and you together forever. We're bonded by the anal bleach.
Yep. Yep. Free it did. It did. Some of my old t-shirts had some like sweat stains under the armpits. So I tried to just like uh, use some like uh, baking soda, some uh, hydrogen peroxide, a, little, a couple little things, some stain removers, and I just put a little bit of bleach on it and just mixed it all in there. And when I took my shirt out of both my shirts out of the washer, there was bleach, white bleach stains all over my white shirts. Didn't make any sense. Dude, me and Elodie are killing it. I know, dude, she did- I think she did just bleach her asshole because we're fucking on fire right now. Wait, what? Why is she going down here? Is she trying to take me down here to have some- Show me? Is she trying to show me the bleached? Oh, she's- Oh. <laughs> How do they know? How did this killer know we were down here? Showing me- She was just trying- Bro, he just fucking straight anal bleach blocked me. I was about to see some great shit. Wait, is that really a Kanye lyric? That's pretty great. Oh no. My queen. No, my queen. I'm gonna save you, don't worry. I'm gonna save you. The bleaching will not have gone to waste. Let's see, does he even notice? Ah! Fuck! I hate this stupid killer. Ah! Okay, I need to run away from Elodie. Okay, I did what I had to do. I got I got anal bleach saved. Oh! Let's go, me and Lamile, Gen Rush. Oh, I'm I'm I gotta snap out of it. Dude, Lamal and I are fucking killing it right now. And bro oh, I forgot. Oh yeah, Bright's in this one. I totally forgot about that. That Bright joined us back up. I was so fixated on anal bleach, I forgot who was here. I thought when you were going into a locker, it didn't count. Man, this might be the worst doctor I've ever gone up against. There's no killers in this game that I'm ever, like, really against and that I don't like. Just based off their killer abilities. Ooh, Hook's coming in with that raid. Oh, my God. This game's about to be fucking over. We're going to teabag on this killer right now, and then we're going to go so hyped for that raid. I'm sure Hook's will get a shout-out in the chat momentarily. If not, I will do it. I'm sure Amazing Mod Ramen is going to hit that if she's not super busy. If she is, no worries. I will hit that momentarily. But when that link is in the chat, everybody needs to make sure. Fuck! Everybody needs to make sure that they click on it immediately and go hit hooks with the follow. Best Apex player that exists. They're, oh my god, amazing ROM in the best. Thank you so much. Ah! I hate the doctor. Where are they down at? I don't see them. Oh, because we're blind.
Can we save this person? Oh my god. Wait, how did Bright get away? Bright got off? Did Bright shake his... Uh, shake himself off? Nice. But yeah, like I was saying, the Doctor is usually a killer that I fucking hate, and I honestly don't like them. Just based off of their perks, it's just an annoying killer. I never have fun, but this killer kind of sucks. This person playing the doctor is not min-maxing. Wait, is that gen done? Yeah, it is. Oh, gimme. True, Dippy. Ooh, wait, is Lamile dead now? Or is that his second hook? Okay, that's his second hook. Oh shit, Lamal's dead. I'm gonna take a hit for Lamal. Oh no, Anal! Anal! Okay, good. I got him on me at least. I, I, I'm the one. Come after me. Come after me, homie. Let's go. Oh, no. He just wants to guard that one thing hardcore. Okay, what a loser. I'll heal. It's worth it. It's worth it. Ah! First number I saw. Shiv coming in with the $5 dono? Oh, my God. We're gonna have to go so fucking hype right after this round once we get out of here. Okay, we should definitely just go work on a different gen right now. Shiv coming in right after Hooks comes in with the insane raid. Shiv coming in with the $5 dono. Let's go. Oh, I gotta snap out of it. Fuck. Okay, now let's heal. We only have one gen left. We should be able to pull this off. If Hex Anal Bleach dies, though, this game's a wash. Yo, does he have a perfect three gen right now? That kind of sucks if that's the case. He might have a perfect three gen. Ooh, let's go, Shiv. What you sipping on? Oh. Fuck. Yeah, come get me. Come chase me, homie. Damn. Okay, there has to be another gen somewhere. There's not just these two right here. They're they're definitely working on one somewhere else. Oh my god, and I love some summon shroud. I love them. Yo, Shiv, that I appreciate that so much. I appreciate that you say I, you'd say I was even entertaining, even compare me to them in any capacity, but they're the fucking legends. They're the fucking gods of this place. I wouldn't have even an ounce of opportunity to do this without them having set the path. But the fact that you would even put me in the same name like list is them is insane and you're too kind and i think you're just lying to me to make me feel good about myself and i appreciate it thank you thank you again for the five dollar dono that we're gonna go so hyped for momentarily oh god where's this last gen at yep she's dead okay this game might be turning now Why am 
am I running so weird? I feel like Bill's running like a weird goblin. Right? Oh, it's probably because he's fucking freaking out and needs to snap out of it. Right? Yeah. I appreciate that, Shiv. I appreciate that, man. Who knows what could happen in the future. But yeah, the discoverability could be worked on on Twitch. Yo, dude. We need to find this last gen right now. There's two of them. Where's the third one? It's got to be over there where everyone was crowding. No, that doesn't sound bad. No, I get I'm a small streamer, man. I'm very oh my god, I hate the doctor. I'm very uh, I'm very fortunate. The sub count that we have, everything. It's all relative and I'm not I'm not sitting here like comparing myself to bigger streamers or anything like that in any capacity. So no, I don't look at that as any kind of uh sounding bad. That was a total compliment, Shiv. To me, the main goal of streaming is to maintain those small victories. And not to say that the victories are small, but just like those that incremental progress trying to maintain that, you know. And I've been... You guys have helped me do that. Except Sunday, right? And Shiv, sometimes I don't do it often, but every once in a while if I'm like, Oh, is, is Ramen in here? Or is who? Like if I'm trying to like ask somebody a question, I'll pull up the chat list. I, I see your name in there. So I noticed, man. I appreciate it. Sorry that we're not fucking going hype right away for the, the hooks raid and then the $5. I just, I want to try to, it's like this game is like so winnable. Oh, he, I should have stayed on that. Fuck, Lamal just died. Damn, this was a oh, fuck. Oh we oh. Look at that. Lamal paid the ultimate sacrifice so we could rub our metaphorical nuts on this killer's face right now. Let's go. I gotta tell you to shut the fuck up. Don't feel bad at all. Don't know, man. I took that as nothing but a compliment. I appreciate that, Shiv. Where's Ramen? Where's Zoot? Behind it. Ah! No, Anal Bleach died too? Oh, no! I said it. If Anal Bleach died, this game was a fucking wash. Oh, that person just ran? <laughs> oh! Let's go. We teabagged him. But you know what we need to do? You guys are like pwned now. You're outside. How's that? I'm outside. You guys are like pwned trying to fucking troll me right now, you motherfucker. Fuck you. I'm not going outside again. What about channel five? What about channel five? Channel 5 what? D's nuts. Got him! Got him. Are you Welvin the Great? We teabagged that killer. He saw it. Oh, how's 360 doing? I haven't heard from 360 in a long time. Like, I know that, like, Hooks is one of the homies that we met through 360, and we talked to Hooks all the time. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't, uh, see, is 360, is 360 still streaming? I'm actually D living in the ceiling. Fourth, get out of here! D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D
Someone threw bitters. I wanted to participate. A hundred bitties after fourth comes in with the bitties. Oh god. No, fourth, get out of here! No way, fourth! Yeah, that probably looked dumb. Okay, anyway. And then Lamar with the 100 minis! Oh, fuck. Here, we gotta... Okay, wait, hold on. We just did the D's nuts, but what we gotta do now is we gotta replay the Hooks raid and the $5 dono, and now Shiv coming in with the 100 biddies, but my with the 100 biddies, fourth with the biddies. All right, what song we playing? What song? You guys know what you are. Know what you all are. First number Fine. I saw. I guess you are my little Smooches. Hey, you. Say And less. then another one. Another 100 biddies. Cree with 300 biddies? Yeah. Oh fuck. Wait, is it a hype train? Is it a hype train? Is it a hype train right now? Oh god, it's a hype train. I fix it with C sharp. You're still using duct tape. Play it like a stone. Yeah, lit like a match that fly like a rover. Stretch like a last Guys, don't remember what the title says. 300 subbies. I'll cream pie myself on stream. Okay, boomer. I think you're a loser. Not a real ruler. I feel like a boozy vert. This a Frank Mueller. I feel like I'm smoke perp because I got a boner. I'm a motherfucking boner. Yeah. I'm a bus like a boner. Yeah. Going hard like a boner. Yeah. Standing tall like a boner. Lit like a stone. Yeah. Lit like a mash that fly like a rover. Stretch like elastic. Target like a DOA. Target like it's practice. You know how it is, whether you're a male or female or however you identify, we all have metaphorical boners in a video game right now together. Hands up. I call it an update. I fix it with C sharp. You're still using duct tape. Play it like a stone. Yeah, lit like a match. They fly like a rover. Stretch like elastic. Target like I'm DOA. Target like it's practice. Practice like that MBA. Get it in the basket. But it's a hype train. We oh Brian, it's a hype train. Play the fucking hype train song. What are you doing? Okay, you know what? You know what? I was hoping that maybe we could get back to 300 subbies. Because last night, I took it out of the title because we were talking about the heavy shit last night. But, uh, Bent still was like, yo, here's some subbies, and it got us up to 300 subs. And I was like, yo, let's postpone this till tomorrow when there's like some of the homies that are asleep are here. And then within five minutes, we dropped like 13 subs and it was like, fuck, we're not at 300 anymore. So like the clip is ruined. 
There's no like, oh, 300 subs clip, but well, who cares? I should cream pie myself right now. Is Bent in the chat? Bent is not in the chat. Fuck. Everybody go in the Discord right now and tag Bent right now. Go tag Bent right now. I do it. If he doesn't come, then we'll postpone it. But I was hoping that we could get back to 300. But we made it for like five minutes, so that's okay. We, we hit it. the best. Alright. Let's get back to it. What were we doing? What are we even doing? You guys are the fucking best. Here, actually, wait, what am I doing? We had... Shiv, right after Hooks, came in with that raid. Shiv came in with a $5 dono. Fourth came in with the biddies. Shiv came in with 100 biddies. Lamile with 100 biddies. Oh, my God. Oh, no, I said Lamile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, for some reason, I was like, wait, did I even take Lamile? But I did when it came through, I remember. And Shiv came in with another 100 biddies. And then Cree came in with the 300. Yeah, the train ended. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say never mind in the Discord to Ben. Never mind. Get to that 300 subs, though. You guys get to see a cream pie right to the face. Cream pie myself here. Will I get banned on Twitch? Who knows? Thank you guys for that hype train. That was fun. Let's uh, play a couple more. I'm down for a couple more games.
You know what? I think I need to fill up my my fan, my e my evap cooler. Are you guys done? Uh, you know, I think I might do one more round by myself. Then, if you guys are done, unless you guys are in a lobby by yourselves. Oh, bright! Oh, wow, bright! You would just go join a match without me during a hype train. Wow! I'm just kidding. I'm gonna do a round. I'm gonna do one more, and then we'll switch to. I think we'll play some more Battlefield. Play a couple rounds of Battlefield 2042. I'm I. I get it. I get why people don't like it, but I still it's fun. Playing Vanguard, nice. Yeah, it's as long as you're having fun, exactly. But I understand all the criticisms of the game, and I think one of the, the, the main reasons a lot of streamers hated on the game so much publicly is because I don't think EA worked with any streamers to like do any kind of like sponsorship deals or anything like that. And it was the game that they pushed out was like arguably worse than their previous games, like bug wise, just playing wise. The the guns were shooting all weird at first. It was, everything was just bad. The sniping felt horrible. Super laggy at first, and it wasn't optimized well. I'm done. I don't play games. Shiv only plays life. He's playing it on hard mode, and he's getting top score, rank one abilities. Oh shit! You know we we play some Fortnite. We do. I don't know if I'm in the mood right now for Fortnite. I don't know if I'm in the mood. Maybe though. Maybe I, I'm gonna play Battlefield right after this. This game. We're gonna do a couple Battlefield rounds, and then I don't know because I don't think I'm gonna play Battlefield for the rest of the stream. So I don't know what else we'll play. I don't know. I wanted to look at TikToks earlier, but just like looking at like four of them. It's like I swear, dude, my TikTok feed on my phone for my for you page is different than my desktop. Like I get like all this random shit on my desktop that has nothing to do like with like my follow page or anything that I like, and then I go on my phone and then it's all there. I don't know I don't know if that's a thing or not. Cause I could scroll through my for you page on on my phone for an hour and be have entertainment whereas on here i scroll through a few and i'm just like what the fuck's going on maybe we'll try again though after some battlefield okay maybe we'll play some fortnite maybe we'll play some after some uh battlefield rounds Oh god. Oh shit, it's Dredge. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, I'm glad we did this game. Wait, Ramen, have you actually played Fortnite with Shiv before? Or are you just saying? Okay, you're just saying that. I bet. You guys haven't played before. Ramen, are you still busy or were you trying to play a game? Because if you were, I'm down. But if not, no worries. I'll switch. <gasps> Wait, Bright. Did you install that game? Honkai Impact? Ah! Oh 
Oh my god, bro. God, that was almost such a good save. What a good teammate. Why oh, they tried. I almost had that gen done too. I'm pretty upset. You're drunk enough? Oh, let's go, Shiv. Let's fucking go. Please don't let me go second hook. Oh god. It's too dark, man. I hate how dark it gets. Kinda like strains my eyes, if I'm being honest. Give me, bro. Oh shit, sorry, my camera was shaking because my knee was touching my arm and I was shaking my knee, my bad. That probably looked funny. I just noticed that. Bro! Who is this guy? Get better at the game. Oh my. Big rip. <laughs> finish it, finish it. He fucking tricked me. He's going for that person first. Okay. <laughs> what? Bro, are you kidding me? 
I was just about to lock it. I was literally, oh my God, bro. Fucking dredge, you're right, Ramen. Okay, I thought he was following me. Scare me. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> get owned, Ramen. Thank no, that sucks. I wish that clip would have went through. Damn, Dredge just fucked us up. Dredge is fucking I like Dredge a lot. It's fun. Dude, Dredge is actually creepy. Not the killer, the way it looks itself. The way it looks is kind of dumb, but the, like just the, everything else about it. The music, the way it pops out at you. The abilities. I like it. Spectate. Oh wait, no. Wait, why were we gonna spectate? Everyone's dead, and it's none of our teammates. Okay, I'm good on this game. Let's play some Battlefield. Let's get a. Let's pop off some headshots on the sniper. Or that man. We were using that AK the other day. That was really fun. No, I saw when that came out, um, when I was watching footage of it, it seemed kind of like, like Left for Dead, but just with like Evil Dead characters, and I wasn't a big fan of the Left for Dead game. I don't, I don't know. It seemed like a mix of like Left for Dead and DVD. But like more like Left for Dead where like, you're in a group and there's like a bunch of zombies and stuff coming and attacking you, right? But I thought about playing it, but it was like $30 game or something like that. I remember when it came out not too long ago and I was just like, nah, I'll pass on that. Oh, let's pray. Let's pray that Battlefield doesn't change my resolution. Okay, is it not gonna 
Okay, there we go. Oh! Yes! Dude, it didn't do it. Okay. As some of you know, it'll change the resolution of my second screen's monitor and fuck everything up. Okay, let's get in. I gotta go get up and go to the bathroom real quick, though. So let's load into a game and get in the, the queue. Oh, you know what? If Kelly ends up coming around, we're going to play Valheim. But I don't know if that's even going to happen. But if Kelly comes around, we're popping it in Valheim. 100%. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Oh, that's awesome. Fourth, was it? Oh, dude, that's good. Did you get some food in you? Water? Was it just the, the smoke that helped? I'll be right back. Oh, also, Bright, if you heard me, I don't know if you heard me. If you have that Honkai Impact game, I, I definitely want to play that. Ooh, yeah, you gotta get that water in you. You gotta get the water in you. That's important. Um, let's go here and do sniping. You know, we'll start back here. Um, you know, I, I can't think of what, what in the fuck. What in the fuck was that, bro? Hacker? We dealing with a hacker right now? Like, that guy just, like, flew over me. Oh, you guys can't even see the game fully. Um, but yeah, I can't remember what Dying Light is. There's a couple zombie games like that that have dying in the name. That I kind of confuse. Isn't that the game that... Didn't Zoop just get that and he's playing it? Is that that game? Just shot me. I couldn't even see him. Bro, okay. Let's get let's get fucking serious. Do pass it? Okay. Yeah, uh post a post a like a trailer of it or something in the Discord. I just can't even think of what the game is about. Okay, there's a sniper up in these hills. We gotta fucking get his ass. It right here yeah there he is oh 
Oh, that was a headshot. The glare, the sniper glare in this is too much, man. Is he dead? I just can't tell. Loser. Fucking knew he's still over here. He's gonna come back and try to get me though, isn't he? He's pissed. There he is. Loser! Got him! Oh my god, that was so good. I'm on fire! Oftentimes, your enemies teach you a lesson. My enemy that I took upon this rock taught me that this is the sniper location I needed. Yeah, post something in the Discord. I'm stuck. This match, bro. Okay, not that many. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'll check it out. I'll check it out right after this. Uh, next time I die, I'll pull it up. What? That was a headshot. We go. Oh my god. I'm fucking coming. I'm fucking on fire right now, baby. I'm like literally killing all the AI. He's using a shotgun from all the way over there. Dude, this AI is fucking stupid. Don't reload time. I can't, dude, I can't believe that there's, they can't even fill up a lobby in this game. Loser. Isn't there somebody like hiding behind here? How are we losing? I just killed their whole team. What? Yeah, I want to get back up there. Yo, 
I usually like most zombie games too, except I wasn't the biggest fan of like Left 4 Dead or Back 4 Blood. Like it was fun when we played it, but like it's just not. I don't know. That's not my style of zombie game. The zombie game where there's like just like I don't know. You know, my favorite zombie game was always Cody's server. I'm gonna be real. Cody's server was always my favorite zombie game. What? I'm so bad. Fuck me, dude. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. At least that wasn't an AI. But I'm so bad. Oh my god. How was I missing all those fucking shots, bro? You know what I want to listen to while we play this, actually? I want to listen to the Cyberpunk soundtrack like we used to. Oh, and let me pull up that, that clip, actually, first. Again. And time will blow your head off. Oh my off. god. Love you too. You better get it right. Now listen, Dead Steve, Island. Don't try to warn anyone I'm here. Rainer said you were a pilgrim. Heard of your business. You think your barking will make an impression on me? Did you know a girl named Mia? Mia? No. Who's Mia? She's my sister. I promise you'll never Is that Rish? I'm here. What's never. her name? I won't leave you. Swear, I don't have to. Not him, no! How's that one actress that was Long dating ago, uh, Eric Andre? Her. What's her name? He took her from me. Uh, I just forgot. I want him to tell me where she is. Well, Rashida Jones? Kind of yeah. Information is expensive. No. What's her name? Well, maybe I can help I you. I forget. Welcome to paradise. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. Who would have thought the end of the world would be so peaceful? I wish Crane could have seen this. Luan, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aider. I don't work for Aider, I work for myself. Is yeah, this single player? Are you scared of him? Most people are. Oh, and co-op. How many people? Rosario Dawson, thank you so much. Those who are weak. Oh my god, MK, thank you. Just give up. Keep them busy. They stop caring about anything. Give up on life, but you. You still care. Yeah, that's definitely Rosario Dawson, right? It sounded like her too. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots. I christen you a citizen of Villador. And in the name of law, you're sentenced to death for treason. Ooh, rip. You know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? She trusted you, and you failed her. I'll be okay. I feel like I know the whole game now. Three against one? I like those odds. Count again. Sometimes, you have to become a monster to stay human. This looks fun. And it looks better than like it's, it doesn't look like it's the same thing as like uh, like Back for Blood or whatever. It looks like it's got a story element to it. And... Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. Open. It's open world event. Oh, dude, this would be cool. That actually would be really cool. Boy wants to pretend he's a grown up, a precious little boy. I'll check it out. Check it here. Let's check it. Let's pull it up on Steam.
With Dying Light 2 right around the corner, I suggested okay. gaming Not figure bad. now would be a great time to take a look at where the story currently stands. Don't care. Okay, cool. I'll think about getting that maybe. It actually looks really fun. Yeah, yeah, I know it's out. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's not that expensive. What was I gonna look up? This is Battlefield 2042 music. All right, what are we doing? Uh, oh shit, we lost a lot of the good spots. Um, let's go in, do some assaulting. Okay, these are all my teammates. in a bad spot. We cannot sustain any more losses. Here we go though. About to fucking pop off. Actually let's go back here. Stay sniper. Damn, we just got back in the game. Still 13 kills that game. Those are mainly sniper kills. Popping off there for a minute. This is like battlefield music. And this was the best part of 2077, the game. Level 57. Oh my god, we're so good at the game. Good at the game. In Dying Light? You mean? Am I getting auto queued or is it just bringing me back to the main menu right now? Dude, I don't understand. It was like matchmaking. I'm so confused. Like, load me into a fucking game. I got way too much stuff in between games. Oh yeah, and if we want to play, we'll, we'll play this level like one or two more times and then I'll switch to the other levels. The zombies talk? Interesting. New gun on the block? What do you mean? I'm level 57. 
I can take care of myself. That's right, I can. Alarm pod in the Canadian Rockies has granted us a view inside the Black Reach facility. And what we see is a direct threat. A weapon that cannot be allowed to continue to operate. Today's mission is urgent. We will travel to the base along with our allies and secure all sectors on site. We will set things right. Your transport is waiting. Can I get in something? Okay, fine. I guess I'll get in my own. Honkai Impact Third is what it's called. Like a game, I think like an arena fighting game where we get to like go head to head. And I can't wait to pummel you into the fucking ground. Oh my god. Learn to drive, you guys. Actually, you know what? Went the wrong way. I hate driving in this game. It feels so clunky. Move up. Not seeing anybody. Where are they? Is there a, see him anywhere? Oh shit. Is this vehicles right now? God, loser. Yo, that wasn't even a fucking AI. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but I'm not in a good spot. Really? Oh shit. Oh my god. I was reading. I didn't even. Yo, you saved my life, homie. That's right. That's right. Teabag him. Well, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna play the game one day. Maybe tonight. Maybe we'll open it up after this. Oh, fuck. They're rolling deep. Oh, my God. A headshot through the fucking bush. Headshot through the fucking bush, baby. Who's just, who just shooting at me? Oh, 
Ah. Wait, why am I using this sniper now? Oh, I will, Bright. You'll probably watch me play it. You'll know. Ooh. I like this sniper as much as the other one. in this tower. Oh my god. He's AI though. I'm, I got this. What? Dead. They just call a vehicle for no reason. Hit, let's go, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Come on. Come on! That person go. <sighs> Leading shots, I'm not good at it. Oh shit. <laughs> what the fuck? That was crazy! That was so sick! I just caught Enemy that. That was so tight. The helicopter just swooped down and fucked him up. Dude, what are all the AI doing running around this back area? Oh, there's a base back there. I thought that was out of bounds. <laughs> Something going on back here. Dude, Battlefield still has not figured this out where, like, you start, like, you're all bugged when you're prone. Start shooting you. I, like, I literally didn't even move and it just shot me forward. That, that would happen in Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5, too. Toggle scope, what does that mean? We control most sectors on the battlefield. Okay, we should move. Maybe aim over this way. Ah! That was an accident. Yeah, at a certain height there is. Wait, what? I'm out of ammo. Bitch. Fucking out of ammo, are you kidding me?
I haven't died in that long? Do I ran out of ammo? How do I call for help? I'm going to need ammo. Need ammo. Dude, this game is... It's just all bots, man. It's like, I just saw my teammate crouch down, looking down at the ground. Like, obvious bot. It's, Jesus Christ. Battlefield. What did you do? What can you do to this game? Bitch. Ow. Okay, I feel like going back to listening to some skirt. But yeah, I don't like that they added AI into this game. I would rather the issue that we used to run into in Battlefield 5 where you'd run into like half empty lobbies. I feel like the bots are part of the reason why people stopped playing. When it was like if they just didn't add them in at first, maybe people would have kept playing. Oh. Alright. No, what? Tell in the way they move, man. These are fucking AI. Like, it's not as fun killing the AI. Loser! It's the AI again, though. It doesn't feel as good. It doesn't feel as good. Not seeing any enemies. I want to switch to assault now. See, that was in Elden Ring. I would have died from that fall. Oh, we have all these places. We gotta go up. Definitely click this. Oh, that's it. Are you kidding me? I can't. My mouse is just. Dude. Fuck you. That was dumb. I was being really stupid right there.
Um, let's switch. Somebody banned four takeaways clipping abilities. <laughs> oh, I definitely wanted to go up there. Okay. Oh, fuck. I just saw an enema. I swear I just saw an enema right here. He's gonna be aimed right at me, right? Bitch! Field. We control most sectors on the battlefield. The sector has been secured. Welcome back, Bent. We were gonna do the uh, the cream pie thing a little earlier because it was a hype train. And uh, we didn't hit the 300 again, but it's just like it felt like the moment. The hype was going. But then, uh, I didn't want to do it without you. So we didn't. This time the time's right, we'll do it. What is going on? Like, I, they're all shooting at each other. Sims isn't his... No, it's not. Leave me alone, cars. Oh, Enema. Bitch. Ow. What? Where did he come from? Objective secured. Alpha one and out. US forces have taken all of Echo Sector. One of our objectives is under attack. Bitch, I love this gun so much. Such low recoil. It's crazy. Where's the person? Are they dead? I don't like this level that much. We're switching after this one. Maybe that's why there's so many AI. I think a lot of people don't like this level that much. Who is shooting me? That was my teammate. My ear itches. Hold on. I felt like I had like something crawling in my ear. What the? F
Oh, look at this sniper. Where the enemies at right now? Safe. I'm gonna go kill that fucking thing though. It heal that quick. How is that possible? We have taken command of Echo Sector. This guy gotta go. That was dumb. I should. The fact that you can't blow up a tank with that many rockets. Are you kidding me? garbage is that to be two shots with how long that reload time is bro oh thanks What are you doing right here, homie? Is he like up him from saving Private Ryan? He's a little scared. He's hiding in the corner. them up oh, we're about to win it won't let me up dude I'm stuck Oh, victory. There we go. All US forces retreating. Victory 21 kills. You know what I'm thinking about doing? It's been a while, but we have... I think I kind of want to watch some... Uh, some MasterChef. I don't know. I'm trying to think what I want to do after we play a couple more games of this. Like I said, if Kelly were to come around... Him and I talked about playing some some Valheim. Not really in the mood for Fortnite right now. Yeah? Okay, we might watch some Master Chef. I'm in a chill mood right now. Even playing this, I'm not in like a super like oh, loser like mood. I'm just kinda chilling right now. And I'm hungry. I've been hungry ever since we watched that Mark Weens video. But I don't have much, like I have to like make some stuff, heat stuff up. I don't really have like a snack I can go grab. 
Alright, let's do Conquest. Let's do a couple just random matches. Get get in here. Depending on what map it is, we'll do Sniper. We'll do some Assaulting. Ooh, cooking stream. That's true. Not right now, but I should. I need to get back into those. I do. And I need to try out the way that I want to try it, where I, um, where I uh, do the Discord thing, where I go live on my phone in Discord, and then pull up Discord on OBS on my computer. So then, like, we'll have all the normal alerts and everything like that. It'll be cool. I just don't know. I think I'll be able to go live on my phone and live on my computer at the same time. My internet should be able to handle it. Weird. It's almost as if maybe fourth blocked you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> or bright. Oh, is it the other way around? What? I literally just got in the game. How do they do that? How do they like put you into a game like that? I literally got a kill too right there at the end. I got that kill and they didn't fucking count it. This game's broken. Wait, he left a snack behind me? I know that neither of you are here. There's no snack in that though. There's a pie. There's a tin there, like for like a cake or something, or a pie. But there's no, there's no food in it. It literally took me. Oh my god! All that time just to get brought back to the main fucking menu. This game is garbage. This level, I'm gonna do assault. I'm gonna do assault this level. This is not the level for sniping. There's some, I don't know, there might be some good sniper vantage points, but not none that I really know of. Oh, you ate my snack? Ramen, what the f Did you or Zoop leave that there? Were you and Zoop actually here? Did you guys actually show up at my house? Is Zoop even awake still? Oh no, Zoop's long gone. He didn't. I don't even think Zoop said goodnight to us. He hates us. Does not hate, he is cool. <laughs> he hates us. He didn't say goodnight to you. Damn, 11 people, only 10 people out of a 32 lobby required. Are you kidding me, bro? Nine. This game's dead.
his smoothie ramen are I never know with you if these smoothies are poisonous these sometimes you say the smoothies are for me sometimes they're for Brian sometimes they're poisonous sometimes they're not I don't trust your smoothies ramen your smoothies are, are or weapons apparently okay dude what is going on with this fucking game dude this game's just dead isn't it no that's that's why no one's playing it Try one more time. If not, we're gonna watch an episode of a Gordo. Maybe even two. I don't know. We'll see. Just pulled out a, an eyelash. Sniping level. Okay, hopefully we get in. Hopefully there's a lot of people in here. Hopefully the game's not about to be over. You know what we're gonna do? I'm going to, we're gonna watch an episode of Gordo and I'm gonna queue up for day Z. And we'll see it, like just how long it takes us to get through the, the queue. Oh my God, again, a 10 person lobby. Only 10 people out of 128 possible when you need 32 required. Oh my God, this game is dumb. Game's over and nine. Okay, let's give it like a minute. Let's give it a minute and see if this fills up. Oh my God, it's dro dropping like flies. Oh God. Oh my god. Battlefield. Muhammad, I'm the one that needs that right now. Did you not hear what I was saying earlier about my farts? Go drink his. <laughs> He'll drink mine. Why would he drink mine though? Mine's not poisonous. We. Why would he get to experience the pleasure of my amazing smoothie that you made me? What's in my smoothie, Ramen? Tell me. You're making me a smoothie. What's going in it? Yo, this game is broken. Let's try one more lobby, man. I don't think we're playing this game anymore, though. I think I'm going to uninstall it. Damn. Okay, I'm installing Battlefield 5 again. Because I want a Battlefield to play. I can't believe that they would release a game like this. That's crazy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna reinstall that. 
But let's see. Let's try one more time. If not, we're going to watch an episode of Gordo, and I'm going to figure out what we're doing. Ramen, I need it right now. Oh, dude, this is the same lobby, isn't it? I just, like, left. I'm one of the people that left the lobby to go try to join another one, and it's the same one. Watch, it's gonna be, like, 10 people. Stand by, I'm standing by. No, I just remember there was that one time in chat where people were talking about like pizzas. And I said, yeah, 11 person people. Oh my God, I was the, it was 10 and I was the 11th person. Oh fuck, dude, what is wrong with this game? Why? But no, I remember one time we were talking about pizzas and I told everybody to say well, like, what kind of pizza were you gonna make me? And it was like, we got some really good answers. So, Ramen, tell me right now. Anybody else in chat? You're making me a smoothie. No shark and no weird bodily fluids. Only good stuff. What are you putting in there? I know what my favorite smoothie is. I make it for myself all the time. Oh, damn, fourth. I was... When I was saying smoothie, I was just thinking like uh, like fruit and stuff. But you're coming in, okay? Down with that, cookies and cream smoothie. Okay, well this game's over with. We're not playing this game anymore. I'm gonna uninstall it. That's unfortunate. I thought I alt have <laughs> so dumb. Wait a minute. Yeah, I did change it. Okay, cool. Just chatting. somewhere don't I There is that Amish buffet, Mark Weens, but we already watched a Mark Weens today. We won't watch two. The one that I had in here. What up, Danky? How you doing? Fuck, I just lost my place. Okay, hold on. Oh, yeah, here we go. This one. Cooked by Peter. So, you know. This one is Gordon Ramsay tries cheesy shark. Doesn't sound. Doesn't sound good. Oh, just got home from Santa Barbara. Nice, We're dude. We're in Hampshire, where I've just bought a really nice, tiny country cottage. And from a chef's point of view, yeah, Santa Barbara is yeah. really cool. 
you have some of the most amazing oh, overrated i, I said barbara's cool so i always I'm had fun really when we'd go there to a nice laid-back british country but uh lunch. i'm heading for the granary what'd you do up there a huge 200 seater restaurant owned by businessman and property entrepreneur nigel nedu did you, go, did you, you just go to the beach or you do anything else in the town him a fortune to my mind, we've invested in all the right things. It's, it's a beautiful place. The, the quality of beautiful the food place, is mate. Great chefs. Great well, chefs. I'm a bit of a loss, to be honest, to, to understand why the place isn't busier. Uh -oh. Nigel's dream project is failing, and it's an all too familiar tale in my trade. Running a successful Something's business wrong, mate. doesn't mean you can run a restaurant. I've found myself in the thick of it, really, and in the thick of it. just basically doing the best I can. We That's all you can do, mate. I mean, it's like who do you turn to? You can only keep digging deeper and deeper yourself. But, you know, I suppose it was, uh, well, that's why we turned to Gordon. Here we are. Mosquito. Despite hemorrhaging four grand a week, Nigel likes the finer things in life. And he's offered to show me the area. I saw you post about that on your story. That was awesome, Danky. You're so dope. I understand missing the bed. I'll just tell you about the area where we are here. Uh -huh. Gordon, this is a, it's a very nice, very affluent area. Uh -huh. He's got a helicopter. There seems to be so many swimming pools here. Nigel convinced himself the wealthy Hampshire locals would flock to a flash exclusive dining club. So he opened one in 2003 and it cost up to two grand to join. For the first what? Night, Nigel invited celebrity guests like Jordan. We thought we'd cracked it. The launch was so incredibly well attended and everyone was so excited by what was happening. Jeez. The feedback was, wow, this is the most amazing place. We're all going to be coming here. And then uh, they, none of them did. When Nigel's Playboy project went bust, he dropped the joining Woo. fee. Reopened as the granary, but it was too late. Its local reputation was shot to pieces. Just down here to the left here, Gordon, yeah, that's this why. is the restaurant. <laughs> OK. There's the kind of cream building there with the nice nice lawn. Yeah, the, the, the TikToks yeah, earlier, yeah. 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 Oh my God, it's so big. This one's getting deleted. Just describe the style of the restaurant. Nah, no, it's fine. Nigel, we call it um, sort of modern British. Nigel recruited I don't know why I paused it. I meant to hit to create this, vision this of a modern but British I actually menu. hit pause on it. So I'm accident. expecting some updated British classics using homegrown produce from this head chef. Oh, especially love British food, and I don't think there's enough of it around these days. You know, no, so yeah, so mate. Put in Cornish pasties. The Cornish pasties, mate. Let's he go, bro. six months for drug offences, and cooking was his salvation. Went back into training this year in the prison kitchens, and there were some really good uh, chef prison officers who took me under their wing and, you know, just kept out of trouble. And when I got out, you know, kept I Kept you down a straight and narrow cobblestone alleyway, past, right? Martin wants to help other teenage tearaways. He has two on his cookery apprentice scheme. Cocky Pete is 18 and is known to the police. Cocky Pete! Oh no! I like got in trouble with the law and now I've obviously found my godsend, which happens to be cooking. He's no way, bro. I'm very proud of doing and I enjoy it a lot. And I'm with a good team here at the granary. Yeah, His mate. His crime is Mouthy Paul. Nicknamed Mouthy Chav. Paul, ain't ya? been arrested more times than bloody wanker he is. job definitely saved me. It was felt like, yes, this is, this is fucking brilliant. Look, I'm actually doing this for wow, myself. Wow, cooking lads, saved their lives. You know, they work hard. They're, they're really keen to learn. And Martin's brought them on fantastic. That's it, awesome, though. My biggest worry probably is that hiring like get a felon a better, and stuff wouldn't like get that, that's, that's anyway. good. Good Nigel guy. can only afford to stay open another six months because he's already invested two million quid. Despite knowing nothing about private members clubs, Nigel spent a fortune turning the granary into a swanky dining venue. Fucking hell. We were aiming for sort of Monty's or Soho House. What is that on there? Leather. Leather walls? Yeah. Bloody hell. You are aiming for Monty's, That's the private of, club? The sort of feel, yeah. Rich and sumptuous and... Yeah. God. This is the... Uh, what? Coach house, dining and function room. I have to say, I know I've only been here three or four minutes, it's fucking stiff, no? Do you think it's too stiff? It feels stuffy. Nigel's got a thin skin and doesn't take criticism well. Uh-oh. We're proud of what we've done here. Uh, we get nothing but compliments about the interior of the building, the decor and everything else. It's just come in and rubbish the whole place. Oh, Not no, rubbish. Right. Nigel's joining me for lunch uh, to discuss his so-called British menu. It's packed with 60 dishes from around the world. Um, did you get involved 60. with the food at all? Yeah, I'd, I'd discuss it, obviously, with Martin. Mm -hmm. Incredibly, Nigel's fiercely proud of this silly menu. So I'm going to be brutally honest with him. 
I'm going to have the shark steak topped with tomato sauce and mozzarella. Okay. Must be a bit of a Hampshire thing going on there. <laughs> shark steak. Um, what's My starter appears to be from Yeah, Africa. exactly, right. Here we go again. And this is Moroccan chicken. Yeah. Um, wrapped in filo paste. And what's modern British on that? Mm. What is modern British on that? Mm. Nothing. It's very spicy, then. Right. It's Moroccan. You seem upset. What's the matter? You seem uptight. I'm just waiting for you to slate the meal like you've slated everything else since you come in the place. Oh dear. This is Nigel's idea of a modern British classic. Cheesy shark. What was the chef smoking when he came up with that one? <laughs> Have you tried it? Cheesy sh I've never had shark before. I don't... Well, that... That's fucking ghastly. <laughs> well, that's a surprise. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> fucking ghastly, yeah. mate. <laughs> don't get all defensive. I don't like it. Huh? How's your lamb? Beautiful. Honestly, really, do you think the food is good? Yeah, of course I do. It's so calm. He's like tearing him apart just in like the, the chillest way possible. No, I think you're taking the piss, Gordon. That's what's happening. Oh Sorry, shit, we're about to go out to the back cobblestone alleyway, take a pizza. Sorry. Please. Let me go through your menu. Let's see what you put together. Oh, it's see. easier to take the piss out of other people's stuff. We're going through my menu now. Take the, the piss out of it. Half a centimetre thick. Yeah. It's cooked and then gratinated. Bloody metal. So it's cooked twice. It arrived with a plate full of water. So the fish was overcooked before you even got anywhere near my mouth. So why are you trying to be smart? If I said to you it tasted shit, accept it. Not a great start. I want to try Nigel's favorite, this is, fillet of beef. It's, it's so vibe. calm, but they seem so angry, but they're so calm. It's Pizza? weird. Weird vibe. So you know, what a great experience for just 18 years old to be cooking from the best chefs in the, in the world. Oh yeah, mate. Maybe we should ask Ramsay. Nigel what we want to think about it before we go. Oh Ramsay. How did you find your steak? Um, it looked like someone was sick on my plate. There you go. That's fine. Um, apart from that, the steak was cooked nicely. Okay. Well, at least I could say this, you know, it can only get better from here, can't it? How is this person feeling listening to all this while she's eating her food? Is she like, yeah, he's right, or she's like, I don't mind my dish? Uh, Christ. Yeah, definitely. Nigel's kidding himself the food is great and clearly doesn't want my advice. I just hope the head chef isn't as pompous as his boss. How are you? Good to see you. And this is Paul. Paul, nice to see you. Hello. Peter. Peter. Hello. Slippy I Peter. Yeah. Sadly, very disappointing. In which way? I just found it old fashioned, really? very boring. And when you say modern British, yeah. where was the beef from? Where's the beef from? It's, uh, that is not British. No. The steak was cooked nicely. Yeah. Pink. It didn't need all the gunk around there. Okay. Uh, was the shark going to okay for it? Oh, it was it? watery and overcooked. You thought it was overcooked? Uh, where, where's it actually from? Well, it'd be, uh, it's the South Sea Indian Ocean, I believe. And you buy it. Guys, do you want to listen or? Yeah, yeah. we are listening. Uh, show some I like the chef. I, the chef's a cool guy. Are you just going to stand no, up and piss your pants? I'm trying to have a chat, but it's. Sorry, okay, sorry, guys. Do you want to speak? Show some fucking respect. Watch out. Right. Ramsay, one of them's gonna shank you, bruv. <laughs> Watch out, man. He's got a slippery Pete and slipping Jimmy over here. Sorry, bro. Carry on. Can't stand up or. Oh. What I'm oh, he doesn't from, like yeah. that. That kid's like, British. excuse me, bitch. It's hard to identify anything substantially modern British. Yeah. So, I'm here to help. Okay. This man hasn't understood that yet. Right. I didn't enjoy my lunch. It doesn't need to be that fancy. It's probably over. I feel like Gordon's like giving him a really hard time when this guy is just being like chill about it, and Gordon's trying to like egg him on to get him to like get more mad for the camera, but he's just like, he's just chill. So, yeah. He's trying to be like he he take, he has a hard time taking criticism, and it's like he seemed pretty chill the whole time. It is on the verge of being pretentious. Like he's he's Too clapped back a couple times, but it's nothing like where it seems like he's actually that upset. The Granary, it's an amazing location, but everything about it is fucking wrong. The teenage asbos, they're so full of themselves, it's fucking embarrassing. The decor's flash and pretentious, and the food, well, it can't be any more further away from modern British. No wonder the fucking locals aren't coming.
Entrepreneur turned restaurateur Nigel Nedu's massive restaurant is in deep financial trouble. His head chef Martin runs an apprentice scheme for out of control teenage tearaways. The granary has a capacity for 200, but on a busy night, they're serving an average of 40 people. It's unsustainable. To survive, we've got to fill this place. Now, before I do anything, I need oh, to I see forgot. if they can cope when it's busy. So tonight, I've got 90 locals coming in for dinner, and I want to see how they all handle pressure. You know, uh, what was done 60 last night, right? Was it 60? 61? Just me and Pete over here. And the place is capable of doing, what, 200? Yeah, I think we can do that quite easily. Um, we'll see with the garden as well. There's no reason why we couldn't do more. How many hours a week, Jordan? Um, this week is probably about 60 to 65. Good. Healthy. <laughs> I could call it that. <laughs> well, the harder you work, the more fucking trouble you start to have, surely. Yeah, so it's all good, really. I need to know how head chef, come probation officer Martin and his lads cope with lots of diners. Two Moroccan chicken, soup, one palm ham, ricotta. Okay, sorry. Martin's fiddly foreign dishes take ages to get out of the kitchen. What's the sauce, sir, Martin? The prawn sweet sour. We're only 30 minutes into the service, oh, and some of the food has been sent back cold. All right, Pete. Yes. Tell so me we're going to do this again. Stop! Service, please! The restaurant is filling up, but Martin is struggling to keep up with the orders. Martin, I need one free one for their starter. Plus table 14. They haven't had their starters. Table 14, free in Quebec. Oh, we're only 62 in queue. We're still waiting for the day. We're still not working. Yeah, it's actually we don't know what's going on. Service has got off to a really bad start. Um, customers are complaining. There's one table there that have been waiting two hours. Food's been served twice, and um, they are really seriously pissed off. Nigel can't afford a restaurant manager and runs the front of house himself. His lack of experience is causing chaos. Boys, have you got 22 on there? I wonder if there's any chance we might get our starters. Yeah, sorry, we're having a meltdown. That's in there. crazy. It's not confess. It's not, it's a mullet. They've crossed it out, it's a mullet. It's a mullet, this mate. This has got to be the worst day of my entire life, to be honest. What did you do to help this gentleman? We've taken this meal off the bill. Uh huh. But they're three hours. I mean, what is the time now? I don't know. Three. Yeah, call to eight. Yeah, got it. Five hours. Right. Joking it. Martin said he could cope with 200, but I've proved he can't even cope with half of that tonight. It's never happened before. I'm not happy about it. We've been stitched up. So not doing this. Dodge. I'm not doing it anymore, mate. Well, well, who's stitching who here? You can pull it back together, can't you? I really can't be bothered. I don't like this, and I don't want to do it, mate. I didn't want to do it in the first place. So I'm out of it. All right, let's get this done. No! Oh, let's get this done. We got a lot of people in there, mate. I'm not doing it, mate. It's bollocks. Bollocks. What's going on? Neither Martin nor Nigel accept Bloody bollocks, for mate. a mess and want a scapegoat. Unsurprisingly, Nigel sees an opportunity to get his own back. We've been stitched up tonight. No, I've never been stitched, stitched up. Happy about oh, come on, that's, that's We've dreadful. never had a fucking night like this, Gordon. I that's swear to God. Have we ever had a night four. like this? Why are you shouting? Why are you shouting? Why have you done this to us? Why have I. What? Why did you do this to us tonight? We've never had a night like this, never, since we've been open. Don't be so ridiculous, will you? Shit food. Fucking red mullet frozen from Thailand. The fact that we're not performing, the servers are all over the place, the customers are fucking complaining. Why did you put 90 people? Without giving us any notice. There's still 50 you haven't even fucking served. So what are you blaming me for this? Feel that, the this kind of feels like an episode that like was not polished and that they didn't yeah, release. Really I don't know. know. Service. Don't we, count and come we back. We didn't even get a chance. I saw the You're cheesy shark man. and you I wanted to watch it, but this, I don't know. This episode has like a You're different a feeling than some of the other ones. Why don't you open your eyes, get your head out of your ass, and try to look at your business objectively? I don't know the they clearly can't cook the existing menu. They're struggling. There's nearly 60 customers still on the board. They've barely cooked 25, 30 main courses, and all of a sudden, I'm to blame because they're busy and they're not handling it. Thankfully, Martin sees sense and he's back in the kitchen. You can get this back together. Yeah, we're huh? we're doing it. We're doing it. Just need a cigarette. Time, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Huh? Just need a smoke. No, no, really. Right. Right. Just had a funny five minutes there. I felt I was letting myself down, letting the team down. And then if I was to walk out, I'd be letting them down even more. Yeah, and mate. So, and I wouldn't live myself if I'd done that. The so. whole dinner Not for the sort of I'd like to repeat, I'll be honest with you, it's really quite devastating to have to go around to every single customer in the place and apologise. I don't know. 
I know what he's, I know what he's doing, and I, I realised the, the reason for why he did it tonight. You know, he needed to see what would happen if we were pushed past breaking point. I think. Yeah, that's important. But let's you just run a restaurant. confirm something, shall we? Everybody, yeah, yeah. You're fucked, yeah. One thing we should never do. <laughs> is fucked, mate. Give up. No matter fucked. how fucking hard it gets out there, no, we sir. never give up. Because no. we give up, the customer suffers. And let's be honest, this business is in trouble. And if this doesn't work. They're all out of a fucking job. That's a big responsibility, you know that? I do, yeah. Yeah, huge. And we'll get it right, OK? OK. The granary doesn't attract enough locals to survive. Before I can work out a solution, I need to know why. Um, have you been to the granary? I have. And can you tell me a little bit about it? Uh, it's a nice setting, rubbish service. Yeah, there used to be a club for private members only, but that didn't really last that long. So it has a bad reputation locally? N well, nobody ever goes there, so I think if it was any good, all the people in the village would go there. Mm -hmm. so the things that I heard about it just sounded a bit out of my league, to be honest. <laughs> a bit too expensive, I'm afraid. Quite None of these people them. sound like they're from the good town of Manchester. They sound a little rich, you know what I'm saying? They sound like they come from across the pond. They sound a little too fancy for my taste. Yeah. So it's a bit off-putting. Yeah. Yes. It's nice to go into think a highly of themselves. And pieces, but I think they sort of went a bit over the mark, like with the shark and, and things like that. You know, people do want to try and Look at the cobblestone alleyway. Really. Look at it's the cobblestone. Clear. Nigel's silly pretensions of grandeur have alienated Rubbish. the locals. Exclusive Bollocks. clubs won't work round here. When you've a reputation this bad, the only thing to do is create a delicious traditional menu the locals can't resist. True. Hampshire is awash with independent farmers producing fantastic British staples, so I'm going to use that fantastic produce to help turn the granny around. Now, I've got to come up with a menu that Martin can cope with that will seriously appeal to the locals. It's as simple as that. Get some good old Beef Wellington, mate. Get the Beef Wellington. How, uh, how much do you want to bet Beef Wellington's going to be on there? Morning. I'm taking the lads to a local vegetable farm. Beef Wellington and the beans on toast. This is this vital. Is, if I'm mate. ever going to turn them into chefs. Beef Wellington has always looked really gross Beef to me. Root. Yeah. Okay. So perfect size. We're looking forward just above. Yeah. A golf ball. Going on a little adventure. Huh? This lot have only ever seen their veg wrapped in clim film. Come on, Paul. Put some welly in there. Pete, have you got anything yet? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Such a wimp. Such a wimp. <laughs> Girls trip. Trip with the ladies. Instead of nicking cars, we're nicking carrots. <laughs> <laughs> These reprobates are going to learn how to cook with the very stuff they're pulling out of the ground. Martin, <laughs> excited? Superb, yeah, brilliant. Amazing, a completely different yeah. take uh, on vegetables, yeah? Yes. I was also a bit of a teenage tearaway and crashed a car whilst uninsured. <laughs> Cooking was my salvation then, so I want to encourage these lads in their careers. I've got What's up, Gaming Slayer? How you doing? Guys. You know, I started off in a very similar position to both of you, and you can stay focused yeah. And like I said, my worry is you stepping off that line and fucking it up. At the time when you got into trouble, what did you turn to? I suppose cooking. Like, I never wanted to be the footballer when I was a little kid. Uh -huh. Like my mum and dad have always got me enthusiastic about food and yep. trying new things and that. Yeah. Watching you me both work, and dad, the potential is phenomenal. Yeah. Don't so, have to be chippy, and you've got to stay excited. And uh, Martin. Keeps you guys in the straight and narrow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It makes us know that we can make something about ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. That's Martin nice. and his boys didn't cope with 90 last night. I'm going to show them tonight how Martin they can easily like serve that dude. number. It's a great British classic. Four, Roast pork. Each table gets its own joint along with a freshly picked veg. This could really pull in the locals and ease the pressure in the kitchen. With the large tables in for dinner tonight, I want to try something different. Loin of pork, shoulder of pork, belly of pork. Grass and dauphin was, and we just cook for the table. Where's the pork from? I hope it's British. Fresh veg, yeah. exactly, bro. Yeah, that's right. Romsey. Romsey. <laughs> There's 90 in again tonight, but service should be easier as everyone is helping themselves. And I'm letting the lads loose on the public. 
Going in my big brave boy. Oh, they're going out there to like cut stuff. Okay. Lost the old spot. Hawk. Reared in Hampshire. Reared in Hampshire. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> you just went silent there. In here, yeah. A mouth bigger than fucking Isla White. Out there, yeah. You just go silent. Yeah. You weren't nervous out there, were you? Oh no, I was just. Uh, <laughs> Shitting myself would be the correct term. Shitting myself? There's 1,700 quid in the till, and even touching Nigel has to admit, I've got it right. Gordon's taken some of the heat off us with his specials, uh, which has accounted for quite a lot of the big tables. One good night won't save the granary. Only I'm, large I'm numbers saying this is that. like an episode I that's just like... We've got a fucking I don't understand how this episode's going to go another losing. 30 minutes. I don't... And tonight, we're 82, let's be honest, if we pushed ourselves, we could have been 150 tonight. Yeah. But there is a fucking amazing bond in here, yeah? And I was very fortunate enough to work under Marco's wing for three years. And I went in there at 19, and I got my fucking ass kicked. And I went in there at the time because things were going slightly pear-shaped at home, so I lost myself. Yeah? If we're going to do this, then fucking concentrate. Yeah, that, that's got. the whole thing. Probably. It felt like Gordon was really trying to egg him on to be more combative, but they he did, he's not like with. that. But if you can let your work shine... He's too fancy, mate. The shit oh, takes care of itself. Pish posh. How does this go on another 30 minutes? I don't the understand. The menu is changing, but Nigel's inexperience means front of house service is dismal. Today, I've brought in some birds for the lads. I use their amazing eggs myself. Yeah, underneath, yeah. Underneath his breast, that's it. Nice. Old Cotswold leg bars. They are phenomenal. What is phenomenal. this experiment? Okay, look after them. No. You'll be surprised on the amount of eggs. Dude, he is the goat, thank you. For sure, are they? They are yeah. ugly. Right now, these hens are homeless. This is a test to improve Nigel's management skills. He must build the hen house by delegating work to his waitresses. Nigel's going to give the instructions, read them. This is dumb. I see. I don't think. I don't know if this episode even ever aired now. Now, put that together. We can release the chickens. Put them inside. Yes. What? I know entrepreneurs like Nigel are strong individuals, but to be a what successful front of house manager, you right must now? be a team player. That's definitely out the other way. Whatever happens. Yeah. Like that. That's it. Um, they're roof panels. What? Are those sides. These are roof panels. <laughs> yep. They're all waiting for instructions. Yet you're only talking to yourself. I'm reading. Yeah, to them. Reading? No, I've got to understand it first. What am I going to tell them before I understand it? With his prickly attitude, it's clear Nigel's no team player. See, so you're going to fucking flat pack anything that doesn't fucking fit, does it? This is a worry, the head of tonight's service. Just over 100 books. So if that's how confident he is at delegating a chicken pen being put together, what the fuck is he going to be like? running the dining room. I think Nigel's arrogance means he can't take any constructive criticism. Yeah, like, did Gordon tell Nigel's them the premise of, like, why he brought them here? Like, I'm, I'm going to see how you can work with a team, how you can lead a team. Or was he just like, all right, guys, we're going to build a fucking hen house. Management remains a big headache. You're going to learn something, service trust is me. Looming, and I have to teach the lads a couple of British classics, starting yeah. with mushrooms on toast. So we're serving the mushrooms. Now, what are those chickens producing out there? What have we got? Uh, Excellent. That's Beautiful disgusting, eggs, yeah? bro. So, Anybody that has anything to say about avocado on toast, that shit's amazing. Mushrooms on toast? Dude, what is wrong with these British people, man? <laughs> what, the mushrooms? what is wrong with their have. cuisine? The Beans on toast? Mushrooms on toast? This is gross. Amazing poached egg. Yeah, how long does it take to softly poach an egg? For three minutes. Yeah, three, three and a half minutes. Just finish a little bit of mustard. Yeah? And go. No, avocados are great. Avocados I think are good. I've spotted great potential in Pete. I'm trusting him to cook the locally sourced calves good. liver. And just turn it over, good. Really important to cook it quickly, yeah, good. Nice. Liver on. Yeah. Bacon. Little sprig of watercress. Yeah. Liver and bacon. All we've done is three or four dishes that are tasting naturally. Really fucking focus on that tonight, yeah? yeah? Has a big ask and a massive responsibility on your shoulders, yeah? yeah? And when the fucking shit hits the fan, I'm here, but don't fucking lose it, okay? I won't lose it. Okay? This is a crucial test of my strategy to save the granary. 
Tonight, we've got 100 booked, including a party of 48 air traffic controllers from the local airport. These professionals know how to avert disaster. I only hope I can do the same. The kitchen's ready, but Nigel and his waitresses can't afford to screw up in the restaurant. I think the communication has got to be a lot better tonight. The last party out there is 48. Don't bring them all in together. Make it work. We need the tickets quickly. OK? okay? Yeah. Big test. Let's go. Good luck. <laughs> Nigel, what's the matter? <laughs> Don't know. Nothing I'm aware of, honestly. No, but you were flapping around looking like you were fucking... So you know, I was just getting the girls organised into their teams. OK, yeah. you've got young staff there and they're not controlled. Who's controlling them? Me. Good. Do it. Right. Let's go. Okay. Once again, I feel like Gordo's trying to like bring the heat when the guy's just like, I'm just trying to chill, man. Gordo's like, so we far, need to very, very ramp strange. this up for very the show, nice, homie. Relaxed. And he's just like, I'm Nigel. just calm. Oh, you? The last time we down. The 50. Uh, okay, good. It'd be nice to get some of the orders in there, yeah? Yeah, so they don't get swamped at once, yes? Yeah? All right, right. Faye, you got a full motion on? Yeah, lovely. The starters for the air traffic controllers are ready. Service, please. Okay. Yep, Three, going eight. in. Unfortunately, the waitress has taken some food to the wrong table, and Nigel doesn't spot it. Uh oh. Two of us have got a, uh, have got a starter, and nobody else has yet got a starter. So, um, where's the rest of the food coming from? Do we eat it now, or do we not? Other customers are sending uh -oh. their starters back. Touch, touch that. Oh, okay. It's so fucking cold. Nigel's job is simply to make sure the waitresses do what they're told. I'm now doing table 21, okay? All you want to take for this, as precise moment, is four mushrooms, okay? That's the 21. Martin says explicitly the mushroom dish is for table 21, but the waitress serves it to the wrong table, right under Nigel's nose. Anya, 21, he said. Nigel knows a terrible mistake has been made. This is not what she told you. You take it to the table he told you, yeah? But because he's inexperienced, Nigel doesn't make the waitress take the dish to the correct table, making a fraught situation even worse. What? They just ignore it? This is either cooking or service, something is wrong. This is absolutely appalling. Why wouldn't you just go fix it real quick? Grab the, the dish and put it in the right table. Just walk away. He's like, oh, well, that's a wash. It's over. Like, you yeah, can still salvage that. Room. It's been screwed in that room. It's been screwed in that room. Come on, you got to talk to me, big boy. OK, OK, I'm going to 14. It's Thank two, you. Two, two. You've got a team here waiting for orders. Come on, Mark. Right. Yeah? Four forks, guy. Okay. Thank you. Don't go flat on me. Right, Cav, straight away. Use a two-batter. Church, everyone. Huh? No, Sean, five trout, straight away. Five trout from over there, go. Two Martin nine, has stepped nine, up to the challenge, go. but someone else hasn't. OK. Yeah, I need breathing exercises. Though. Just settle down, just relax. Yeah, just want to sit down for a minute. Yeah, yeah right, Ben. I'm not going back in until I've had a cigarette, honestly. Yeah. Too stressed, mate. Who's having a cigarette with the it's customers? It's all right. Nigel's panicked and lost control. At least the new dishes have gone down well. It's very nice. It's taken forever to arrive. It's completely, completely all over the place, but it's great food. Now it's come. In my eyes, the buck stops yeah, go for the take boss. a pissy, you bloody no wanker. Way I'm let Nigel get away with it. He must accept responsibility. That was unbelievable. It was yeah. fucking embarrassing. Yeah. What went wrong? Let me ask you first. You own the place. Truthfully now. I don't fucking know is the honest answer to what happened. You don't know? It was a... Listen, two people went to the wrong tables. Now, I know for a fact that Anya, regardless of what table she was told, went and put it where she fucking liked. I don't know why she did that, but she did it. That's all I know. Yeah, that's all you know. I it's just like not that big of a deal. All you do is you just go grab the plate and put it at the right table. Like what? Like how the do they not fix running that? Running a fucking bar, let alone a restaurant. Yeah. You're employing cheap labour, no fucking training. Cheap and you're labour. Expecting oh, here we go. When was, last you, when was the last time you trained a waitress? Enough. I'm gonna go and look after my customers. This is nonsense, right? I've told him what happened. I've told him what fucking happened. Talk to me. Why? Because you don't listen. I'm in denial. I do this all the time. This hour I'm my fucking restaurant. It's not true. That's why you're in this shit, you no, fucking it's not. fat idiot. Don't call me fat. You are a twat. Do you know that? You stupid, you stupid junk Body idiot. shaming, I'm Gordon? Wow. wow. Is that how you run your business, is you're it? You're a fucking knob. Wow, Gordon. You walk Fuck away off. now. Go and, talk to with the ad go and talk to the fucking oh, regulars out there. Here See if go. they've ever seen a service like this. And what are they going to say to me? Go and ask a regular. You are the best host in fucking Hampshire. Probably, some of them. 
Are you that fucking blind? I'm not saying that there isn't massive improvements that can't be made here, but if you think that this is the way I run it and I can't run this, you're wrong. So fuck it, I've done my best. I don't need to talk about this anymore. Unfucking. What, are you gonna quit now? Last night, Nigel's lamentable leadership caused a mid air collision for a party of air traffic controllers, but he denied responsibility. Nigel's arrogance could close the granary for good. Will he listen to me? Gordon may have found me arrogant, but that, in truth, that would only be a reaction to the way he was treating me. You know, when you've invested four years of your life, a huge amount of money into creating something, it's very personal. I won't be spoken to in that way, even if it is Gordon Ramsay. The most important thing is to get this right. And sometimes when you um, get defensive on the back of criticism, it's almost as if you can't, you can't take it. All I want to see is some form of maturity in dealing with it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not expecting you to like what I say, but let's agree to disagree for now, yeah. draw a line and move on. Right. Have you thought about getting a restaurant manager full time? Because I, I think you need help. We have issues with servers that needs to be controlled. I, I take your point. I mean, you know, I'm not a professional restaurant manager. You know, at the moment, I'm doing the best I can. All I want to do is make the place as good as it can be. Uh-huh. OK. I need a trick to lure the locals back in, who've been put off by the granary's exclusive reputation. A fun event for parents and kids could get them back. We need to find a way to get them out of the house with their kids and come and visit the granary. Have you seen what's produced locally here? No. From the best tomatoes, to the best garlic, to the best mushrooms. Why can't we have a food fair day? A way of uh, announcing that you're here. Right. Didn't we already go to the farm? I'm, this episode's weird. Fantastic order. Yep. Let's go. Time's not our friend right now. Yeah? I'll get right on it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like whoever the, the hours, producer the of this show is, has, is Instead just of shark steaks, we've got great Hampshire just out produce. of it is this Nigel guy. The fair is designed to secure future bookings for the new look granary. The only exclusive thing here is a petting zoo for the kids. Oh, it's lovely, cheese on toast. Really? I'm going to um, try that. I am sure it's mild. I'll just give you a little bit. Oh, shit. Right, Nigel, happy? Yeah. Ooh, we're 39 in queue. This is, I've uh -huh. caught me pinching all the chili dishes. They're amazing. Regular fun food events like this will get families filling up the gigantic granary and help to establish a more friendly reputation for the restaurant. Absolutely amazing. I really want to fire up these young chefs with a challenge. They must create a salad using Hampshire root vegetables. The winner will go on my new menu. Uh -huh. Okay, good. So, eggs, tomatoes, look at the jokes, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Nice okay. Ew, get your nice. apple out of my salad, sweaty. man. Oh, I'm starting to sweat oh. as well. Just, I'm ready. Do not ready. want any apple Fine. in there. What are they? Beetroot and roast parsnip salad with chopped walnut salad, English mustard dressing. What, what the fuck did he just Mine say? Is. I didn't understand a word he just said. No, then an egg and rocket salad, so with parsnip chips. Sean, what is it? Pan fried parsnips and honey. With, uh, carrot. Who is this kid? Where did he come from? Wait a minute. Where did he come from? He was not here from the beginning. Where's this guy from? Okay, they're just throwing people in here. I like all three of them. New characters unintroduced. And you? They're all very good. And you know what? get my introduction. Did they introduce him? I don't think so. This is the honey roasted At last, these boys have had a chance to shine. Their enthusiasm can only improve the menu further. Whose dish is best? Which one would you prefer to order off the menu? The second one. Sir? The second one. Peter's. Yeah. Excellent. Five Congratulations. One. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank good. You much. Good, 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 good. Just literally off the top of my head, come up back and for them all to like it as well. It's, well, amazing, really. What flavour have we got here? Smoked haddock and leek potato. The stress of running a failing business has meant Nigel has taken himself far too seriously. He needs to relax and drum up some new business. How many bookings have we got so far? So Seriously? far, from today? Yes. Uh, I don't know, the girls, are, the girls have got the book, but they're, they're filling up fast. OK, they're not filling enough. Up fast. Yes. Go upstairs. Yeah. Put this on. Come down. <laughs> you are joking me. <laughs> Put this on. 
Have some fun with the kids. Here, Relax yeah. a little bit. I want to see you. Here's the part yeah, in every sure. episode where it's like, hey, Gordo and the, the owner are going to have a little fun together. Okay, off we go. We're going to yeah, wrestle go. in the while well, he's in hey, his costume. Get some more reservations, yes? <laughs> Nigel, move your ass, yeah? <laughs> I always thought Nigel was clucking mad. But there you go. I mean, a chicken wouldn't lie about good food, would he? So, when would you want to come in? You know, me and Gordon have been sort of at it like that. But you know, this would that would make me never go there. And I know he's very, very passionate. And you know, this is this is the proof of. Wait a minute. No, never mind. I like putting on costumes to make sure that people know about the granary. So, no, I just want to get on board with it. You know, get the job done properly. It seriously, honestly, does look like the penny has dropped. He has got up to speed with understanding the importance of his locals. Get them on your side, they're customers. Without them, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what's going to happen to the business. That's, that's it's the It's my last day. Tonight, we relaunched the last family day. granary. I'm going to finally nail Nigel's silly pretensions of grandeur. Just think, people used to pay two left. grand a year to come here. Now, yeah, they don't have to pay anything. <laughs> there you go. Wow. That's ridiculous. Is that my new logo, the big fat the, chicken? No. That, that he had a, fat a, a private <laughs> restaurant that you had to pay $2,000 <laughs> to get into? And that's what you've been all fucking week. Is that a thing I'm that like, really goes on? The kitchen on? problems Probably. are completely fixed. But the menu must change for tonight's launch. I've remodeled it with down-to-earth British recipes, like this new broad bean and ham hock starter. Fresh parsley and some fresh chives. Yeah. And then just lift it up there. So, and look, it looks like something again, straight out the garden. Wait, did any of their salads make it onto the? the sauce. Oh, did, did any of them win? The kitchen much easier. I don't Basically, think so. Some nut brown butter and look on. Over the haddock. Again, I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible, yeah? If these guys fuck up tonight, yeah, it's your fault. I'm here with you, and I'm yeah. here with them. It's your fault, mate. they use their own common sense as well, you know that? Yeah. Um, Pete's come a long way, but I have my doubts about his boss, Martin. Has he got his priorities right? Who's the it's other guy? Sometimes, because, yeah, sometimes, yeah, you know, you're obviously you're trying to be a head chef at all times, but at the same time, you're, you're trying same to be time. a part figure, stroke probation officer to him, and when you're trying to do both sometimes it's difficult wait what about Multitude probation of officer all times but at the same time you're, you're trying to be a father figure stroke probation officer to him and oh a father figure okay both sometimes oh it's and a probation officer i'm also okay. worried about nigel so i'm going to make sure he gets some help with the service okay, well, who is going to volunteer to work alongside nigel and lead all three dining rooms someone that's over everything yeah um, i'll do it good Have yeah 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 top yeah. choice so Okay, what's funny, Pete? Nothing. Go on, share the joke. Go on. That was it's rude, just, Nigel. You may be 18 years put everybody age, else down like that. You're not that, that. fucking old to get kicked out. Okay? Yeah. So fucking calm down, yeah? And show a little bit of fucking respect, yeah? And let your cooking do the talk. Yeah. Okay. Focus, enjoy it, and fucking... Bam! Didn't down. even do anything, Gordon's silent like, don't be a jackass. Do not go silent on me, because when you're silent, they're silent. Ready, Got to control it, ready, come out of the traps, and those orders I need in quick. Okay? Good. Let's go. Go, boys. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Serve it. It's a totally new menu. Martin must rise to the challenge and keep these lads in line. He seems overconfident to me. A couple of hours, it'll be all over, and we're sitting outside smoking a big fat cigar. Okay, two fish cakes and a beaver salad. Dad, to table four, please. Out front, Nigel is in control, with Laura keeping him on his toes. Okay, how did we have there? Yeah, well done. Sean, stand by to go out and carve the pork. Yeah, in and out. The dining rooms are much more relaxed, just right for eating with the whole family, with the salads a storming success. <laughs> Lovely food. And the kids have all enjoyed yeah. yourself. You enjoyed it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but in the kitchen, Martin's more like a lily-livered preparation officer than an assertive head chef. Come on, Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Yeah, if, it, well, if I shout all the time and scream, people don't listen to me, so... Yeah, I know it's hard to scream and shout and look like an idiot. I'm just trying to... Yeah, it's, just, it's all running it like we're on Blackpool Beach, trying along <laughs> with a fucking Cornetto. Oh, dear. 
Looks like Martin's already given up because he seems to have sunken and oh, he's not inspiring any of the cooks. And it's a great shame because in 15 minutes' time, the guy's going to be up to his neck in shit and he'll start complaining and whinging. Yeah, we can't, we can't serve that, Martin. No, I mean, they're they're uh, going to throw it back before you. Happy with yeah. it. No chance. Can in the garbage. Rubbish. Time. Kitchen's got uh, the gob sauce in a bit of a pickle there. Yeah, they, they are backed up there, yeah? Rubbish, oh, mate. Sorry, the rest of them are coming out just a couple of minutes. Martin isn't directing his chefs. I've got to step in. Go on, Paul, help him put them on the plate as well. Mark, you've got to sure. yeah, talk to him and join you. When I say you've gone flat as a pancake, man, I really mean it. Customers are backing up, we're in the shit, and... There's too many hot starters going. Oh, yeah. come on, don't, don't, don't give me that limited there excuse. A There's a fish cake and mushrooms on toast. Yeah, I know. The yeah, soup's in a container. Yeah, but when they're ordering eight of them, they've ordered... Hey, can you shut up a minute, please, yeah? yeah they're not ordering any... You're not helping. Sorry? Not Say that again? He just told Goro to fuck, fuck off. off. Hey, Punch him, Goro. Listen, let me just tell you something to your face. I know you think it's cocky and no, smart no, and I fucking just, hard. Yeah, no, it's not hey, good, it's not good, it's not good. Okay. I'm talking to Martin and you shout over me and you're saying, well, all you're here is shouting. You've got a lot to learn. This is what happens when the kitchen's not committed. A chef tells me they're too hot starving too much. One fish cake to reheat, mushrooms on toast. And a chippy little yeah, in the corner, yeah, shouting his mouth off. Yeah, yeah? You think someone would show a little bit more balls than that, wouldn't you? Just calm down and listen. Oh, yeah, but there's not people working easy. I know, but there's a huge argument that you can be working. You can listen and work, yes? Martin has lost his grip over the kitchen, but I was right to put my trust in Pete, who's shown he can deal with pressure. <coughs> Martin, well done, lamb. Meet you, lamb. Got eight pork in Yes, eight pork. Right, right there you go. go. That's table 18. Okay. Okay. Like it's stone cold. That's the third dish I've sent back out of three. My egg was completely rock hard. My Yorkshire pudding was black. Rock hard egg, mate. I was getting excited about tonight. This is heartbreaking. Martin couldn't cope with the numbers, and he didn't handle his kitchen. Okay, maybe that's why there's well another either. eight minutes. I'm speechless. Yeah, those are going too well. Oh. I still think you could have rose to the mark. I still could come out of the trap and bang. I'm, I'm seriously disappointed. Oh, disappointed. Well, I turned well. around and said, you know, you went quiet, you didn't delegate, you didn't drive it, you didn't force it. I mean, you sunk. From a chef to chef's point of view, let's have a little bit more balls right, together. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking gutted. It didn't work. I will take full responsibility for it. It didn't work for me tonight. I wasn't, you know, no disrespect to anyone. It just didn't work for me. It's this. The menu? It was, it was too, too much to Do you want to go back to the old shit? No, I don't. Well, okay, that's I'm, good. I'm news. really pleased with what you've brought in. I'm really pleased with it. Gordon, we're going to get this right and, uh, you know, we'll make it work. We will make it work. When we're you get back here, you're going to see us firing on all sorts of We're going to be in there first thing tomorrow morning. Service. We're going to have a sit down meeting. We're going to discuss the menu. We're going to get this place rolling. I swear to God, if it, if it bloody kills me. Okay. It's such a fucking shame and so frustrating. I honestly thought that both Nigel and Martin were going to turn that business around, but on the back of that performance, no chance. But I hope, for the sake of everybody employed by the granary, that I'm wrong. But I'm not holding my fucking breath, because that was embarrassing. It's sad, too, because, like, they're not even, like, arguing with him about it. They're just like, yeah, you're right, we suck. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't live up to your expectations. And he's just like, these guys fucking suck. And they're like, yeah, we know. We're sorry. And then even Nigel had to say, hey, hey, it's okay. We're going to get this right. Okay, Martin looks like he's about to cry. Gordo, come on. It's been six weeks now since I was last at the Granary. And when I left them, they had the perfect, locally sourced, real rustic British menu. But the problem was that Martin couldn't actually cope with the large numbers it was going to take to make the Granary work financially. So I hope the hell that guy's got his act together. Right. What in the fuck am I going to be blamed for now? Here we go. Has Nigel gone back to his old, arrogant ways? Can I come in? You yeah, can. the granary Excellent. is just... How yeah. Are you? Very good, thanks. Yeah. Sounds Great too to pinky you. up very for nice me. Nice to see you too. Are you well? Yeah, very good, thank you. Very good. Good. Wait, um, how long has it been? Arrogant ways. What in the fuck am I going to be together? To make the granary work financially, so... Perfect, locally sourced, real rustic British menu, but the problem was that Martin couldn't actually cope with the large numbers it was going to take to make the granary work financially, so I hope the hell that guy's got his act together. Right. What in the fuck am I going to be blamed for now? Here we go. Has Nigel gone back to his old, arrogant ways? 
Can I come in? You can. Excellent. How are you? Yeah, good, but thanks. it's it's yeah. about to be over. To very nice to see you too. Are you well? Yeah. Very yeah, good. this is one of those ones that it was like an extended like episode, Castles probably. Castles in the background. Busy. Kitchen busy. Yeah, How many booked for lunch? We've got about 45 today for lunch. 45 for lunch. Now that's good. In the middle of Hampshire. That's very yes. good for us. Midway. Very good. Money in the till. Yes or no? Yeah, it's just picking up. I mean, we're uh, we're already a bit busier than we were. Staff wise, you okay? Yo, it looks like she's about to spill that changes. coffee on that lady. Uh, Martin's leaving. There you go. Hi, buddy. Very well, thing. How are you? Uh, very well, thank yeah? you. Yeah. He's we leaving. Uh, Martin's leaving. There you go. Hi, buddy. Very well, thing. How are you? Uh, very well, thank yeah? you. Yeah. We look calm. You look yeah. relaxed. What up, uh, gaming yeah. slayer? The last time well, I saw yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got some staff now, so you know, that makes my life a lot easier. What's this? I heard you're leaving. Yeah, so I've uh, decided to uh, move on. Um, a lot of it's uh, down to you, too, really. You maybe realise that. Maybe I'll start up a government-funded workshop That's working fantastic. with guys between the ages of 14 and 16. Hey, Pete, how are you, buddy? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, Everyone wants to help get the youth on the straight and narrow cobblestone uh, alleyway. He's going to do a bit of travelling, uh -huh. and he's going to work with an old trainee of mine who's got a hotel in the Lake District now. Pete, focus in. Excellent, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, even more focused than he was on that at his moments, but yeah, he's uh, really knuckled down. Everything's relaxed, but I haven't forgotten the disastrous last service. Ooh. I'll see tonight if they've improved. Hope she's feeling all right, hope she's not experiencing too, okay. too bad of symptoms. Right, um, I'm hungry. Have you got a spare little table for the usual table, sir? Yeah, let's go to the usual table, yeah. Okay. Um, let's go back now. It'd be nice to actually sit and have lunch and not be blamed for anything this time. Yeah. Uh, Look at that. Local lamb. I'm nervous about my lunch. These guys are really busy today, but the menu's promising. It all fits in now, doesn't it? Great news. Huh? Music to my ears. Yeah? Thank you. Can I just say, you're a one stop and fuck up. Cool, dear, dear. It takes a while to completely change your thinking, doesn't it? But... Yeah. Lovely. That looks nice. I've ordered he a wasn't new dish. That stubborn. Local mullet broth. That's lovely, that. It's like a little minestrone. Ew. Um, listen, this is delicious. Mullet broth? It does not sound appetizing. Listen, this is a million miles better, I'm telling you. Lovely. And without Martin, you know, it's all down to you now. You know, it's all yeah. on your shoulders. You know, I'm happy with it. I've, uh, I've still got a great team here. Um, the million dollar question. Even in front of 25 ladies having lunch, would you accept that you were wrong? Yes. Can I say it quietly? You can say it. As loud or as quiet as you wish. I was wrong. I Go feel on. like he was pretty open about being wrong. I, d I just don't feel like... I feel like Gordo's trying to play it up like they had a way bigger argument. Because we've seen some very arrogant people on this show. This guy was not that arrogant. There was like one time where he got upset. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> wow, look at that. It was more like he was about to cry. And Nigel's attitude has changed. So that looks disgusting. That was Beef Wellington right there. That looked gross, bro. Ew! Look at, that. So look at that white piece of meat, man. Look at that white piece of meat, dude. Ugh. And Nigel's attitude Ugh. has changed. So, yeah, it's great news bro. all around. He's a little bit more humble now. And well, it looks he's like he's got rid of all those little dreams on the private bar and all that crap. It's back to humble cooking in a humble building. And the red mullet? Whose idea was that? That's my, well, that's my idea, but Pete cooked your red mullet for your lunch. Liked it. it was delicious. There was one. You try it. I'm not. A, I don't know. That looked gross to me. Yeah. I like the meat, but that small. did not look like a good, ah, good piece of meat. <laughs> I wanted more. <laughs> happy, really. Happy because he's happy for a change. The real test is to come. Can Martin and the team deal with a busy night? I'm asking customers to write comment cards to see if the granary has restored its battered reputation. Locals. Um, would you be so kind to fill out a customer comment card? Would you be so kind to fill out a customer comment card? Yeah. And just tell us exactly what you think. Service, please. And more importantly for me and the restaurant, please be honest. And your criticisms are crucial. So we five, delivering a well done lamb, please. And then just give us a line on the back and tell me exactly what you think. Nervous about the comment cards? No, no, no. No? Good, I like that level of confidence. Lamb, place, and faggots. What did he just say? You're loving the food. Hopefully, if we can keep the act together on service as well, we'll be fine. <laughs> Seems very well organised in there. Nice and calmly run. Boys are working really well. But now, for me, the most important part is the customer comment cards. That's why I can't wait to read. <laughs> just in half. Right, right, right. Thank you. Good, bad. Shall I be nervous? Scared. Scared. First uh -oh. customer comment card.
Really nice cooked food. Great to see local produce. Service, friendly, relaxed, wonderful atmosphere. Oh, smile then, hey. bloody hell. Hey. The second one. Bloody hell. Very tasty, very well cooked, yeah, always a pleasure. Atmosphere, ambiance, cosy and warm. I'd rather like the young chef, can I have him cook me a steak? What? Contact number on <laughs> I wrote it, you fucking Oh, oh okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Gordo. Good news, locals love it. Great feedback from the comment cards, and what more could you ask for? Good, honest, local produce cooked simply. That's it. The granary is graced by the locals, finally. Service, lovely, warm, friendly service. I'm very happy. Overall, atmosphere, cozy, I'm coming back. Really? Much better than Gordon's food. Um, Did you really say that? Yeah! yeah. 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 <laughs> I wrote it. No, you didn't. I know it. Yeah. yeah, he didn't write that one. Nice one. Nice soup, sexy bread, tender pork. Good. Atmosphere. Sexy warm, bread. And welcoming. Fantastic. That is enough. That yeah. person is a little too horny going to a restaurant. Person a little too horny. Um, okay, that was that was an interesting episode. Uh, we've watched some episodes that were way better than that. The literal reason I wanted to watch this is because it said cheesy shark, and that just sounded intriguing to me. Um, I kind of. Oh, oh, we got to do what we always do. We got to check. We got to check what happened to it. Kitchen nightmares. Granary. Ah oh, man, unfortunate they closed. Like 99.9% .9 of the ones we've we've looked up. Um, all right, let's see where is it the after part? What happened next? Gordo revisits six weeks. Okay, so it was six weeks later, and the restaurant is busy with 45 for lunch. Okay, we saw that. Um, uh, Martin is leaving as he is going to start a government-funded cookery workshop for teenagers, which is totally dope. Um, what up, Doughboy? And yeah, it'd be like that sometimes, Bright. It'd be like that. Um, the young chef Shav is working with one of Martin's. Okay, we saw that. Gordo sits down for lunch. Okay, we saw that. Um, the customers love the food and service, and all wanted to return to the restaurant. Nigel told the local press that he wasn't happy with being nicknamed a fat idiot. But he is grateful for Gordon's help in turning the restaurant around. That was pretty fucked up when Gordon called him that. But we've heard over, a, like, Gordo does a lot of body shaming. Like, he, it's like his first thing. Like, the dude has, like, a tiny belly. It's like a normal looking dude. And he, like, calls him fat. And it's like, Gordo, like, are you projecting right now? Are you a little insecure or something? Like, no need to, like, body shame anyone, homie. Like, what the fuck? In January 2008, the granary was a target of an arson attack just two weeks after the show aired and was seriously damaged in the fire. The authorities believed it was related to another arson attempt that was made two weeks earlier. The granary closed and the building was put up for sale by auction in October 2008. The man responsible for the arson attack was jailed in September 2018 after spending 10 years on the run in Spain. What? Well, you know, as we've like we've seen in a lot of these episodes, that around the time the show aired was right when in America the recession happened, 2008. A lot of people lost their businesses, and it wasn't just because they were failing businesses; it was just because of the recession. And so we saw a lot of even the restaurants that started thriving after Gordo left. Most of them closed because of uh, because of the recession, probably. It's probably just getting just like getting a shot of his butt in every episode. Yep, and a lot of episodes he's in the back. He's like putting his shirt on, and you see like full front chest. I think you, I think you're right. You're right. Um. Okay. You know what? I want to try TikTok again. I know we tried that a little bit ago. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. This is the I'm gonna, worst I'm gonna be deleting this VOD anyway. So let's just see let's just see what we get. Ever experienced delivering downtown? Okay, How are you doing? delivering food downtown. I'm doing all right. I'm here for a double. I'm here for Sarah R and Madeline A. Madeline's pie is ready. I think we're just waiting for one of the things. 
order. This completes your order. All right, I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. What are the chances this is ready? You will find out, I guess. I'm here for Stephanie for Grubhub. Huh? What's what's up? Oh, oh shit! Oh no! I'm sorry. An asshole knocked my bike over. Wait, walking or on bike? Wow! Walking? Damn, that's rough. Did you see someone knock my bike over? <laughs> she said that someone walked by and shoved my bike over. And I had I had fucking pizza in there. Stephanie? At least it's pizza. Thank you. Fuck, imagine it's just like a bunch of soup like cups and stuff like that. that out of the blue for no reason. I guess I'm just going to deliver some pizza shitty pizza. I called the pizza customers and told them what happened. Both customers were very understanding. I also told them how to get refunds from DoorDash for the issue. Nice. What a... What, oh, man. What a good guy. Still got... Hopefully, they still tipped him. I put all my tips in before, like, when I... Huh? When hey, I this is Jay from DoorDash it. again, sir. Um, I have arrived. Okay. Sounds good. I'll be there shortly. Okay. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, my fucking God. You're fucking me. Oh no. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna fucking scream. I'm gonna fucking scream. Oh no. Hello. Give me one moment and I'll just hand it right off to you, okay? Hi, is this Stephanie? Yeah. DoorDash doesn't do that, but yeah, I I try to, but I just I don't always have cash on me. Of your I rarely have cash on me. Sour creams are now on the pavement. <laughs> so, but I've actually asked a lot of places, um, there like are if they get the full open. tips from those, yeah. and I always try to keep note. Okay. Um, but I'm pretty sure DoorDash no, doesn't do only that. only like, I'm looking at a Pretty sure they Pico, get all of the tip. A salsa and two sour creams. I'm gonna call, get off the phone with you, call Grubhub. I'm gonna deliver the rest to you. The only thing that I'd like to ask Okay, of I'm kinda is, done. I, I'm kinda done. He's making it a little too dramatic. Okay, Post Malone. Don't care. Which isn't working on projects on the homestead. He really okay, here's Nate, the homestead. If he gets an opportunity to do so, he does. Is there actually going to be charcuterie boards? Just about all the woodworking that happens around here is on wood that actually came from I the love property. this kind of stuff. Patty's Just sitting really around the homestead making and art and garden. charcuterie that boards, really dude. Cool now. And what the hell? That's so cool. And then she did a wood of the garden, the outdoor kitchen, the hot tub, and the woods. Very nice. When Rich isn't working on... This guy, he, he streams on Twitch. And he doesn't really ever anymore, but he plays Valheim. And I've always said it, man. These and caps, these and caps, man. Valheim, it's they just live in Valheim Simulator. Okay. Guitar shredding like that's never been like that big of a deal to me. It's cool. Oh my God! He put it in this fucking. Yo! Yo! Okay. What's up, guys? So I got sent this Ghost Legend pre-workout to try. Don't care. Okay. No. What, dude? This is bad. What's about this today, man? There's sea salt and black pepper. I'm getting shit that I've never awesome. seen before. It, it, it's totally different than my my phone. You like them? There's no pepper on them. Oh, uh, I guess you could always add more if you want. Yeah, yeah black pepper. Is that good? No, no more. Okay. Perfect. Oh, really? How is it? Well, yeah, like I said, I rarely have cash on me, same, but I try. Black pepper. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get some of these bugs down in here. Bugs. Whoa. You can't even see where that went. Crazy. 
Okay. Right. Oh god, as this guy. As many times as I've been asked to say. Oh god, not this guy coming to steal girl. your girl. It doesn't make any sense. It's wood chopping. So, I'm sorry, but I hope you enjoy the rest of my videos. As many times as I've been asked to say, oh, good girl. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Testing the limits on I didn't hear what he score. said the first oh. time. <laughs> Dude, some of the stitches I've seen with that tick, those TikToks of him breaking wood. Man, you need. Oh, they're good. Journey with me to the Griffith Observatory. I don't think he has any of them on his page, but actually, here, just. Girls will just stitch themselves watching this guy. And every time he cracks the wood, they're just like, oh. <laughs> oh, wait, what? What the hell is this? Okay. So I know we're all impatient and we want, most of the time, we want me to just get to the fucking point and split <laughs> it right down the middle. That actually doesn't make sense for a lot of larger pieces. In fact, you're better off working your way around the edges, really finessing it and really taking your time True. to break it down and weaken it. True. So that, that last swing is on a much smaller log. So I'm going to do exactly that. Yep, do that. Get it. Oh, man, that did something for me right there. Oh, man. Blow my back out like Wright's mom. Damn, this thing's wet. <laughs> Hell yeah, it is. It's dripping. Come on, stay put. I'm gonna tell you something. Cutting wood like this is That's so okay. hard. I've I like I've cut like logs that were like the size of the one on the ground next to him. It's fucking hard, and like the next day, at least it was my first time ever doing it. It was like the most intense workout I'd ever done. My whole entire body was sore. My feet, like my toes were sore. It was crazy. It's fun though. It's really oh, fun. Here we go. Oh. I just want to go back up to, to my Mormon family's cabin. Go in the woods. Damn, that felt good. <laughs> I just love it, dude. It's it so overly I sexualized, and it's the best. Okay, this guy's usually funny, but I'm good on the Bruno Mars TikTok. Ooh, BB no money. Selena Gomez, I'm flattered, but it is not happening, baby. I need me a mill. Mill. How to get girls? Okay. My assistant literally looks like he delivers pizzas for a living. Hey man, just get, just say something about pizzas. Extra cheese. Eh? Don't care. Fuck America! I'm fucking renouncing my citizenship. I'm fucking coming here. I just had too much. Okay, Green Day, cool. So, no, Danky, Danky with the, the truth and then, oh, health. the extra this truth on top of it. Thing. A lot of what I'm going to tell you might sound very conspiratorial. We just sold out all the floor seats. Take me on a trip, I'd like to go someday. Yo, dude, what is Would going on Would you turn down right his now? recommendation? Hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, I'm trying to cost some lick. Anything just like straight fire you could wreck? What's the sun? It's all 99. Really damn good vibes. Okay, don't no. care. No, no, it's definitely breathing. Look. Yeah, I see it. Don't get near it. It'll fucking go crazy on you. That raccoon will fuck you up. Might gotta have rabies. It's breathing. I know. Oh my gosh. You let the moonshine out, <laughs> and I think it's just drunk and passed out. <laughs> Them rakings, baby. Watch out. Oh them rakings. All right. We got the you know, lunchbox today. She yeah, Ravy, yeah, me parfait. too. Just be talking about daily lunch. Okay, dude, I'm telling you, like, I I want to see like actual people 
that I follow and care oh, about, and I'm not. It's seven in the morning. Ooh. It's seven in the morning. It's seven in the morning. Yeah. One time when I was a kid, uh, we had a trampoline in the backyard, and it got so windy one day that I went out to the backyard and the trampoline wasn't there anymore. And uh, it was in the neighbor's yard. It was kind of half. It was more. It was more in there. Like ninety nine point nine percent of it was in their yard, but like the 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 pole that like the that goes on the ground was stuck on our wall, but the rest of the, the trampoline was in their yard. And uh, we had to get that back. And it actually like caused some damage in their backyard a little bit. Like they had like a bunch of like pots and pottery and this like fountain and stuff. Rip. Rip that. Wow, okay. Day one. Is it? I've never seen Moonshine. Oh God, okay. I don't know if we can watch this. Can I've never seen Moonshine. Question? I've, I've always thought ben? it was like clear. Are you from Bend, Oregon? Yeah. Here? You from here? So we do these parties around Oregon, me and my homie Brett, and we're like, it's big as fuck. And then we're trying to like spread the word out here. We have like a big ass uh, venue and we're trying to fill it up, bro. You trying to, you trying to slide? Yo. Can I ask oh, you the question? raccoon. Are you from Bend? What? Are you from Bend, Oregon? Yeah. Here? You from here? Okay, so no, what is, do I don't know what the fuck that was it about. They're watching you. Don't let them in. Huh? Blowing along the breeze. Ooh, Tom oh, Green? Wait. Her new rowboat. I didn't know Tom uh, Green was on TikTok. Oh shit, rowboat. followed I instantly. I bought it for you, Charlie. Uh, because the canoe was a little too tippy because Charlie likes to go to the edge of the boat and uh, stare off at the uh, largemouth bass below. So I have to constantly still eat. Slightly milky boat. like that? Okay. That to compensate for wherever she happens to be. See, like, that what was on the table looked like some day. Baileys to me, which is, like, this, and, like, cream, uh, to check like, alcohol. Say, Hello, everybody. Uh, this is the rowboat. Tom Green's just been living his life out in this cabin. It's been great. That tequila. Let's go. Okay, th I thought it was gonna go somewhere other than that. Who aren't as lucky, who are in states where they literally cannot access an abortion, and like the lengths that you're able like willing to go to like yeah. since the beginning of time women have taken their own lives or risked their own lives mm -hmm. to end a pregnancy because they know it's not the right time for their baby yep and that's like such a maternal instinct and then the fact that society shits on that and it's like oh yeah mothers don't know shit you know yeah. like you don't know if mothers know if they are their baby's ready to come to the world because the baby inherits their mother's life they inherit their mother's social rank and so if the mom is not no she's not ready to have a kid or she's not going to be able to be a support system to give the kid a successful life yeah. or she knows that the environment she's in right now is not good for her child mm -hmm. we have to trust that like yeah. the reason society has even come to this point it does yeah it does taste like garbage okay raised children yeah. like and I've, yeah i've never had i've never drank too much liquor successful hey what's your baby mama at the crib and blow back out shorty filipino and she got me man What's up, young fucking gravy? Big fat fucking gravy fat. <laughs> Sick fucking dance moves, dude. Yeah. Had to put on my shades because your future's so fucking bright. Uh. Hey, what's okay. your name, Drew Barrymore. It's so hopeful. It's like <laughs> we're just something to be so covered up and dark. You can pry it open and create light. Drew, what's about to happen? So the people who own this apartment before me, um, covered up a window with drywall. I don't know why. And I was like, I know there's a Because it was a trap house, a Drew. And guess what? It was a, it was a trap house, that's why. Oh my god, that's stunning! So I'm the backwards that's man, nice, thank you. Be careful. Oh 
wolf in the wind. Oh my god. What? Are you kidding me? Dude, actors, man. Actors, bro. She opened a window. She's crying. I created light. Where there was once darkness. I created light. Shakespeare. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> a window! A window! You never watched the movie? Wait. Oh, is she, oh, is she make? Is she doing a bit from a movie right now? Is she not being serious? I thought she was literally crying over a window. Is it? Is there a movie that she's? Okay. If that's the case, then whatever. I thought she was literally crying about a window. It's so hopeful. It's like, <laughs> we're just something to be so caught. I'd... ...covered up and dark. You can pry it open and create light. Drew, what's about to happen? So the people who own the... They'll star me out. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought you were talking about that clip, Danky. Uh, I... Th maybe I've seen that? That doesn't ring a bell, the backwards man part. Dude, do you think that's hot? Dude, that's fucking. Drew and Tom, yeah, I remember here. I remember that. I remember that. Star me out. Oh wow. Dude, do you think that's hot? Oh yeah. This is the world's deepest pool. The world's Wait deepest for it. Pool? Uh, yeah, okay, this yeah, I've, I've heard of Freddy Got Fingered. I never saw it. Okay. Can you explain why you got kicked out if you're comfortable with it? No. Nope. If you've ever had a hamster, comment how it died. I nope. Nope. Something strange has been happening at my house. I wake up in the morning and my refrigerator door is always open. Uh oh, ghost. At nighttime, I'm sure it's closed and I live by myself. So I decide to get a security camera to get to the like, bottom. Like, why am I not getting I like two turns? This is so weird. This is so different than my normal for you page. I saw and I'm signed into my account. I'm just so. My dog Brody is waking up in the middle of the night and getting snacks. Apparently, he taught himself how to open the fridge. Once you're done getting your snack, you close the fridge. What? Something strange has been happening at my house. I wake up in the morning and my refrigerator door is always open. At nighttime, I'm sure it's closed and I live by myself. So I decide to get a security camera to get to the bottom of this. The oh, fuck? That looks so crazy, the dog. That night. What the hell, dude? The There's no way this is real. Waking up in the middle of the what night is going on with that dog right there? Snacks. Apparently, he taught himself how to open dude, the fridge. Dude, that's a costume. There's that's fake. That's how that was that was that, that was him in a costume. Wait a minute, imagine going to a spa and this being one of the rooms? Wait what? That's interesting. Doing this cabinet crown. Home renovator meets and I think there's a disembodied squatter. What? No. Hold on. Let me watch this on my own. Doing this cabinet crown. And I think there's a squatter in this house. I think it's in here. Hello? Oh no, this is just one of those parent okay, those fake oh paranormal shits going on. Okay. Fake oh, Actually let me re let's refresh. I'm gonna go to my following again. Roll it up size, please. Roll it up up size, please. Jealous. Jealous. Ooh, classic. I love it, but we have to solve two problems. The first one, hitting the hi-hat and the snare drum at the same time, and also replacing all the toms with bass drums. Let's do it!
That was a cool drum fill. But, I mean, playing one hand is not that crazy. It's this double bacon quarter pounder with cheese. This week, Evan George McDonald's from McDonald's, here. once again, the guy, this guy has been through a lot in the past week. Let me tell you, I, th I told some of you guys a little bit about him, how uh, he's like, he works for McDonald's. Sometimes it seems like McDonald's is holding him hostage, forcing him to make commercials for them. Um, he's supposed to be on a weight loss journey that he constantly tells his, his people about, which is none of my business, but he constantly tells all of his followers about it. He had health problems that he like crowd uh, sourced for crowdfunded with like problems with his leg and his the people in the comments are always like if you don't get on the weight loss you're you're gonna have stuff happen to your leg again and they always get on him and they, then he crowdfunded for a car that he never bought and so the people have really been asking to see his car that he supposedly bought, that he keeps telling him that he bought, that he won't show. And he keeps saying that he doesn't want to show because he's worried about his safety. And he has had like some weird things happen to him with people trying to be weird, showing up, doxing him and stuff like that. But I, which is understandable that he doesn't want to show the car if that's the reason. But then one day after work, he went over to the, like the grocery store next to McDonald's or something to pick up some sodas. And he was talking about the car, how he didn't have it. And the lady that was ringing him up was filming him and posted it on TikTok. He was like, I don't have a car. I didn't buy a car. <laughs> America raised their price of sodas from a dollar to a dollar for a small, a dollar twenty nine for a medium, and a dollar forty nine for a large. If you download the McDonald's app, you can get the large soda for a dollar up to four times a day. Thanks for listening, everyone. There was literally a gun held to his head while he said all that. Great day. All I have for lunch today is this double bacon quarter pounder with cheese. This week, every McDonald's in America raised their price of sodas from a dollar to a dollar for a small, a dollar twenty nine for a medium, and a dollar forty nine for a large. If you download the McDonald's app, you can get the large soda for a dollar. Sorry, oh my bad. Sorry, I just had something happen. So I'm uh, driving Uber. Uh -huh. My passenger's getting arrested. Turn that off, okay? No, I'll keep recording, thank you. Yeah. It's my right. Don't record me, you got me? I, I will look. You're a police officer on yeah, duty. Yeah, literally, I, I can, can record, record you. you if I fucking want, bro. Don't record me. And if you me. come to this side of the vehicle, Careful, I can keep recording law. you. Turn it off. I can keep turn recording it off. you. Turn it off from taking jail. For it. recording you, yes. I'm sitting in my car I'm holding law, my phone. Me. Yes, he is. What, what is the law? What are, you, you're, what are you arresting me for? I'm sitting here in my car. I'm just recording in case anything happens. I'm surrounded by five police officers. You're being a jerk. I'm scared right now. I'm not being a jerk. Yeah. I want to. I'm recording it in case anything happens. Well, you better hope we don't find something in your car, okay? They're not searching my car because well, search your car. you're not searching my car. Sorry, your kid. Roll canine this way, please. Bring the canines. I don't care, man. Okay. Like, okay. I know my rights. Dude, to have an interaction with a cop like this, this calm, is a privilege. I hope so. I know. I know what the law is. I know the law. I'm an attorney, so I would hope I know the law. Yes, they're bringing the canines. Damn, he's an attorney. Sir, can you tell me what this new law is that I'm not allowed to record? I'm sorry? He, he said that there's a law I'm not allowed to record the police. I just wanted to know what that new law is. Well, you said you were an attorney, correct? I am. I've never heard of this law that you're not allowed to record the police anymore. It must be brand new. Okay, well, they just recently passed it. So. Re like, super recently? Seems like a strange law. That's, he's lying, bro. I, <laughs> man, I, I have nothing in my car. There's no drugs, there's no I, alcohol. I, I didn't say you did. Uh, well, the other officer told me he's taking me to jail, so. Did I say that? No, your friend said that. Okay, my friend? I, you, mean, I assume, you mean the sergeant? The sergeant, your friend, somebody. <laughs> he's not my friend, he's my boss. I hate him. You don't mind me asking where'd you pick him up from? 404 Thrasher, so much drove him over to here. Line. He told me he's picking up a paycheck and I'm driving him back. Yeah. He said he works as a dog groomer and that's his manager that pays him every week that he's going to pick it up from. Next thing I know, I'm surrounded by police. Yes. How long have you been an Uber driver? Mr. St. Pierre. A year and a half? Two years okay. maybe? That's, that is, have you been stopped a lot? Bro, they're harassing an Uber driver. Probably why you, you've been stopped because you're an Uber driver, right? Because there's a lot of history on the vehicle. On this vehicle, there's history? Yeah. Not that I know of. Okay. All right. Well, here's your license. We're going to wait for uh, 
K9 because I don't know if he might have dumped something under the seat and you don't want us to look. So we're just going to have K9 come out and smell. And if they do an indication, if not, then you'll be on your way, okay? Sir? Okay. So I'm driving what Uber. I will be using a drill. And the only reason I feel comfortable using a drill is because of Mercury Stardust. And look, I know what I'm doing. There's like a little tape thing so I don't go too far. I'm a genius. Oh, wait, it's dead? I'm gonna stain it on my carpet. Isn't that a good idea? Screaming good idea to me right now. Oh, okay, well that looks terrible. Okay, so this should work, right? Damn. Go on, do you wanna hold the glass? Perfect. Okay, don't yes, care. if you were trying to make a girl, no. Yes, if you were trying to make a girl. Oh, yeah, yeah, I read the comment. Yep, that's truth. That's truth. Oh, that's a tornado. Hey, that's my killer, dude. What's up? I said that night, you know? Why not? Okay, next. All right, let's go to the, the actual following page. Yes, if you were trying to make a girl, Niagara Falls in the bedroom, you want to put one hand. Dude, Jesus, hold on. You want to put one hand like right here. So you press. Very true. I did that non once when I first heard about it a long time ago. Non -stick and hands she was like, wow, you know, you know how to your do testosterone. That. <laughs> Compounds found in nonstick, like Teflon or PFAS, polyfluoroalkylated substances, have been shown Write it down, right? Exactly, to right. diminish, to decrease the formation of testosterone and the activity of testosterone at the testosterone receptor. These yeah, it does. PFASs, which are prevalent in the environment, yeah. are found in nonstick hands this guy, just so plastic you know. <laughs> coated paper, like your coffee cup from Starbucks or your takeout container, are decreasing your testosterone. These are harming you. My testosterone, my pee -pee. You don't want PFASs, avoid these. I only use stainless steel or cast iron to cook on. Your hormones, your testicles, your testosterone. My testicles? Non-stick pans are nuking your testosterone. Oh my god. Come. Pussy little man stir frying it. <laughs> that pussy in Wait, Bright, to to do the, the hand on the lower abdomen stomach trick? No. If your nails are protruding in any way, you're doing it wrong. And sink bye 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 in it. The pussy well red, catch her in the rise in it. Oh! The olive oil pussy pop eyes in it. I love that pussy, no despise in it. That pussy on a timer, you got five minutes. Okay, I don't know, that's all I got. Pussy little man, sir, fry it. Whoa. It doesn't really matter. Who was that? Oh, it's Mercy. We can't look at Mercy TikToks. It doesn't really matter. Okay, we'll skip Selena one I Gomez look inside TikToks tree cast or goes down. So, Yeah, Sophia Gomez This TikToks. is a neat one I want to look inside as TreeCast goes down the hill. This is no, something else is inside, right, today. while you're because, putting uh, pressure there with your hand. So we're trying to take advantage of this. Welcome to the Dark Frontier. Oh. Okay. <sighs> You can just, if yeah, the other thing that is inside the hoo ha <laughs> is your hand, then yes, you want to make sure that those are cut. I need. No, we're not watching that, that one again. Do you, you guys get any shoes? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Okay, what's your favorite shoes that you got? Uh, probably the off white lot dunked. Uh -huh. What do you guys think of my uh, avias? I'm about to say Trump. those might be the worst shoes out right now. Donald Trump, 2024. Uh, hey, he got hey. the Wave Runner Dad 3000s hey, on right here. This is fresh, bro. Okay. Up, Remember my movie, Freddy Got Fingered? Oh, there it is. Hi, I'm Tom Green, and this is... Daddy, would you like some sausage? Daddy, would you yeah, like I've heard that sausages? so many times, girl, Daddy, like so like many times. Sausage? Daddy, would you like some sausages? Sausages, 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 sausages. I think I've seen parts sausages. of the movie. That's my song. I, I went to make a midnight cup of coffee when I discovered this guy hanging out on the Ooh. machine. This is a young Yo, one. I had some weed growing in my backyard. These two plants. This is like a, back in the day when I was growing with my brother. We had, he had a place and we had a lot of plants. And I was tending to them every day. I had some seeds that I planted in my backyard. Just as like I just like threw them back there. And they grew into some massive fucking plants. And I had homies like this. Literally. Like I, I made friends with them. Every day I would go out and like take care of the plant. Do what I needed to do. Trim it. Water. Whatever I needed to do. And him and I would just like hang out. There would be times I'd have to like really look. Because you, you defan. You, fan, you cut off all the fan leaves. It's a, it's a new technique that really helps promote bigger bud growth and things like that. Um, 
but uh i would be sitting there cutting them and i'd have to like be careful because like he would blend in with the the trees so well brang manis they're one of my favorite bugs because they get rid of other bugs that yep. i don't like and they're also kind of fun to play with they are take a little piece of grass or something and get close to them and he goes wild on it kind of struck me how unique my life is after making this video who else is making espresso with a mantis hey dude that's my coffee what you doing? But yeah, they're great predators. They'll I went to make a midnight cup of coffee. Hey, when I... If anyone is interested in... Okay, we saw that. We, we can't watch Charlie Classic TikToks. How most music producers Can I watch this Chloe video? In fact, almost all of them throughout history. Only 2% of producers in the music industry are female. True. That's why you never see this. Or this. She's really Growing great up, at producing people. We've only seen this for girls, not that. So I think it's important to talk about what I do. I'm Chloe Chides, and I'm a music producer. Music producers are cool. I'm a girl, and I think being a music producer is cool. So I'm showing you that, hey, we rock. Keep it up. Okay, we're not watching that. Make pastrami. Okay, that looked really good. I, pastrami sandwiches are one of my favorite. So you can't move. Very we literally far. just saw this the other day what? on YouTube. Yes. Liver King, let's go. Okay, uh, next. We're at the wedding con. We're gonna see what's going on. Men's wedding warehouse? con. Where's Men's Warehouse? Oh, fantastic. It's the ring bearer here. He's in our uh, charcoal tuxedo. Looks like he got decapitated. Uh, you know, it happens. How did he lose his uh, head? Cartel situation, or do you think it was like Middle East? I'd say Middle East. Uh, we're at the wedding okay. con. Okay. The day in my outhouse <laughs> Good question, is just Andrew. like one you would use in a regular bathroom. Normally, you use a T and connect it to your existing indoor plumbing, but in my situation, of course, I have a garden sprayer. The sprayer hose. Yes, yeah, he's got a homestead with an size, outhouse so that has a, a fucking bidet. The bidet in my outhouse is just like one you would use. I need every bathroom. I want to clean it off. It looks like you got a little, little bunch of leftover like shit all over it. Regular bathroom. I need every bad bitch in the building to shake their ass. Okay, no, we can't watch that. Vicious little bitch. Say it again, it sounded good. You vicious little bitch. Cyber Stephanie, man. Say it again, it sounded good. You wanna go to a strip club? Alright, this this is the club I wanna go to. What are your names? I'm Justin. I'm Jacqueline. What are your ages? I'm 24. I'm also 24. There was some hesitation there. Yeah, I was just thinking for a second. I feel like after 21, you did, it's hard to keep track. Of. Where are you guys from? I'm from North Carolina. Not really. Carolina. First question, what is the most expensive thing you own? It's a case of trading cards, Magic the Gathering. It's about $1,000 and $100. I think my computer, maybe. How much is your computer? Just like $1,200, okay. maybe. Okay. Second question is, what are your highest levels of education? I just got a bachelor's. What'd you study? Uh, psychology. You okay. I went to Duke. Okay. I studied advertising and I went to Towson University. Third question is, are you happy right now? I'm pretty happy right now. I'm happy. From uh, one to 10 being the happiest, like where are you on that scale? It's a good seven and a half right now. Yeah, seven. What would it take for you guys to be tens right now? Maybe if I saw a famous person. I don't know, food maybe? I feel like you make <gasps> 100K. That's wrong. That is wrong. <laughs> oh no, okay. So We're still 15 in line. I totally yeah. forgot about Day Z. Okay. Higher or lower? Uh, higher. 120k. Okay, next. Are you looking for a place that does great burgers and bomb ass wet? I love this guy. He's my like new secret weapon for going out to eat in Vegas. Burritos? Come on. I've Welcome learned about so many new spots that I never knew about from this guy. His best secrets, Fat Boy Burgers.
They got burgers, wings, bomb ass sandwiches. Oh, and they got Mexican food. I like that Check menu. Out the wet burrito. Fire ass burger. Are you looking for a place that does great burgers and bomb ass wet burritos? Come on. There's a place in New Mexico called the Frontier, and that you get the same thing. It's a huge fucking building. And you go there and you can get burgers, like any kind of like Western American burger food, and also they have a whole menu of Mexican food. It's a crazy place. Anything crazy or funny happened so far? Some guy, he tried stealing some shoes with like five bands worth. He tried jumping off the rail and broke his leg. Oh, yeah, like okay, Marshall. janky. Anything crazy or funny happened? Are you, what are your names? Are you, anything crazy? Okay, everybody, I've caught myself a snake. Uh, is it a black rat snake? I don't know. Leave a message in the comments if you know what kind of snake it is. But, um, could be a black rat snake. What do you think? Is it? A black rat snake here. And uh, it was just in the wood pile. And uh, very good. Not poisonous. Venomous, actually. Not venomous is the way it's actually referred. Uh, kind of. Tom Green is so like great, man. This is the, the famous last words. It doesn't seem like it's going to bite. Bah! Okay, 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 okay. okay, 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 okay. There you go. You go have fun. You go do your thing. Okay, so it's a gray rat snake, we've decided, right? Yeah. Okay, everybody. Okay, I'm scared she's going to pull her dress up again. We can't watch that. You're wearing a dress? I don't know about you, but I love any type of noodles, especially these garlic noodles from Blue Kitchen. I think I'm going to unfollow so this place. They don't so usually have the... I don't know. This, this, white this place, this is actually looks and really you can good. Get them with different this is the first like thing I've seen from chicken, this TikTok that, that actually right shows here. good stuff. And you can even get fancy with some seafood, like some shrimp, lobster, or snow crab. But these are Ooh. definitely a must try, and you have to be ready to take a nap after you eat one of these plates. That actually looks good. I don't know about you. What each baker does on day to... Okay, back up, please. Back up. Tom, watch out for the snapping turtle, bro. That shit will bite. Don't bite me. We got a tractor coming through here, all right? Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just back up. I don't want to hit you with the tractor. That's all. Just back up. Oh my god, dude. That is it's so terrifying. Dude, that dude will bite to, your hand off. You don't want the tractor to hit you. You gotta grab it by the tail. Grab it, or that. Yeah, that works. There you're flying in there. See, we're we're helping you. Aww. Down there. Was it protecting his little there eggies? Okay, back up, please. Back up. Hey, good morning, everybody. How is everybody? Hope everybody on TikTok this morning's doing great. I got thinking I was gonna share something with you from a long time ago. It really hits home with me today. Okay, I don't want to hear the story. Song. Delilah. Who's that by? Tom Jones. Care to sing a little bit of it? She said she loved me. Forgive me, Delilah. I can't seem to love anymore. He stabbed me with a knife. It's one of the greatest songs we do. Have a great day. My, my, my What's your I've never heard song? that song. Delilah. Who's that by? It's a stab with a you knife part? A I, what? It? It's crazy out here. Wait, ask someone, ask someone, ask Excuse me. Can I ask what song you're listening to? I'm not even listening. <laughs> oh, no song. I'm not a public guy. Yeah, the public is scary. The New Yorkers are, are all scary. Well, ask these people. Excuse me? What are you listening to? <laughs> That's my second try. The second person said, Yorkers what? aren't scary. I get, it depends on the neighborhood you go to, but man, I remember watching Andy Milanakis live streams and. Well, maybe it's because he was streaming, but everybody's always just like, hey, like saying hi to everybody down the street. How you doing today, bud? Hey, how's it fucking going, dude? You fucking. You gonna go get the gobble ghoul right now? It's, it's a great time. Go after yourself. It's crazy out here. Wait, ask someone, ask someone, ask Excuse me. Can I really? Ask is that to? is that on Disney Plus? <laughs> oh no, song. I'm not a public. Hi, I'm Tom Green, and I'm in the woods. Oh, well, let's see, see some, some sexy wood chopping from Tom logs Green. Logs on the ground here. Look at these logs. We had a tornado recently, and uh, you know we lost a little bit of wood. But that's okay. I like chopping wood. Who likes it chopping okay. wood? I do. Emily to Who the end, literally, wood? oh my god, the stream was, I was gonna be ending in the next few fucking minutes. Yes, we're not right now, let's go!
Emily to the end coming in with that insane raid. I think all the mods are asleep. Let's get that shout out put in there. Everybody click on that link right now. Play another fucking song. Don't hit him with an ad. That would be scummy as fuck. Don't do that. Okay? Brian, play another song. <sighs> Keep it going. Fine. I guess you are my little pog champ. Hey, you. You're finally awake. It's a new day in Abandoned Incorporated. Oh God. For years, hedge funders have been driving our company into the ground with shorted stocks. But what's that on the horizon? What's that washing up on the shoreline that's gonna save the day? In a FTs. An NFT cryptocurrency shitcoin you can believe it. Elon Musk and Logan Pablo say so. They recently tweeted NFTs to the moon. Now in accordance with SEC guidelines, I'm not here to tell you who or what you should invest in. But man oh man are NFTs looking good today. Sprucing up that portfolio. Get in on the ground floor. NFTs will replace the paper fiat currency in no time and be worth more than your own weight in gold. Subscribe for free right now at your Twitch Prime to get access to your first NFT immediately and witness your life change forever. But not just your life, the life of some poor child out there. Yeah, that's right. NFTs are a crypto for the kids, face clan style. Definitely not a pump and dump. And don't you dare think that you could screenshot this shit and make it your fucking profile picture. That's not how it works. It's in the blockchain, stupid. You're an idiot. You think that's how it works. It's my image. 
Right click save needs to be made illegal, but don't regulate anything else about crypto NFTs or anything else at all. Regulations are always bad. NFTs have yet to be valued, but keep on investing, gamers. Yo, Emily, once again, thank you so much. We got Casual Gamer. We got Dank Crew 420. 420 blunts to the face. You know we're going to smoke it. But what's up? Here, let me pick up some of this fake money off the ground. But, uh, I'm not going to lie. We were just winding things down a little bit. Like you said, five in the morning, still live. We were just winding things down. But let's, uh, let's look at a couple more TikToks. We were just going over TikToks right now, just watching some, enjoying some of them. But I'm realizing that for some reason, my TikTok feed is way different on my phone than it is on my desktop. And it's not as cool and popping on my my desktop my for you page is so dope on my phone and on the desktop it's just whack i don't know why it's different it's the same account but my following page is fine the, the people Good. i follow i do like hopefully we get to see tom green in the future Hi, do tom some green sexy wood wood chopping you can like that one guy bradley does you know what i'm saying logs. what's your name age and from Daniel Bondi, I am in my but uh oh, so you 20s. were playing. What are you doing uh, in California. Elden Ring now, Your Emily? Is, what's the most expensive thing you own? A Mazda 3 hatchback car. How much does it cost? Because I know you beat the game, Almost right? Off. Are you question, going back doing like some uh, education. you doing a no hit run? Associates degree, not a bachelor's. You crazy like that? that? So I hope most people don't see this. People might see this. That's fine. Are you cool with that? Yeah, I'm totally fine with it. Thank you for the question. Is are you happy right now? What's going on, dude? I am a solid eight. Yeah. What would take you to your time? Probably just to be able to travel. And okay, next. Yeah, Ryan, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm staining, uh, I'm uh, sealing this uh, pressure-treated lumber on the cut points. Yeah, Tom? Because this pressure-treated lumber, I'm told, is known to rot if yes. uh, you don't seal the cut points. So, exactly. So uh, I'm making sure to seal this. Uh, so it doesn't thank rot. Thank you to the person wow. on TikTok. For Ooh, haven't out. slept yet? Um, it just woke you up that. Never I'm glad, that casual gamer. I'm you. glad. So that's what the great thing. Yeah, whenever, uh, whenever somebody's um, nice enough really, like Emily uh, to come in with a raid, you know, really helps with the. Uh, wanna, I want to show you guys how much I appreciate Make sure it. Make you, know? you, uh, you seal the pr that pressure-treated lumber uh, on the cut points because it's, uh, it, it, you know, it's known to rot a little bit if you don't do that. Although a lot of people don't do that, right? right? Okay, Tom, I'm not interested in this. What's your name, age, and where you're from? Joe, 40. Okay, we're about to go back to the following, fan? or the, yeah, the For You page. Let's go back to the For You, see if there's anything good. Glenn has been annoying me all day on purpose, so at this point, he Dude. owes me. I gave him a job. He has to walk beside me and play Olivia Rodrigo for the rest of the day. And look how cool this boat. Yeah, that's literally cringe. Oh, oh, well, looks like, looks like he's getting away. Somebody hit a pole. Ooh, I'm glad, casual, I'm glad. the service down off of a house, literally completely ripped it, detached it, gone. Okay, dude, my, this for you page is weird. DNF? Um, I don't know, but... Sometimes I think of... Dude, what when is going on? When you good, you feel good. Starting to... Literally none of the things that I like or I follow are showing up on here, and it's just so weird. Cause I could, I could, like I said earlier, I could look at my for you page on my phone for an hour and just like get lost. Whereas like these TikToks are just nothing. Oh yeah, like yeah, fucking yep. okay, Lake Mead's going away. Get ready. Get ready for some tough. Tough water restrictions so in the I West. Know this is a fitness page and everything, but I'm also a huge fisherman. And if you've never thrown a cast net before, then you will not understand why this is just an amazing. Don't so care. there's a top I secret area at Ed's in Brookswood. And people can't really go back there. You can see 19 plus only. Ed, what are you hiding back there, man? There's nothing fucking wrong in there, buddy. Hidden section is nothing fucking hidden in there, man. Every, anybody who's 19 can go in there and check it out. So there's a top secret area at Ed's in Brookswood. And people can't really go back. Don't want to. I don't want to know what's going on back there. This is what it's like. I'm good. In Portland now. 
probably be a lot happier if I just stay ignorant on that one. This guy came in and stole this suitcase. You can still hear the alarm going off. Zero fucks given by this guy. This is why everything's going up in value. I wonder what happens if I steal from him. No, it is not. It literally is not. The people that like think they're like, it's it's individual crime. No, it's not. It's literal this corporate like greed raising Portland prices now. of things. Because the show is really fucking stupid. God, what an idiot. What a piece of shit. This going out, like, like going and trying Portland to stop now. somebody from stealing a store to... from a store. Like imagine being that much of a fucking bootlicker that you're like one of those people you're filming somebody stealing in a store. Like, Think your life, you fucking loser. Because the show is some people really steal because it's like literally all that they have. Oh, Dank Crew coming in with that follow. Thank you, I appreciate that. Fucking stupid. Like, yeah. It's like next level stupid. Yeah. We haven't prepared for one episode once. Is that true? A hundred percent. Oh, so and then Casual Gamer coming down. in with the follow. Sit Thank down, you. Yeah, poker in the back, to, right, Lamar? Well, we yeah, that's what it was. It. We set a timer on our phones. Jesus. Wait, is that Stavi? Okay, no, never mind. Jesus. Oh, fucked. <laughs> Someone's okay. been watching too much TikTok. All right. That was good. That. that was pretty good. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Someone's been watching too much TikTok. I see that. <laughs> okay. Oh, it was a milk. Nice. Yeah, I'm going home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> found this the perfect movie. The Titanic? Mm -hmm. Didn't it sink? Yeah. Is this what people are doing on TikTok? Are they like hanging out in little blow up been pools in a TikTok. pool? I see that. I can fight every man here. Every single man here. I can beat in a fight. There is no man standing here. I can absolutely batter. All of you can. <laughs> I know, that hurt, man. Imagine being a guy and landing like that. Popping a nut real quick. Busting a nut. A new main into busting a nut, mate. All right, guys. Tonight I was feeling lucky. So oh, you just you want to just do that, Bright? Okay. Report back. Cool. So let us know how, how, um, how your nutters are. I just go out back and look for frogs in the pool, and I just snag their ass like this. Uh, I actually brought this frog inside. He was pretty chill. No cap. No uh, cap. He's climbing around on my monitors a little bit. He eventually calmed his tits, and I filled him in on season four of Stranger Things. And then I did the right thing, took him back out to the pool, released his ass, and he swam off into the distance. All right, guys. What a homie. That, was that sounds like a good night. Okay, I don't know what that TikTok's going to turn into. I got to say this. Yeah, I bet, dude. Doing I when you're grinding on a, oh, a rail, shit like that. Yeah, dude, you could land in some pretty Can not good not places. Foster, clean up. Clean up. I'm taking a break. Do I get five? Take ten. I'll never come back. Don't have to ask me twice. Who saw you? This is okay, that guy's annoying. Recently, the Illinois Nature Preserve Commission requested that we enter this cave. The management plan for the preserve focuses primarily on the surface, and no one had been in the cave for several decades. On this particular trip, our assignment was to see how efforts to keep trash from washing into the cave had succeeded, or not succeeded. We are wearing wetsuits in the 56 degree water, and we were pleased to report a very clean cave. Nice. Recently, the Illinois Nature Preserve- Scary. My festival camping <laughs> set up. Clean air mattress. Bedding. What no festival? Bags, nightstand, what festival is this pockets, outdoor rack, And who are your parents? Canvas, what trust fund are you a part of? Laundry hampers. Nightstand and mirror. Final product. My festival camping okay. setup. Mike, come on, man. Why are we running so slow? Because I'm the only one working on a three-person machine. Now on top ten places you won't find the mile, right? Excuses. Just speed the fucking thing up. Lord. Please give me the strength. Okay, Does no. this sound amazing or disgusting? Hey, what's up, dude? I've been fucking deceived. Four months in Mexico, Guatemala, and Colombia. Minimum temperature I experienced, apart from when up a mountain, was 25 degrees. When I was in Colombia, it was pissing it down with rain every day, and I saw that it was sunny in England. So I was like, right, fuck it, I'll come home. I came home and I bought a convertible car. And now I'm stuck in Leeds. It's four degrees and pissing it down with rain. Sky gray gray depressing sky furious where's summer yeah caves with water in it are just not the move
Not the move. Whoa! Fine. Nossa senhora. What the fuck? No! Vai! Volta agora! That's what you get, man. Whoa. Rip. Fine. Hey, Mega Chonk. I'm yeah, here I know. He literally domain, caused that. So like, don't bite me. You understand? Like, you're allowed to do that in the center lane, but I don't think that's, like, what he was supposed to be doing right there. I'll shut your AC off if you do. Damn it. Yeah. Where's your gay brother? Wait, what? There she is. Hi, Deva. Come here. I'm sorry Pride Month is over, but it's okay. I still love you. Aww. I still love you, Deva. Go inside. Go inside. Deva, go. De bring your poopy Bring your poopy butt. There you go. You get that Don't dog groomed. This guy got some clean. hair issues going on. Hey. Looking a little patchy. Oh my god. The pocket printer, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I haven't thought about this thing in such a long time. No oh, fucking way, dude. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, I'm just sorry. I just died of nostalgia right now. I never had one of those. I had a Game Boy Color, but I knew of, of these. Just got out of the Minions premiere. It was so good. Out of 10 bananas, what would you give it? Don't care about this. Give the people what they want. Watermelon and popcorn in a walk. Fuck. I don't know why these videos make me so angry now, but they do. Deep frying yeah. watermelon? What's the point of this? I feel like I ask myself that shit all the time. Okay, now the rind is gone. There was obviously a cut. Oh, is it the like pop colored. watermelon flavored popcorn? As a result of the watermelon, but I don't know, man. These videos make me feel fucking stupid. Like, is that even humanly possible? Is there a coloring in that package? I don't know. Anyways, fuck popcorn. Fuck this shit. Yeah, really. Popcorn's mid. Oh my God, I love these popcorn things. is a mid snack. Hello? Oh, better call Saul. Hello? Hello, everyone. Hi. Um... Hi, Internet. So yeah, it comes out pink, yeah. Here. See, the water's almost clear again. Um, I expect another day or two, and it should be crystal clear. Wait, are you about to tell me you like popcorn a lot, Bright? Uh, but today, I went out to get some tadpoles for the eel pit. So this is a little wetland area near me. And uh, here are some that are... Actually, about to. They, these guys are too far about to live on land for. Uh, Popcorn's a movie bit. snack. I mean, even then, I'd rather eat a different a, snack during a movie. Frogs. Yeah, really cute little guys. There they go. And uh, I also call. See, right? That's the thing. Is it's like it's such a. It, it gets stuck in between your teeth. It also gets stuck in your gums. Level. It's not. Month in this I'd way rather eat a watermelon, a piece of watermelon, than waste it like that. So like Casual just said, no thanks. I also ended up catching this little shrew. Yeah, I right, Ben. I've I've really never cool. done that myself either. I've never really. I don't cook popcorn too often, but always, it's always pretty dry when you're heating it up usually. But back where I found him. I guess it would work the same. As as you we know, saw it did. Since you act so nicely, and sleep. I can't just sleep outside. Oh God, this fucking weirdo. This is, this is not fit for a human. You're not a human. Okay. Nothing like some apple juice. Give it a sip. Okay. <laughs> God damn. God. Man, it doesn't like the, uh, like, like this thing. This is what using every last ounce. Nope. Gotta love the fucking city. Parked here yesterday. This car wasn't here. Now it's, uh, about three inches from my fucking winch. And, uh, this car back here wasn't here when I parked either. Now it's, uh, underneath my spare fucking tire and about two inches from my fucking hitch. Rip. So, uh, sorry. You're getting backed into.
Ooh, and you're probably gonna get that's fucking a good choice. bumped. Ooh, Gotta love the, the gummies. I like that Lamont. Parked here yesterday. This I car would rather have now it's, uh, regular M&Ms About three though, inches from my real. fucking winch. But and uh, uh, this car back here wasn't here when I parked either. Now it's. I uh, found your wallet. Uh, with your, uh, with your. Did he okay. call? Don't care. This is what serum does to your arm. Nice. This oh, is really? what serum does to your arm. If you got it and you, you're into it, just just let your own stuff out. You know? What a beautiful a day to bust tool. out the Bob Marley t-shirt. Yeah, I got it at a smoke shop where they sell more than just smoke weed. The school got the wrong type of flower. You trying to go? Yo, is that oregano? Nah, sativa. Hi, Miss Eggerson. I am. Nothing. Look at my hand. Do you want to smell it? Want to smell it? <coughs> yeah, Miss Erickson. Nah, I was just looking for a pen. I didn't say what kind of pen. Damn, the JROTC kids are out. Fucking narcs. You can for sure turn this into a piece. It's like a six footer <laughs> or what? Have I told you guys about my Bob Marley t shirt yet? <laughs> oh, yo, dude, they got a box. Bro, you could hot box a box. I think I just wrapped. Go check this shit out. I made it in wood shop. You don't think you could? It's got a carb and everything. Bro, that's a lock. Lock? Nah, this pipe. <coughs> Me, hot it's a Cheetos, block of power. Vibes. Raymundo, dude's a legend, dog. I put him on my vision board. Yo, Buffalo Soldier. What did you just call me? Yo, is it lunch yet? I'm starving. Bro, it's like 9.20 a.m. 9.20? That's like, you can hotbox this. That's like you seven hours from 4.20. Bro. Ask what I'm doing at 4.20. Casey, don't throw that apple away, dude. dude you, no, you can, you can, out of it, yeah. Come here, dude, I'll show you. Yo, Miss Murphy said I had to flip my t-shirt out because the dress code. I was like, stop being such a dress chode. The only thing I'm flipping is the bird. <laughs> no, Miss Murphy, please don't call my mom. I I, I didn't even know the t-shirt, man. I, I I got it at a thrift store, to be honest. It's it's I didn't even want it. Yeah, I'm sure that's weird, but I feel like I Bob to. Marley kind of- beautiful day to bust out the like Bob wanted Marley t-shirt. Yeah, I got it at a smoke shop where they sell- I feel like he like really wanted weed. that, you know? The school got the For wrong type of flower. You trying to go? Yo, is that oregano? Nah, sativa. Hi, Miss Eggerson. I am. I don't think he wanted Nothing. all of Jamaica to hand. be represented by smell? that. But maybe that is what some people yeah, ended Miss up Erickson. thinking. Nah, I was just looking for a but pen. I didn't say what kind of pen. Damn, the JROTC uh, kids are out. Fucking narcs. You can for sure turn this into a piece. But yeah, I think Bob Marley like wanted to be known for Have I told you guys about my Bob Marley t-shirt yet? Okay, oh, we saw this already. Okay, but it's, it's replayed. I, I didn't idea. realize. What I'm going to do, I'm going to come More in a dream theater than Tool, for sure. I'm going to go to festivals. I'm going to get recce. And then I'm going to move to Thailand and run boat parties all around Thailand. It seems that this one is pretty close to being sold out. Lift loop part 16. This here's where I find stuff underneath the lift. George, I found your pass. I also found this cool little pencil thingy. Ooh, vape pen. Top of this AirPod case. This AirPod that has definitely seen better days. This phone that got eaten by a snow cat. Then we found a whole bunch of water bottles in the shade. We figured they were good to drink. So if you guys hear about COVID-20 starting in Tahoe, it definitely wasn't us. Oh no. This obey beanie. And lastly, some lotion, like for part 17. You're like, heck lift yeah, I smoke weed, hey. This here's Good where I you. find stuff underneath the lift. George, I found your pass. I also found this cool little pencil thingy. Top of this AirPod case. This AirPod that has definitely seen better days. Hey, Vum, why didn't you add cheese to your McGriddle? Okay, I'm done. I'm done with TikToks. Is there anything I wanna watch real quick? Let's go to the watch later list. I need to figure it out. I need to figure out why my TikTok is like that. Why my For You page is so much better on my phone than it is on from here. Um, let's see. Let's watch this. Chat, ladies and gentlemen, we have a classic on the channel. What the hell just happened <laughs> to this video? Apparently, the person that puts these things together told me that you guys have been submitting a lot of clips of just children falling. She's like, yeah, like, I think people legitimately are just hurting their cousins to try to make a couple bucks. <laughs> So I'm like, bro, like she's like half these are homemade. Like these are just people who literally grabbed their cousin and just like was like, yo, stand over there and they threw something at him. So that's bad. Let's just talk about that. Don't do that, please. I will not be supporting those videos. I'm not I don't fuck NMP even mentioned that. NMP watched one of these of Ms. Kiffs and was like, why is this all just like little kids getting hurt? <laughs> you can put your cousin on a playground and push him down a slide, alright? Do it on your own time. Chat.
You guys know how this goes. This wheel has something new. It has the classic $10,000 that you all are here for is to see a millionaire lose $10,000. We Chat, also have the question minute. marks, which right is $1,000 or it's $10. We have double spin, which can make it go to $10,000, which is $20,000. And we have double spin, which is what I just said. And we have something new. The Razor Bundle, ladies and gentlemen. The Razor Bundle, it is not a hashtag ad. I just thought it'd be put in it because Razor's cool. And they said that I could do this. They said, here's what we'll do. We will give out a fucking laptop if you land on this. Or you can get a peripheral bundle, which is like headset, Mouse, knees, and toes. You all know the drill. Everyone say hi, YouTube, like a bunch of cringe chats do. Put a bunch of hearts. Hi, YouTube, hi. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, that's how they all do it. I love it. Look, it's like, it's kind of cute. It's almost reminds me of like, you're going up to a, an exhibit in the zoo and like, you're putting your hand there and then like the animal comes and puts his hand there. It's like, you guys okay. are seeing each other from the other sides, right? It's, to me, it's like the Berlin Wall. If I fucking right, laugh, let's see if any of money. these make us but laugh. I don't laugh at anything. I'm let's not giving out. you, I'll give you, actually, I'll give you guys money if I laugh. Got money right here. <laughs> oh, rip that kid. Why does this kid remind me of Los Polos? Does anyone else think that? Like, I don't Caught know what this kid fire. is. Maybe it's because he's got bad luck and he's short as hell. But this kid reminds me of Los Polos. Alright, I'm gonna turn it on. Okay. Okay. Deaf kid hears mom and dad for the first time. Chat. What is going on? How, yeah, how is that even funny? How is that even f Who submitted that into this compilation for him to even look at and be like, that's funny, that's not funny? Chat, chat. Dude, holy shit, that was a whole trampoline. What the fuck? Come out. Oh. Okay, none of these are gonna be funny. coming off of that route. It's just like they were last week. Oh my god. And I didn't want to write a song Chad Cause I didn't want anyone thinking I still care or don't But you still That's a good one That's good That's good The Necromancer And today we're doing an that. unboxing That's also a good one I like that one a lot I didn't get that Oh no, oh no, oh no oh Chad, can you stop linking me videos of just children getting hurt? <laughs> I'm not even laughing at the fact that it's a child getting hurt. I'm laughing at the fact that you guys are idiots for fucking linking me this. Like, after the 700th time a child got hurt, you know, it's just crazy. I mean, I don't know. I think it's I a laughed. bunch of Zoomers. I chuckled. All right, that was funny. Maybe. Kid fell down randomly for no reason. LKMTC, I dyslexia. Congratulations. You Which means up. our future is over now. Thompson, <laughs> huh? Let's see right now what we got going on for that fucking... Did that actually laugh? laugh? He didn't laugh, laugh at paper. that. That wasn't a laugh. That's about worth it. It hit 10,000. No, it hit 60. I'm at minus 60 right now. We're okay. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I'm just laughing at why you guys are just sending so many kids getting hurt. It's like you're trying to figure out an algorithm and you're just fucking sending me pictures, videos of children literally getting kicked on the ground. What the it's fuck so is that? Dumb. Duke, uh, you win, I guess. Like, it, it is working, but it's the most pathetic thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Holy shit! Holy shit! I, I didn't want to say a fucking word, but holy shit. Duke, that gets 160 bucks. Damn, that was... Yeah, that's hey, man, true, man. Like that? True. Man, I'm doing my Christmas list, man. Come on, man. Help me out. Man, oh, he's on his Christmas list. Thank you, man. Okay, that was funny. Once again, dude, just... Okay, at least it's not a kid that... <laughs> okay, here you go. I'm the top student in the beginning class of the most exclusive prep school in the world, Pokemon Tech. It's sad that others aren't... I realized exactly what episode this is. This is episode... Is it episode 17? It's where Ash finds a kid in the forest where he is currently going to Pokemon Tech. Stop spoiling. She dies. She gets shot 17 times. It's an American school. I'm just Giselle. Oh, yeah. You're right about that. She can violate my rights if... Hey! What did Brock say? What? She can violate my rights if... Brock was the original Coomer. We can all agree Brock was the original fucking Coomer. He just, everywhere he went, that dude was just trying to get nuts. Brock in would not fly in 2022. <laughs> he would definitely get canceled so much. Are we really resulting to infants? <laughs> 
Okay. It didn't you know what? Have I'm this. done with this video. I'm done. Guys, you know what? It's, it's about that time. I've had a headache since we started playing Battlefield earlier, and I've been trying, and it's just getting to me. So we're going to call it here. I know Emily just came in with that insane raid a little bit ago, but I was literally about to call it like five minutes later than that, after that. And I've just been struggling to keep going. I, I gotta end. I gotta go eat some food. But let's uh let's go over the hype from today. And you smack that one down too. And there's the thought again. You smack that one down too. We had Eevee coming in with that raid right at the beginning. Zoop with the biddies, Hippie with the biddies, Zoop with the biddies, Lamile with the resub, Hooks with the raid, Shiv with the five dollar dono. Hook, uh, fourth coming in with the biddies. Shiv with the 100 biddies. Lamile with the 100 biddies. Shiv with the 100 biddies. Kriana with the 300 biddies. Shiv with the 95 to end that hype train that was going on. Then Emily came in with the insane raid. And we had Dan Crew and Casual coming with the follows. I really appreciate that. Everything, you guys. I really do. Let's see who we're going to pass you guys off with right now. The homies are on right now. Oh, Caramel Mel. Alright. Alright, have fun with Caramel Mel, guys. Oh, oops. I'll see you guys later, uh, later, uh, later tonight. Bye, Bent. Bye, Casual. Bye, Lamal. Dank. Anybody else chilling? Thank you guys so much. See you guys later.